the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Waking on that blubber. Rick and Bubba. Eight minutes uh, past the hour. Welcome in to a brand new edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. We thank you so much for being with us. Uh, as always, uh, your phone calls are welcome. 866 We Be Big. We could jump out and take some unscreened when the, uh, unscreened phone calls. Do what? Oh, oh, you can't hear? Oh, okay. Go ahead. You, you're, you don't have your headphones. Yeah, I do. You grab these, don't you? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, I switched them out already. Oh. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm hearing, seeing things. That's okay. You were pointing at your headphones. I was like, what? Uh, I, I was like, oh, no, you can't hear. Uh, well, there's Helmsy. Uh, yeah, and uh, to my left is Greg. Uh, how, how are y'all doing? I'm good. Yeah, those I'm are good. the headphones that Rick normally wears. So you wears. swap out every yeah. day. Yeah, okay. I do. I do. Because it, the, uh, the little black... Uh, pieces of the headphones yeah. come yeah. off and i look like a dalmatian and and Good apparently greg enjoys not telling me that so i walk well i mean walk, to tell walk you around forget. yeah normally later in the day somebody says hey man you know you got a, a piece of something on the top of your head which means like, it's been there since which yeah five. early yeah early this morning are you still doing that thing you're with one ear no they're actually acting right really the yesterday it didn't give me no trouble okay either. that's hmm. weird isn't it? it is because mine will do it every once in a while too yeah so that's why I'm shocked when I put something on that actually works. Yeah. 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 So it's, I was caught off guard. I thought I was still in somebody's joy best. for a minute and I wanted to give it back. <laughs> yeah. Well, still, hey, speaking of joy, Dr. Dudney will be here today and he's going to have something with him joy, that, that we're going to love joy. to eat because you know him. He doesn't come empty handed. Yeah. He ain't going to uh, give you nothing to mess your teeth up. No, no. We'll we'll, uh, we'll catch up with Dudney uh, later uh, next hour. Rick and Bubba join us as well as Adler at top of the hour as well. Um, got uh, a, a text, and I, lo- I love this. I got a text last night uh, with, um, uh, you know, yesterday was um, the Charity Charge Day at all participating yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, I got a, a text from Operation Healing Forces where they said, hey, uh, we are at Buffalo Wild Wings for our 21st anniversary of, of the Operation Healing Forces, and they sent me a picture, and the crowd and the just the Buffalo Wild Wings staff and everything. It was just really kind of cool to how they were out, oh, right. you know, taking part in. Yeah. Uh, if you don't, y'all don't know, ten percent of food sales that participating participating Buffalo Wild Wings go to the charity for each month, and it was just kind of cool. And so I just wanted to thank them and all of you that participated uh, in yesterday's Buffalo Wild Wings uh, Rick and Bubba Charity Charge. Uh, we'll get those totals in soon, but. Operation uh, Healing Forces is the beneficiary this month. So I just thought that was kind of cool because they were out having a good old time watching the Daytona 500. And Mm. William Byron, uh, who Greg has educated me on because I didn't know a lot about him. He's a Hendrick driver. He ended up winning. uh, He was in front when the yellow flag came out on the final lap and was determined uh, the uh, the winner of the Daytona 500. And, uh, man, what a what a race. I think it was. Packed. I didn't watch a single lap due to the fact that you know we have lives on middle of the day and can't you know watch prime time like Daytona should have done. That'd have been yeah. nice to come home to watch last night. Yeah, and, and then they ran the other one. Yeah, Xfinity lights. afterwards, so yeah. it was under Which the lights. Makes zero sense. Yeah. Um, Why would you not run that one first, then run the big dog under the lights? Yeah, in yeah. prime time for everybody to see. Uh, probably just because you know you never know if there's delays and something Surprisingly, happens. And, 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 and like the big they had dog, a crowd. yeah. Oh, yeah. they did. They actually talked about how big the crowd was. Well, once you're there, you don't go home. I'm no. sure. You know what Some I mean. Of them I had like, to go to work. Yeah. Well, President's Day probably helped. It Man. did. I agree. Um, so he wins, and uh, they went sliding through finish line. These folks don't. They, they take that Monday off too. Yeah, that's trust true. me. Right. Oh yeah, the travel day. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm putting the recover clothes. day. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was. I like the the close Now Byron racing. is dating Blaney's sister. Yes. And you see that on the behind the scenes. Of course thing. you do. Full speed mm-hmm. yeah. NASCAR. Pretty yeah. awesome. Man. Excellent show. And it really it really makes me think that so many years NASCAR has missed the boat because they got to be where they were untouchable. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. they the have 90s, and, they in, were and in this epi- and in this series, they've allowed you back in their lives. Yeah. Well, and that's what they would do back then when the Earnhardt's of the bunch and Jeff Gordon, all those guys. Jeff Gordon got into that stage where it was you know, kind of untouchable, Jimmy Johnson. Sure. But the Davy Allisons of the world, I mean, those guys were 
eating at Waffle House. Yeah. yeah. And 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 it, at the Lincoln exit. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, Before everybody got uh, jets and yes, sure, yeah. million dollar yeah. RVs. But it did enough good ones. The, what what I loved about it is it actually let you into their lives. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you got to see their parents, and you got to see their kids, and their girlfriends, and who's dating who, and. How I grew up racing and this Byron kid, phenomenal story. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I hadn't dove into the series yeah, he, he yet. He it's fantastic. On the yeah. simulator. And yeah. then he told his parents he wanted to try it for real. And they were like, okay. Now, they were like, he, you're did, pretty good at this. Yeah. Yeah. He, did he take <laughs> he's over? He's still young. What, about 26? Yeah. Did he take over when Jeff is yeah. he, when Jeff Gordon stepped down? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's all right. But yeah. Hendrick uh, finished first in one and two, right? Yeah. The wow. other guy that drives Jimmy Johnson's car. 48. I, I can't think of his name. Yeah, and didn't know Jimmy Johnson was, was in this race either. And he, he wrecked like on like the first couple yeah, of laps. Yeah, he runs. He's like part owner, I think, and he runs limited schedule. Okay. They, they said the new car, and this is where I've got to get back into my NASCAR groove here uh, because I've just, to be honest with you, I've just been spotty over the last few years and hadn't I really have dove to. in. I have to. Um, the new car, though, you know, you remember how they used to could lag back? Yeah. And and stay out of the what I call the big one, uh, and and then maybe later in the race make make a push to go forward. They're saying with the new car, if you get if you get too far behind, you can't catch up with them. Yeah. So you have to stay somewhat, even if you want to stay in the back, you still have to stay with the pack. And yeah. he got caught up. <laughs> Bless his heart, they go sliding through, and and you know it had been raining, so everybody. They just go sliding through and then come back up, and, and he gets clipped and hit early, Jimmy Johnson yeah. did. And that's the only way I even knew he was in the race. I didn't even know he was in the race. Yeah, um, he, you know, he went and ran IndyCar a little bit. He did. I remember he, that. He ran a limited schedule. Of course, you know, uh, what's the kid that did the video game move? Chastain. You yeah. remember the, a yeah. couple years ago when he hit yes. the gas and went around mm-hmm. the wall? Mm-hmm. Well, he made a move at the end, and what a wonder. Almost pulled it off to cause that last race. Yeah. But, I mean, he almost got in there. He made a, a gutsy move. Huh. They had to he would have won. They had to create a new rule after that race. Oh, yeah, you can't that. do it anymore. You can't do uh, when it anymore. You, when yeah. he hit wide open. Yeah. Was that wall? Martinsville? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Black Mark just yeah. went right that's, around. That's it. crazy. But right. anyway, it's fun. I like yeah. the close racing like that. Right. The, the, the drivers hate it, and I get it because one person messes up and takes everybody out. And it's hard to be perfect. When they show the camera, they're moving. It's constantly. so crazy. Right. That's another thing this documentary shows you, too. Yeah. You, you only thought it was real when you watched Days of Thunder, but this really gives you a, a, yeah. a glimpse. Yeah. Harry. William uh, Byron, <laughs> your 2024 Daytona 500 winner. We'll be right back. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Winter weather has a way of making you crave comfort food, so HelloFresh is here to help you do the chilly season right. Check out their largest menu yet that has something for everyone, including meals that are quicker than restaurant delivery and 25% cheaper than takeout. Join today and get free breakfast for the life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box with active subscription with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find a link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors button. If you owe back taxes, fair warning, the IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's up to the new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Tax Network USA has war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. Tax Network USA learned of a limited time offer, an IRS offer. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited time IRS penalty canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000 or visit tnusa.com slash Helix Sleep does it again with an innovative kids' mattress made to flip. Why? Well, the firmer side is great for younger kids when they need more spinal support to aid proper development of their growing bodies. You simply flip it over when they're a little older, around 8 to 12 years old, when they want the softer side for sleep. Handcrafted and assembled right here in the USA, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders, including the kids' mattress. Go to helixsleep.com slash bubba. helixsleep.com slash bubba. Resolving to eat healthier this year was easy. Actually doing it, not so easy. Well, Field of Green is our healthy super fruit and vegetable habit in my house. Each super fruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you resolve to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. Get 15% off your first order with free rush shipping at fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba or go to rickandbubba.com. There's a 
popular saying out there, health is wealth. And, folks, I couldn't agree more. If you're dealing with everyday aches and pains, I want to tell you about Relief Factor, a daily drug-free supplement developed by doctors. It's not just a pill that masks pain. Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that work together to help reduce or eliminate pain. Try their three-week quick start kit for only $19.95. Go to relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Love is in the air. And some things just go better together, like whatever you're listening to and Raycon's everyday earbuds. And like any serious love story, your Raycon earbuds are here for a good time and a long time with eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. They offer tons of useful features. Most importantly, you get amazing quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Get 15% off plus free shipping at buyraycon.com slash bubba. Buyraycon.com slash bubba or find the link at rickandbubba.com. You may disagree, but look, things aren't as dismal as they seem. There is a point, your family, their future, your future, you all deserve a chance. You all deserve protection. Turn to self-reliance with My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply has helped millions of American families prepare for the uncertain future. Right now, you can get each four-week food kit for $60 off. You also get free shipping. Protect yourself. Protect your people. Once again, this deal is $60 off your four-week food kit at preparewithbubba.com. Hey, folks, when you love someone, you protect them the best way you can. That's why we recommend home security from simplysafebubba.com. Simply Safe is an advanced system that protects every inch of your home. Plus, it's backed by 24-7 with professional monitoring for fast emergency response for less than $1 a day. Order now and get 20% off any new Simply Safe system with fast Fast Protect Monitoring. Visit SimplySafeBubba.com. That's SimplySafeBubba.com or find a link at RickandBubba.com under sponsors. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Dog parents are loving Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Premium Dog Food. The way she acts and the way she moves, it's just so much better. And she acts like she's like a puppy again. It's unbelievable. Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend is a freeze-dried raw food made with zero artificial preservatives. So it's naturally shelf-stable with no mess, freezer, or fridge required. Plus, it's full of premium turkey beef, salmon, and meat your dog will love. We started with Nature's Blend. She's happy. She sleeps well. She's energetic. I am just delighted with this product. When given the choice, Nature's Blend and Amazon's number one bestseller in dry dog food, 29 out of 30 dogs chose Nature's Blend first. I am so confident your dog will love it. Your order is back with a 90-day guarantee. Save up to 54% off Nature's Blend and get a free bag of delicious beef liver treats. Go to drmartypets.com slash treat or text treat Treat to 511 511. Text treat to 511 511. All pets are unique. Your pets' results can and will vary. Message and data rates may apply. Studies available upon request. Paid for by Dr. Marty's Pets. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick Without him, brother. All right, 21 minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show's kickoff hour. So we're sitting around ready for the day, talking off air uh, a little bit more about Daytona 500 and William Byron winning yesterday uh, and then Xfinity. I, I, I saw where uh, just the headline, uh, the, the driver that won that, uh, that's three in a row for him at Daytona. Uh, so, so he's got, that he's, he's got a little something was. going on, man. Um, you know, this is another story, Helmsy, I was mentioning to Greg earlier that I think you'll find kind of interesting. It's just fun. I hope it's not that one that y'all were talking about when I walked in. Oh, yeah. About no, there's two we can't discuss. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've really – Because I'm not interested in that. I don't either. I, don't I have really. – um, there's also uh, a guy that did some things at an antique store they caught on video. Oh, you don't want to We can't that even anymore. bring that up. This will make you never want to shop again. It, it really will. Uh, and we got to bring that and up. And thank goodness for uh, surveillance video. You're not going to – no, oh, it, you know what it sounds. Hey, do, it. do you want to know what it sounds like too? We need. To it sounds like you know Lisa's little uh, store. Yeah, she has. one of those it booths. Looks, it looks like it's a setup kind of like that because some Bend of the people all. said, "Hey, hello, we got us a situation here." We, I, we, I think we ought to warn the public. I mean, well, you, or, yeah, we could dance around. Well, you know, the, you know, the signs don't touch the merchandise. Uh, they, they probably they take need it to one a new up. level. Yeah, because you don't want somebody to touch what, it and then do what, what, what they do with it and then put it back. What kind of jolly is? I, I mean, 
if if you've done something to the merchandise and then put it back on the counter, yeah, uh, so bad that they just throw it away because yeah. they don't they can't like well we can't do anything with this you They're know checking it's the cameras deal. and and, yeah. and really right. the one of the most bizarre things I've heard yeah it really is um, I heard this story it's different uh, it has to do with um, college baseball uh, cranked up uh, this past weekend and a kid from Sacramento State last Friday. Uh, he was hit in this story. It says seven times in his first eight at bats, but the announcer uh, mentioned eight in his first nine, I believe. I don't know, but I saw this story. They uh, there was a, a TV station actually did a a story on this uh, in their sports segment. Uh, but listen to the announcer and and this is kind of every time. The, the, now look, don't understand. They start the season. And every at bat except one, he's hit by the pitch. Oh, I did see. First that. pitch just hit Massey Angelo. Hit for the second time. This one skips in and it got him again. May have got him on the bounce before it hit him this time, but Massey Angelo was hit for the third time today. And he just got hit again. That's the fourth time he's been hit today. And he just got hit again. You really can't make these stories up. How was your debut as a Hornet? I got hit by a pitch five times. Did he just get hit again? He did. <laughs> the first pitch just got hit again. That's an RBI, so congratulations on your first RBI as a Hornet, but he just got hit again, and that hit him. Massey Angelo got hit again, so now that is now eight times in nine at-bats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. So it was seven times in his first eight at-bats, but it was a double header. And so when the second game started, he got hit his first at-bat uh, then well, hold on. It says he then also got hit his first at bat the next day. Okay, I see. So you had a double header. He gets hit he seven times play, in his ain't? first eight at bats. Then the next day he gets hit his first at bat. So really, it was eight of his first nine plate appearances, uh, and one was actually with the bases loaded, as uh, he mentioned. So he got an RBI with that. But Good how night. about that? How about you get hit that many times and in I your s- first at bats to start the season? And I saw That's some of the impossible. I know, and I saw some of the videos. Not like they're throwing at him on purpose. No, he just uh-uh. pitches are getting away from right. him, and he just happens to be the, He's the batter when it's guy. happened. Right. Yeah. Unluckiest guy there. There's always a player or two on the team that gets hit the most, and there's really no rhyme or reason for it. Yeah. I mean, some people well, might be trying it. to pitch you in or something, but it's like, wow, you just yeah. you just get hit a lot. Eight you times. know. Yeah, eight out of your first nine at bats. That's eight bruises. Guys, that <laughs> his own base percentage is really. <laughs> if you got hit eight times in the whole season, it would be a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I thought uh, one of JC's Much teammates less. had the record, but apparently not. Good night. Every time he gets it bad, he gets hit. Uh, but yeah, I, like I thought that. that was kind of funny. Uh, he got he got hit eight times in his first nine at bats. Well, that's the way to get to the start year the season. Started. <laughs> Yeah, like I say, you're a little bruised up, but it's going to be all right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and something that you're going to make fun of, Greg, but i just going to mention it, uh, the <laughs> UConn women's basketball coach. I don't know uh, you, you don't care anything about women's basketball, but well, Gino, the head coach. I love that guy. You don't have to yeah. say it like that. Well, it's obvious. It's, it's, love Gino. it's, it's Rick and Bubba, it's, it's Rick and Bubba history. What's going I'm not on a huge Gino? basketball fan. He, he became the second all-time okay. uh, winning uh, uh all-time wins list well, when God UConn win. I think he took overtook Coach K. I, I, uh, how did I miss that? I um, oh, he, he broke a tie with Coach K for the second most wins mm-hmm. by head coach in Division One men's or women's college basketball on Monday. Um, he does a lot, obviously, because of his track record. He has done a lot of interviews and he's done a lot of seminar type speaking events and stuff Who like that. It? The coach at UConn, yeah, the women's coach again? at Gino. I can't say his last name. Yeah, it's boy, it's a tough mm. one. I you that would, old guy coach. That's there. who it is, Greg. Uh, yeah, that's that name didn't sound right. It, it, well, I just I just thought that that wasn't his name. I, okay. I, it didn't ring a bell. Anyway, well, I don't know, or you know how I am. <laughs> yeah, well, no, you're probably normally pretty accurate on, on stuff. Like yeah, that. but ba- I, I mean, Ariyama. I don't hate basketball. Gene Ariyama. Really? Gino? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't. You would, Greg? Yeah. Uh, you know you, that you, guy. You want to look at it anyway. Outstanding man to listen to when it comes to leadership and coaching mm-hmm. and, and all these things. And so there's a bunch of stuff out there from him, obviously, over the last 25 years mm-hmm. um, that I'll watch from time to time. I like this guy a lot. And he uh, – so congrats to Gino. Yeah, we, the, the, the story is he he overtook Coach K. They were tied for mm. second all-time. How about that? 
Greg's I'm not giving it anything not, because it's know, women's basketball. And that's really the only reason yeah. I bring it up. Right it's now. just basketball in general. I mean, I, and I don't – I mean, I, I, I appreciate Greg, that. Greg, if it was I Coach just, K, you'd be acting different. Yeah, well, at least I knew who he was. Yeah. 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 You know this guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Nah, you I, don't know. Yeah. Um, I know UConn's always had a good women's basketball team. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Right? It, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's some girl in women's basketball lighting it up now. Everybody keep Caitlin. That'd be Caitlin Clark from Iowa. Everybody's talking about her. Yeah, yeah. What's she doing so good? Greg, what serious business. So, are you being? Are you, ser- are you being serious? I, I don't know. Right. What, is this I just, a, if this is a bit, I'll go with I mean, it. I will too. I'll be glad to go are, with it. I mean, we can have a lot of fun if that's no, what you're I, trying I, to do. Goodness, I, I have no idea what she's. I'm gonna doing. throw this ball. I know she's away. playing basketball, but I don't know what is she just. Yeah, her. I can't get my hands on him, but I can lean I, over and get. Greg, can she dunk? Gosh. I mean, I just don't know. I know it's just your delivery, your face. You look disgusted by it, even by bringing it up. Uh, but yeah, she's pretty good, Greg. I think she well, broke all yeah, time scoring record. Yeah, yeah, okay. She is, I, I think. If arguably, you care about the women's all time scoring record, that is a big. Story. You know, I, I don't My watch. Gosh. I don't watch a whole lot of women's basketball, but uh, I, I I'll watch her shoot. I, I do. For sure. I I do think that sometimes when you're the best at what you do, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it How about that? <clears throat> you know. Hmm? How about I mean, that? How about that? Yeah, I mean that is good. No. <laughs> Right. What is about his What's stuff? her name again? Gina? <laughs> no, Gino. That was Coach. That's oh, Coach Gino. Okay. I'm yeah, trying to get people. I'm getting them mixed up. Now that's he's a man though. Oh <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Got it. He's a man, Greg. And he's the one that you know if you saw him, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. I know you guys always had a good they've had a good men's team too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, basketball and in they general. They winning not too long ago. Well, Greg, we're just going to go to break. You yeah. don't have to ask any more questions <laughs> like you care. Just stop. All right. The only reason we brought it up was to get this reaction from no, you I'm, and I'm, also I'm, to say that he overtook Coach K. That's it. Just going to pass through it. Maybe Coach K can come back and regain it. Okay. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. No matter your thoughts on Valentine's Day, we can all agree some things are better together, like peanut butter and jelly or a blockbuster movie and a bucket of popcorn. You know what else is perfect? A perfect match is whatever you're listening to in Raycon's Everyday Earbuds. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable. Like any serious love story, your Raycon earbuds are here for a good time and a long time. Uh, With eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, most importantly, you get amazing quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon's Everyday Earbuds also feature three customizable sound profiles, earbud tap functions, and noise isolation, and the awareness modes. And they're used to filling the love with tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Go to buyraycon.com slash Bubba now. Get a 15% discount. Your Raycon order and free shipping is at buyraycon.com slash Bubba. Buyraycon.com slash Bubba or a link at rickandbubba.com. You'll find that under the Sponsors button. Go get yours now. If you owe back taxes, fair warning, you're not going to like this. The IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's over to the 20,000 new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Why the IRS targets you and not millionaires? Because millionaires have tax lawyers you don't. You'll pay up plus interest and penalties. You need Tax Network USA, and you need them now. Tax Network USA has brilliant war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly and in your favor, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to deal with and who to avoid. It's not all bad news, folks, because Tax Network USA learned of a special limited-time IRS offer. They're willing to waive $1 billion in penalties if you qualify. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty-canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000. That's 1-800-245-6000. Or visit TNUSA.com slash Bubba today. TNUSA.com slash Bubba. You also can find the number and website at rickandbubba.com. Just look under the sponsors. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So we love them, and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place your order and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress 
than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for 20% off your mattress order. Resolving to eat healthier this year? That was easy. Actually doing it? Not so easy. That's where Field of Greens comes in. Better nutrition is a key to health and longevity, and a healthy diet could even help you avoid health risks that run in your family. Field of Greens is your healthy superfruit and vegetable habit. It's the only fruit and vegetable product that literally promises better health at your next checkup. Your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Do your vitamins or green drinks promise better health? No. I love this stuff and definitely feel healthier taking it. Each superfruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you're resolved to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. And we got you a 15% off first order with free rush shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba for 15% off. Or go to rickandbubba.com. Find the link under sponsors. Cold winter mornings are perfect for staying under the cover and having breakfast in bed. HelloFresh supports that dream because they're giving away one free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery for life. That means while you are a HelloFresh subscriber, not only will you enjoy the pick of the tasty dinner recipes they're known for, you'll also enjoy breakfast for free. HelloFresh actually has you covered for every mealtime occasion with a delicious array of quick lunches, sides, snacks, apps, dessert, and more. And not only does HelloFresh help you cut back on extra trips to the grocery store, but their pre portion ingredients help eliminate excess food waste. This new year, make eating better and saving money a priority and make it easy with America's number one meal kit. Join HelloFresh today and get free breakfast for life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box while subscription is active with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find the link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 25 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for being with us here on uh, this edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. Dr. Dudney will be with us next hour. Look forward to seeing him. February is National Children's Dental Health Month. We'll talk about uh, a number of different things with Dr. Dudney. Always fun catching up with him and his staff. Uh, They uh, treat the families here uh, on the Rick and Bubba Show, and we thank them for all the stuff they've done for so many years. Uh, Just really good friends, uh, and then the whole dental work and all that comes on down the li- goes on down the list first though just friends uh with all of our families and and we thank them and it's always fun just catching up with them and talking with them plus we'll wonder what will Dudney bring us to eat uh we'll have to take a look at that this portion of the show brought to you by simply safe bubba.com 24 7 burglar busting protection for your home or small business uh is there anything more important than safety Nowadays, we really are thinking a lot about that. Uh, the world's crazier than ever, and safety has got to be at top of the list. Uh, resolve uh, the problems that you might have when it comes to your safety for the ones that you love. Value being safe uh, as a top priority in your life, and Simply Safe Home Security can do that for you. SimplySafeBubba.com is comprehensive protection with advanced sensors that not only detect break-ins, but fires, floods, and other threats to your place and getting you the help you need. With new 24-7 live guard protection, monitoring agents can actually see, speak to, and confront intruders. Uh, available on, only through Simply Safe uh, is, uh, you know, actually stopping crime in real time. They can they can talk to the 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 burglar or whoever is breaking in, uh, as I just mentioned, 24-7 monitoring is highly affordable, too, costing less than about a dollar a day, uh, half the price of traditional home security. Uh, so check this out, simplysafebubba.com, for 60 days risk-free. 
If you don't love it, return your system for a full refund. Keep your uh, place safer than ever and save 20% in the process with a new system with a fast protect plan by visiting simplysafebubba.com today. Or you can find a link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Uh, all right, as we are rolling on, we think, uh, and we've talked to Greg in the break, we think we can discuss this story. Yes. Uh, but we're not sure. Uh, once we get off in it, we're just going to have to see. Hamzy's shaking his head. What I love is he'll act like he has no idea who mm-hmm. Caitlin Clark is and right. will not do research. Right. But he's going to dive into this story <laughs> yeah. like like Michael Phelps just getting right. a lap in the pool. Right. If right. this story goes bad, this will drop back to talk about that Caitlin Cochran. <laughs> what did you say? What's her name? Clark. Not Caitlin I Clark. I thought it was Caitlin Cro- uh, Cochran. Buddy. <laughs> So Gosh. have that hold that one. We have you had any it. coffee today? I had a, a little bit. I need okay. more. Okay, just check. <laughs> so hold the Caitlin Cochran story in case we need it. Buddy, that's not her name. All right. All right. So a Texas man and woman. I'll just set this up and play the audio from, and then then we can discuss. Is this that audio? We guess. No, actually, well, nah. you already know. Yeah, I do know. You already that's know. That's why I wanted to guess. And I know because in the break, it's all he would talk. About. Right. Right. <laughs> We we actually tried as a staff, which is rare, to listen to something before talking about it. What's wrong with people? I don't know. Nobody can act right. A Texas man uh, was arrested and charged after being caught on video at an antique shop (laughs) doing something that he shouldn't do. Uh, Here is Susan Golden, the antique gallery manager, talking about what the camera caught (sighs) this guy doing. Hmm. Wow. Number one, I was disgusted. That night, uh, one of the dealers sent me a video that she had from a camera in her own booth. I think they've been in here before. The employees recognized them and said they were just, you know, the guy was really nice and she was nice and um, they just shopped around for a few hours. What did they do with those products? They threw them away mostly. Uh, So we have these booth owners kind of like yeah, what, you, what your wife does Lisa. Uh, and the the products were so damaged by what they saw they just threw them away most give you a hint here we go he's wearing a kilt and we're off yep okay he's wearing the green a kilt. flag is waved and we are uh, off at the great american race <laughs> so so this guy was getting some products uh, you know here when you're go. browsing here we go and he would pick up an item mm-hmm and, and normally you look at it. Yeah, consider it. Now, either you had an itch. Okay, oh, here we gosh, go. Here we but go. The kilt, and he, it, it would the item would disappear in the kilt for a minute, and then mm. he'd put it back on the shelf. <laughs> there's Especially. one. There's one candlestick. They didn't know yeah, what to yeah, do with. <laughs> and they see this. I like what you said. Though well, most items were thrown away. <laughs> But hey, what, just, what? hey, just throw that away. Can't do so, anything with it. it. I've done that, like you know, with with stuff that's damaged from throw up or yeah. or, or an accident at the house with dogs or whatever. Just throw it away. Throw don't, away. don't even touch that. Just, All the time. Uh, but so that's what these owners did. So the fact that he's parading around in a kilt should make you look up and go, okay, because he obviously had a plan because mm-hmm. he's got some getting his jollies by. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's marking trying, his territory. I don't know what he was doing. I, I, I don't either. I don't know if if he's just trying to be um, mean and rude and go, "Hey, how about this?" You know, but or <laughs> like to remind you, your camera. Like, <laughs> right. I know. right? Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah hey, look like, at that. Let me rob that around there. I know. You know? And then now, look at this. Oh, yeah, hey, check it out. Put that back on. Sell that. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's that or what, but <laughs> or if, if it's something else a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do today. Sinister. I'm going to get my kilt on. I'm going to go around and take people's okay. merchandise. Okay. And All right. Scratch my rump with it. <laughs> there we go. I was waiting on it. <laughs> Helmsy, how many laps then, before then, the hey, How hey. many laps were we in? <laughs> 11. And then, <laughs> and then I'm going and then I'm going to put it back on the shelf <laughs> right for everyone trial. to enjoy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what in the world? What 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 is wrong with him? I, what is wrong with people in general? I never trust anybody in a kilt. I'll just be honest. Mm. You know, unless you're at a, like an event for Scottish people. Yeah. If you're just out at the vendor mall and somebody happens to be in there in a kilt, you mm-hmm. might want to look out. I'm going to say that. <laughs> now, if you're playing bagpipes, fine. Yeah, I know. Man, that's we'll the... give you that. Right. 
Right, St. Patrick's really Day Really, the only parade. time I want to see anybody in a That's kilt true. is playing bagpipes. Mm-hmm. But just in normal everyday life, if somebody comes strolling in in a kilt, <laughs> you might want to pay attention. That's all I can say. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but like I said, maybe he was a little bit chapped and he <laughs> <laughs> the itch he couldn't quite scratch. I, I, and his wife was he say his wife was with him? <sighs> that's terrible. All right, well that's the story. And they threw away the merchandise that had. Been... Oh yeah, yeah. She said that. Well, the question was asked: What did the, what down. did the little booth owners do? Well, most of it they threw away. I mean, how do you and write that off as a loss? I don't know that. Um, an antibacterial bacterial wipe could, could clean that. Uh, it, yeah, the, huh? just the whole vision of the thing <laughs> stuck in your mind. Would be. Clorox looked at that and said, I, I don't know what I can do with that. Can you imagine the person who picked it up on the surveillance camera? Hang on a minute. All right. Look at this guy. <laughs> what? You talking about the guy in the kilt? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he it. put it back on the shelf. <laughs> well, how about this? You know. Oh, no. You know. That there was video with people who came behind him that had no idea, and they oh, were looking. Oh, look at this! Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's people that were damaged. They just don't know it. I know it's at home. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hope they wash their hands. <sighs> Did they call them? They go, hey, hey, that candlestick <laughs> you're looking at. <laughs> we got a problem. <laughs> hey, you know that little bulldog statue that you got that sits on the counter? <laughs> you might want to bring that back. Huh? You know that nutcracker? <laughs> 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 oh, no. Oh, we got to go to break quick. Yeah. I'm over, if y'all need me, I'm over here watching Caitlin Clark hit threes from the logo. Okay. Oh, well, Greg didn't know anything about yeah. it. Katie Clark. Uh, all right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <clears throat> I mean, somebody. I honestly, there's somebody right now with a with something at their house on display. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they have no idea that this story's out there. That's right. Yeah, they're looking at it and they're, and they're over moving it, get it right where they want it mm. on the shelf, and they don't realize every time they touch it. <laughs> Rump City. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Hey folks, Rick here. Let's talk about something that's on the minds of many of you listening today, dealing with overwhelming credit card debt. If you're feeling like it's a financial uphill battle, I got some good news for you. If you're facing $10,000, $20,000, or even $30,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt, there are programs available that can consolidate those debts into one single reduced monthly payment you can afford if you qualify. Accredited Debt Relief is on a mission to help you become debt-free in just 24 to 48 months. They've already helped over 300,000 qualified consumers, hardworking Americans just like you, pay off more than $1 billion in debt, earning them an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. The consolidation specialists at Accredited Debt Relief tailor the program to fit your specific budget and financial situation. They understand one size doesn't fit all. Call Accredited Debt Relief now for your free no-obligation savings estimate and let them help you take control of your financial destiny. Call 800-511-1200. 800-511-1200. Programs and services not available all states. Ah, it's so sticky. At Hannah's Organic Honey, business may be sweet, ah, but oh. they need an e-commerce queen bee to lead the hive. Okay, these jars are going to Jakarta. Oh, wait a minute. Does that say Jackson? Indeed can help them hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Schedule virtual interviews and talk to candidates right from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Why choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed? Because no two people sleep the same. Only the Sleep Number Smart Bed lets you each choose your individual firmness and comfort your Sleep Number setting. The Climate 360 Smart Bed is so smart, it actively cools or warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature. And now, during the final days of our President's Day sale, save 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus 10% off all bases. Ends Monday. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. Do you want more online safety and privacy? I know I do. That's why I started using NordVPN. It guards me against various internet threats. Digital trackers, malicious websites, and malware-infected downloads back off. I choose to browse with more confidence. I choose NordVPN. To avoid digital threats, turn on NordVPN. It's trusted by millions of users. Just visit NordVPN.com. 
One of the fastest VPNs on Earth will block web trackers, malicious websites, and malware-ridden downloads. It will also encrypt your internet traffic while maintaining a smooth connection. So improve your digital privacy and protection against hackers with one simple click. Get the special deal at NordVPN.com and enjoy safer internet daily. NordVPN. Cybersecurity built for every day. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth, and folks, I couldn't agree more. Some of you may be living with everyday pain. Now, this can affect so many parts of your daily life. I mean, it can affect the mood, uh, your sleep. What about missing out on activities? Our friends at Relief Factor offer a natural way to relieve that pain. It's 100% drug-free. Developed by doctors, Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients to help reduce or eliminate everyday aches and pains. Now, unlike pills that just mask the pain for a short time, Relief Factor helps support your body's natural response to inflammation. So you feel better all day, every day. Over 1 million people have tried Relief Factor, and here on our team, several of us have tried it. So let's get you a special deal, and let's see if we can help you too. Go right now and see if Relief Factor can work with you with their three-week quick start kit that's only $19.95. Now, this is a great price to try it out for three weeks. You'll know in three weeks. You will feel the difference and know it works. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So we love them, and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place your order and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash bubba for 20% off your mattress order. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Waking on that. All right, we're back. It is 10 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, and thank you all for all the uh, how to put on a kilt uh, emails that we're getting through the break. Uh, Greg's enjoyed watching those and giving play-by-play to us. Yeah, well. Uh, from that story, good night. What if um, you started wearing a kilt? What if I did? One of the main reasons on doing that story is just to let everybody know, hey, we've seen it. That was our, my, our, yeah, my number one email overnight is, guys, y'all have got to see this. Uh, well, it was and, bizarre. Uh, I'll give him that. Yeah, and and we have seen uh, it. Roger, little abnormal. Roger that. Got it. Got it. Uh, and we've also seen the other one, um, the advancements of some other things uh, that we just won't mention. Those two stories <laughs> we've uh, we've 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 seen. Um, all right. So Helmsy, did you say that you are going to the classroom? Uh, at Jacksonville State University? I got to teach class tomorrow. Oh my goodness! How about that? Class. What what you got? Well, I've just been asked to come in and speak to a class for about okay. 45 minutes Ooh. on uh, college sports and college tennis, and I'm uh, looking forward to it. So got a little, I got to prepare for it today. Yeah. But I kind of know the route I'm going to go, <laughs> but um, it's part of a sports management class, and actually one of my players, I think, is in the class because I got a text from her last night, and she said, are you teaching my class on Wednesday? She's mm-hmm. going to think. I thought I and I said, yes, and you better behave. She's thinking, i got to put so, it with him for another Yes. Hour. Yep, i got another 45 yep. minutes of his mouth. And I will Goodness be staring gracious. at you the whole time I talk, so you yep. better be paying attention. <laughs> so, yeah, so I don't, I don't really know the ins and outs of this class and why. I think they have guest speakers come okay. in, and then they have uh, – so they'll have to take notes, and then mm-hmm. I don't know if they'll have a final or anything in regards to it, but I think they have to – 
come to one of our matches mm -hmm. and and you know obviously submit some kind of paper or something. So yeah, so tomorrow I will make my debut in the classroom, boys. Oh my goodness! How about that? Here comes Coach Helms. So it'll be fun. Looking forward to it. Yeah, honored that they'd asked me to do it. Oh sure. Now they may not ask me back, but mm -hmm. but it, it'll be good. I what? know. I, like I said, I kind of know what Teacher. I want to want to say and mm -hmm. they gave me some specifics on things they would like to be addressed okay and then and okay. then hey anything else you think would bring something to the table mm -hmm. so are you, we the only ones that call you living. bullethead or do they no no speedy you're the only one. Oh, oh, like, i never hear that oh i didn't know if they say else. coach bullethead yeah. mm -hmm. you know what i'm starting to hear and i don't know i i don't know if i like it or don't like it oh, wow. um it, it it's one of those things that probably in the past it would have bothered me Hmm. And it doesn't now. I'm kind of – a couple of the girls are calling me Coachy. Coachy? Coachy. Coachy. Okay. Coachy. Coachy. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of like it. You, you kind of like it. I don't know why I like it, but I kind of <laughs> like it. Do you turn when they coachy. say Coachy? I do because oh, it's hey, starting coachy. to, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Coachy. I think the graduate hey, coachy, are you going the to graduate class assistant teach? started it. You teaching that coach? And and coach. I think it was almost like a she didn't mean that she's you know that all, you gotta understand they don't speak that English as well mm -hmm. as, as we would all like them to. Um and so I think it just came out one day instead of saying coach, they said coachy. <laughs> and it and it, it was like, Oh, okay. You said coach, you didn't mean to, but I kinda like it. Yeah, you can go by and uh and I get that question, like, do you want us to call you Coach Helms, Coach Michael, right. Coach Helmsy, Helmsy, remove the coach? I, I don't really Bullet care. Head. These are adults. Uh -huh. And so, um, and they're all very respectful on that front. But, yeah, I heard Coachy the other day, and I'm like, I kind of like that for some reason. <laughs> it's just different. Now, it, it may be that. something bad. I don't know. Right. But you yeah. go to the coach, he goes to the you classroom. They're making yeah. fun of you. Right. <clears throat> they may be. Who knows? Uh, well, I mean, they look, that's always going to be the case. It's, you'll oh, you'll yeah. do something that they'll, you know, impersonate you and mm -hmm. these type things, oh, which yeah. is fine. I we think that's a badge that. of honor. We all do if that. I'm doing something that they're back in their dorms uh, recreating yeah. on something I did, that's a badge of honor. Yeah. That means you're getting to them. I was uh, FaceTiming with JC yeah. last night, and I think he forgot he was FaceTiming with yeah. me. And he went back to just thinking he was talking on the phone. Yeah. And I said something, and he looked at one of his roommates, and I said, buddy, you know I can see you, right? Yeah. He was at, back to what, just having fun, yeah. making I, – I know I'm dad, and, and we're all, we all make fun of dad, but I can see you. Yeah. You, you kind of throwing your eyes yeah. over at your roommate. Uh, and of course, I had a good time. <laughs> well, what, Dad? But, but I can see you. You did yeah. it again. I can see you. Yeah. I think it's uncontrollable. I just think it's part of it. I guess so. I don't it know. Is. It is, especially with them boys. Um, all right, so we have a number of other stories. We, we've hit the Daytona 500 winner, William Byron, and uh, the guys knew a lot about him. I didn't, so they've educated me. Are you me frustrated on. that you haven't seen full speed like I that? Am. I've noticed you I feel am. left out. I am, yeah. I am, I am, I am. No, uh, because, again, we've talked oh, wait, about Terry this. will like it, too, so yeah. y'all could watch it together. Lisa got caught up yeah. in it. She Amanda don't did care too. She, about racing. She's saying that. She, I, I could tell every once in a while I'll watch something. She's not even – I mean – come in the second or third episode and i noticed when she sat down she had her little kindle she was going to read and all of a sudden the kindle's down and she's into it so yeah, yeah. it told me she would and, like it and, and that led to <laughs> when i put it on yesterday she actually sat down and watched some of yeah. it because she goes well there's a so-and-so you mm -hmm. know well and, uh, and there's christopher bell i'm tired of not being part of y'all's conversations it's like y'all started talking about traffic back and forth to jsu uh <clears throat> y'all just look right through me <clears throat> but um uh, Terry, and we've talked about this when we've watched things with our wives, I can watch multiple things at one time and kind of hop around. She has to finish what we're watching. And, and okay, then then, now, and now let's go to something else. Yeah. yeah. And we just finished like uh, what we were watching together uh, yesterday, and this is next on the list. And, and the way I got her is I said, you know the Formula One thing that Netflix did, and it was kind of interesting, and – you, you got into the drivers and the business and all that kind of stuff? She said, yes. And I said, this this is the NASCAR version of that. Yeah. And she said, oh, okay, I'm in. Uh, and that was interesting because Formula One, I knew nothing about. And oh, I, I still I, don't. I, I left that going, my gosh, I, it's so much larger than I thought. I watch it every time. And it's so every... impressive. They go in and just take over cities. Oh, yeah. And and, and The I, technology. I, oh. Is, I mean, it's unreal. It really is, uh, and I knew some folks that went out to Las Vegas uh, when they were yeah. here there uh, not too long ago, and 
what they had to do to go through all that. It was, uh, it was a lot. something else. Um, just the the undertaking to go through and and take over a, a city oh, yeah. and and go. Okay, we got we this. Gotta make a race. We got to make a road course out of it, and everything has to be safe. Mm-hmm. And and we have to set up the grandstands and everything else is really cool. But uh, I the Formula One thing, it's I didn't realize how cutthroat it was with it the was. drivers well, and everything. Got you in a minute, won't I they? mean, you better perform. Good gracious Isn't alive. Red, I see where the Red Bull guy that's in charge, mm-hmm. that he's somebody filed harassment against him or something. Oh, they're really? dealing with it. Mm. Yeah. I think they're, he, of course, he claims they're, you know, no, he hadn't done anything wrong. He may yeah. not have, but right. he's been invested. Somebody made yeah. a complaint against him. The right. one that's married to the Spice Girl. Mm. You know, the. Red yeah, I do, Bull. Know, I do yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, but back Christian to, back something. to NASCAR yeah. yesterday, I had to kind of watch myself, uh, because uh, after the third time I, I stopped because Terry looked over at me every time there would be an aerial of, of the Daytona's, uh, super speedway. I would point to Terry. Hey, that's where we ate right there. Oh, you, um, you, and, you that and, guy? Yeah. And Hey, the, Hey, JC stayed right there. Look, there's that Bass Pro Shop right across the street. You remember that? And she She's finally like, looked at me like, got it. Like, I, I, got I realized it. we were there and we saw yeah. these things. Uh, just mean... being there a couple of weeks ago and then, then the race happening, I, I had never been there. So to me, it's new. Yeah. Uh, I had never been around and just how it's just right there and traffic's just going around. And see, we have Talladega Super Speedway in my mind where it's just got its own facility. It's it's off yeah, the road. Everything and, around it is a, yeah, yes, parking yeah. or camping. Well, correct. Farmland yeah. around, pastures and all this kind of stuff. Airport. Pastures. And uh, and then now uh, with Daytona, it's just right there by the road. And mm-hmm. there's life that's just, right just moving right along. And uh, and I, I was just really taken back by that. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. And I kept bringing that up to Terry, and I think she was done with it. After about the third time, yeah. I, had to, I had to call hey, look, myself. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, I had to call myself for that. Did, uh, did, did Bubba Wallace finish top five yesterday? Did I see that? Did he? I think he did. He Maybe was, I'm making that. He up, ran up but. front uh, the whole time, and then he was way back in the back. Then that I think he made it through that bad. I, they didn't get enough gas in. He was going to have to stop. Okay. So when the wreck happened, it actually helped him. So he I, drives one of Hamlin's 2311 cars. Yeah, yeah. that uh, yeah. Gordon. I mean, not Gordon. Uh, Michael Jordan owns. Yeah, Correct. him and yeah. Hamlin own it yeah. together. Right. I do. You'll, know that you'll much. know more when you watch it. Okay, I'm, I'm going in. Yeah. 2311. I'm going in. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come right back. Uh, we've kind of set the table for the day, uh, talked about a few stories. Uh, I know Greg's wishing we'd go into more of one of them, but we're not. Well, we got it, I think. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Now it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It really is amazing. Yeah, it is. So um, I, I guess we can uh, begin to try to talk a little bit Super Bowl uh, yesterday. I, I did uh, – I guess I started watching the pregame stuff maybe three hours before kickoff, and uh, and I came to the conclusion, and I sent it out to you guys in a text, that Terry Bradshaw has now become Lee Corso for the NFL team. <laughs> well, first of all, who told him that hat looked good? Right. Mm-hmm. And, well, Greg, I mean, but he, he, get, he gets hung up. And at, hey, boy! At one point, <laughs> he called Garoppolo a, 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 a good-looking Italian. And, I mean, it's just mm-hmm. – uh, And he kept calling Mahomes Holmes. Yeah, it just – but, I mean, he get, even when he's trying to make a point, like the time he picked his mic up and they thought he was going to say something, you see that at yeah. halftime? Yeah. I, I and he was just that. saying, no, nah, I just knew I didn't have my mic, so you don't have anything to say. And it was awful. <laughs> He's like, well, I guess we'll talk to him after the game. Well, it's starting to – the Terry Bradshaw thing, I'm feeling the way about him the way yeah. I do about when I see Luke, Lee Corso and I realize that, realize that Curb Herb Street is his sponsor. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I'm, yeah. I'm trying to figure out who Bradshaw's been assigned to. And uh, I'm, I'm afraid. I, 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 I think it's think Howie. Howie, 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 Howie. Yeah, I think it's Howie, Howie doesn't age. Howie, no, he Howie looks like he did no. when he played. Right. I think yeah. he, I think he's a robot. Because because Howie will laugh at all the things he says. Right. He gives him a ton, even though we're all sitting there uncomfortable. Right. And they position Howie by him several times. And you see, like on the microphone thing, Howie has gotten accustomed to. We don't really know when Bradshaw's going to comment <laughs> or what he's going to say. So when he picked his mic up, now we're in that uncomfortable. Do you want to say something or? Yeah. Just fiddling around with your microphone. Yeah. And, uh, and they actually acknowledged it, and he was like, I Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It was terrible. I, I didn't get it. was terrible. It was no, awful. It was, it was right before the second half started about when they started trying to talk about you know, it. And it was so funny because of the, oh, we'll get into some of the other stuff, but man. You, you know, I think, too, when they're live like that, it's just, there's so much going on. Well, it's it's hard to focus on what you're supposed so to do panelists. anyway. Well, I would say that yeah, to me, Okay. Panels. And every time somebody retires now, you know, they're trying to add them to their panel. I mean, all all three or both networks 
when they do their pregame show, they got like eight people. Too many there. people. Yeah, you you don't have to start bumping somebody. You can't have everybody that retired had a name. Here's things. Here's things I've noticed. I'm I'm tired of on game coverage. Okay, uh, a couple of things are are specific to a person. All right, number one, Brad Shell starting to fade. Number two, Gronk cannot do this. No, no, okay. you're right. I agree you with that. You are so right. I've tried to Gronk. give him a pass for a while. It's, Gronk, Gronk, it's like Gronk. he's playing a character. He's, he's not. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right, Ray. Hey, hey. Yeah, he, he doesn't have it. Right. He doesn't. Yeah. You know, well, he's just too. Look, he's too just everywhere. We go back. There's yeah. some players that can make that transition. I mean, Howie Long. When I told Sherry last night that he used to play defensive line. And she goes, wow, he doesn't act like that no. other guy. And she's talking about Gronkowski. Yeah. You can tell Gronkowski <laughs> was a football player. He's, he cannot do this other thing. It's not okay. his personality. He, he's still living the college life. Right. He, he can't do this. And the other thing, hey, let, let me let everybody know this. Okay, this thing of having the crowd screaming in the background while we're trying to hear people talk about oh, whatever. gosh, that's That's frustrating. old. And undoubtedly, y'all can't mix it right. The crowd's too loud. It's distracting. <laughs> You know, it's like it's like, hey, and, and you can tell they keep telling them to keep screaming Come on. the whole time everybody's talking. Yeah. How about this? I'd rather the crowd not be screaming while everybody's talking. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of like to hear what they got. Yeah. To say. If they're going, if, if I'm supposed to be listening to them analyze the game, don't I need need to be able to hear what they're saying? Can, can I tell you? I think really yeah. it kind of becomes annoying. It's a bit. One, I think it probably my favorite part is the build up to the game because you see so oh, many good stories yeah. and well-produced packages they've done and you know it's, it's interesting to see yeah. a lot of those things oh yeah. well, let's pitch it back out there i can't rick and bubba rick and bubba sports our trophy will go to calvin speedy wilburn this is appropriate he is the lone chiefs fan on the program yeah. he's been a chiefs fan since he was a little boy and the chiefs won the, their first super bowl in 50 years so speedy also predicted his team's victory Closest to the actual score, Speedy said Kansas City 33, San Francisco 24, uh, and he wins the Sport Czar Trophy. Congratulations, So, So this, this is good for you, buddy. Greg, you and I were looking pretty till very yeah, I late. Know it. We I were. Mean, it was going to be you or me. We were right in there. It looked like the score was, was almost going to be. Our, our scores were close anyway. Yeah, so you and I were sitting pretty until the 49ers fell apart right there. The they did, and then let them run that touchdown. Yeah. But yes, um, yeah, I, I, I knew I was close. And right. Because I thought, I'll be honest with you, the way the Niners – they had a good defensive plan in the first half. I said, if they can do that again in the second half, they'll win. Yeah. Now, we can't, we can't miss. I, I still think they're a better overall team, but Kansas City got it done when they Made had plays to. when yep. they had to. Well, the quarterback play ended up being the difference. And Mahomes, even though he didn't have a, a great game by his standards, when he needed to make a play, he did. Yep. When, when Garoppolo needed to make a play, he didn't. Yep. As a matter of fact, he misses 17 for the win. I saw that. Yeah. Hey, hey, Joe, it. hey, Joe Montana would have dropped that in the basket, <laughs> and the 49ers yeah. would have yep. won a yep. thrilling victory. Hey, 17 did what yep. he needed to do. He got behind the defense. And and because in that when league, I saw the, Jimmy Jimmy G just couldn't hit him in that I, league that one step you're open oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah right. when I saw it was ball, more than open by NFL standards yeah <laughs> when I saw the ball go up being the Chiefs fan I went okay we still got three timeouts it's a minute forty something because yeah, he I, threw I, it so quick he yes, knew he had I, I was like okay he's got him yeah and then it just oh he and, oh, he, and he, you saw the safety panicking yeah. like just going oh my yeah. gosh I am beat and, and then he, he just over hey all Jimmy had to do was make the throw. And, yeah. and, and San Francisco wins again. Easy. We had three yeah. timeouts. That's true. With Mahomes. Need to put a little bit. We're going to be a lot of time left. He needed to Chiefs. hang it up for a little higher. Yeah, Let right. him run us. But, but the Chiefs won, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad they won because uh, uh, if for nothing else, for Andy Reid, yeah. uh, who, yeah. who, who, has, who has coached more ball games than any coach not to have a Super Bowl win. Yeah. Yeah. minutes now past the hour how about it a brand new hour has begun and we are thankful that you are here this hour starts with the national anthem
uh, another hour of the Rick and Bubba show uh, on another day. And uh, we're excited that you are here. Uh, there's all sorts of ways for you to get the Rick and Bubba show, either live or on your own time. Uh, the kickoff hour is part of that. That features Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, and Helmsy. That has been completed. So if you missed it on all the live options, it's, it'll be available on your archive options later today. Uh, the live options uh, include, but not, not limited to, America's boldest radio stations. Uh, these are the radio stations all across America that said, you know what, I will carry this show. We will, and many of them have carried it for years and years, and a big thank you to them. So that's easy, but if you don't have an affiliate and you're in one of the radio wastelands out there, uh, well, then there is a TuneIn app. You can get that uh, by going to TuneIn. It's a free download. Just search Rick and Bubba Show. And that's a 24-7 app that gives you the live show every day. And also it has archives of full shows uh, if you want to catch those also that run throughout the week. Uh, also, another live option is our YouTube channel. Eddie Van Adler is there. Uh, he produces that for those of you that dare to actually see the show, not just listen to it. Uh, on the archive option, you have uh, the Rick and Bubba podcast channel. has daily archives for you. comes out uh, not long after the live show is done. Uh, that includes a best of hour if that's uh, you just kind of want a little, little clip, a little synopsis of the daily show. Also on the YouTube side, uh, not only a live option, but an archive option as well. Uh, that will also include the full show. And then if you're a Blaze TV subscriber, it also gets you one hour of the show every day, and there are actually terrestrial TV stations and cable stations uh, all across the country. Some of those actually carry that best of hour as part of their daily programming and weekly programming as well. So there's all kinds of Rick and Bubba content out there, and you can grab it on your own time or, or own time, or if you're a, a daredevil, uh, be part of the live action. Uh, we're only missing one, uh, the silver tongue one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters man of the year. The inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the king's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome in to the long-running little party called Rick and Bubba. Together. All together now. What about it? Uh, Bubba, you and I uh, were sitting here today ready to celebrate the winner of the Daytona 500, but we've never heard of him. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know who William no, I'm, is. I'm out of the loop a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Greg's educated me this morning. Okay. Um, he uh, took over the Jeff Gordon car, uh, okay. and he's a Hendrick driver. Okay. Well, uh, just they, like us. Hendrick finished first and second. Well, uh, and, I don't uh, wear a Hendrick. So, uh, Greg can can bring us all up to speed on on the history. Yeah, of Yeah, he's hung in the sausage balls. He, uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, Doctor Dudney is visiting mm -hmm. today, and uh, it is a, a a segment that I know a lot of you uh, you keep thinking to yourself, when is the next tooth talk? Well, it's yes, today. It yeah. is. Uh, yep. and, and so uh, so we will talk to Doctor Dudney, but he brought sausage balls, so we lost Greg on that one. Yeah, yeah. all a pan full of them. Yeah, and so uh, we were the, those and we are, lost Helmsy because Christie's daughter Grace. Uh, has gluten free desserts in there, and yep. so we lost him to that. So they're both in there eating. Yeah, Bub and I were laughing about John Panette's line when he went gluten free. He mm -hmm. said, "I don't know what it is, but it must taste good." Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what a good line! Of course, he went on in. But uh, anyway, so William Byron wins the Daytona 500, uh, and uh, that just shows that uh, 
you know, we're, we're getting older when, when the drivers, uh, I mean, that can win the Daytona 500, we don't even know who they are. Listen, I, um, I've got a good one for you today. We have a story, an update on one William Hung today. No, we do not. 20 years since he was on American Idol. Can you believe that? I cannot believe he that. He is 41 years old now. Right. Wow. And we hear from him. Yeah. We hear from him quite often. Yes, here. we do. And, and we've had him on a podcast. Yes, yeah, we yeah. have. Gosh, I forgot about that. Uh, so anyway, congratulations to the Byron family, because we may not know who William is, but I, I know his mom and daddy do. <laughs> you know, and they're, and they're celebrating. How so. he got his start, though, and everything is, mm-hmm. is pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's featured in the new Netflix uh, NASCAR documentary series type deal. Okay. The uh, one that so, I need to He's watch not it. the one that started with video games. He is. Really? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And he's one Daytona now? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, that's a that's quite a step. But that, th- there's a movie about it. Is that the same guy? I, I don't know. That's what we'll need help from Greg on yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Well, <clears throat> we'll try to do that. Because I'm kind of like Bubba. I think Bubba was right when he suggested. It was a few days ago when Greg really didn't engage mm-hmm. on NASCAR talk. And Bubba said, well, they've cut the check off. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Talladega has cut right. the check off. Maybe Daytona picked it up. Right. I don't yeah. know. So you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, and, and we'll cover that today. And we'll get your phone calls in. We have a... A lot to go over this this story of this guy in the kilt. Uh, I know oh. you guys tried to run that down. Mm. Uh, that always opens up that conversation of kilt discussion. Yeah. You know, I know it's not our culture, but uh, I mean, would would it be cool to wear a kilt? I don't know. I've never, I've never worn one. I'm gonna I, I have to call Nay on that. One. I saw mm. I see a lot of obvious setbacks. Yeah. Uh, I do see some freedom in it. Yeah. You know, on your leg movement, yeah. but but You're right. I don't I don't know. But still, no. yeah. you're still wearing a dress. Yeah, and I think you and I, I mean, I'm not trying I want to be as, as humble as possible. I think you and I have the legs for it. Well, absolutely. Uh, right, but uh, picture but, me in uh, one. No, I can't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that that would be that's hard to see. That's about all you can show, Adler. <laughs> that's about yeah, all you the, can show. Apparently, he was very sad. He 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 was a thief and I don't know. I, I don't know how you. Well, he would do things and just put them back, Rick. Oh wow! I yeah. didn't know that. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's you know sick, how it's sicker than I thought. You know how Lisa okay. and them oh, these, oh, these oh, antique yeah. malls. You know yeah. how Lisa has a booth gotcha. and everything. Gotcha. Well, booth, you don't some, want this guy at the booth before okay. you get there. Some, okay. Some booth owners you. noticed something on oh, video okay. and. Yeah. Okay. He, so he's not stealing. Oh no, okay. Rick. Uh, I think the term test drive might be more in place there. So he's stealing people's joy. Well, uh, and and their hygiene apparently. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. something like that. <laughs> it was quickly a sign. Don't touch the merchandise. It was put up, <laughs> and we mean it this time. We really mean it. You. Uh, Fifteen minutes past. We'll be back. Eight six six. We be big is our number. Uh, more of the Rick and Bubba show coming up. Uh, check our website, Rick and Bubba. Spell out the word and dot com. Find out what's going on with the show. Uh, shop the Rick and Bubba store. All right there. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. If there's a fat coach that everybody loves, I'm always mm-hmm. going to pull for him. Yeah, you know? and, uh, it, and there, were, there were good stories on both sides of the ball. You yeah. guys probably, I don't know what the situation is. My wife and I watched it together. We didn't have any gathering or go to one or anything like that. So what I have to do for Sherry to, to enjoy the game, she has to watch all the backstories. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, we, we, I love the backstories. Because of the great job they do in pregame, I watched three quarters of the NFL the entire season. My wife watched none of it. And by the time the game started, we knew all the stories, and all. now we're into the game. Knew it all. Yeah, you, know, you just catch up you know, on, yeah. uh, through, through all the stories to begin with. And we had a good time watching it. Now, the, the game itself, um, you know, like a lot of Super Bowls can be, uh, the the defense in the beginning, it, it, you know, San Francisco's defense made this high powered offense look a little sloppy uh, at times. Uh, but when they needed to make plays to win the game, they did. Yeah, they and, sure did. And when and when San Francisco needed to make stops, they didn't. the uh, The push off call uh, before half was yeah. huge, but mm-hmm. but but he pushed off. I mean, yeah, yeah, they, you, you can't you can't that. extend that arm and get separation. They're mm-hmm. gonna get you every time. Well, that's the you know, was right they're there, not real it. consistent on when they call that. Though. All teams and need, they even reviewed it. Yeah, all teams need somebody to blame, mm-hmm. and San Francisco fans saying that the the officials cost them. Oh a game. come that's on, no, that's, that's not true. Well, I'm just saying it's yeah. a Fox News. I thought it was on a pretty front clean page of Fox game. I yeah, did I did too. I did too. That's why I think job. it's ridiculous. But it was good enough, and they stayed out of the enough. game for the most yeah, part. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They um, wasn't a lot of holding calls. 40, 49er fans say these uh, blown calls changed Super Bowl Fifty Four's momentum and cost them a game. Hey, but I'm just saying that's fandom. It is. Now Mojo was a big deal at the house, making sure we didn't create any mojo on the Kansas City
City Chiefs because, you know, I told you we had like I had a, like a fleece pullover that was Kansas City. We didn't mm-hmm. wear it all week. I had a Derek Thomas uh, jersey, didn't wear oh, it. Tribute. But and so JC, when all of his buddies are coming over, he's like, hey, dad, I want to wear some. I want to wear some Kansas City stuff. And I thought to myself, mm. self, don't do this. But. A house in Helena, Alabama, is not going to cost oh, that's the Chiefs the game. That's kind of attitude. It, it just costs the Chiefs the game. Boy, so I I'll let JC wear the pullover fleece and and just you rip just, it off of him. And did he take it off in the fourth quarter? He did not. He kept it on. Okay. And uh, and when he and he kept it on, and we came through. So we did not cause the chip. But I thought about it. I thought, okay, we've done it. We have we have blown this game for the Chiefs. I, I'll tell you who won the game for the Chiefs is their defense. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, when it when it, when it had to. Yeah, yeah and I got a call. Really, yeah. mm-hmm. Who was it? Um I wanna I wanna say it was uh it was one of the guys in pregame, and I can't remember who it was. He said, I think the the the, the hero of this game is gonna be who nobody's talking about, yeah. and that is the Chiefs defense. Mm-hmm. Everybody's talking about their offense it was. and the 49ers it, it, defense, but the Chiefs defense is gonna come through but, when you need but it. But when you had strength on strength, they were down what, ten points with nine minutes to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They had to score, had to drive down and did it. Yeah. Against against I think probably the best defense in the in the NFL. Well, don't forget too, Richard Sherman on third and ten gets burned. Yeah, he sure does. Mm-hmm. Yep, on third and ten. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> he, 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 matter of fact, Watkins ran right by him. That was, I don't know if it yeah. was that play or the other. Yeah, it one. was. Yeah, uh, and he he's he's very smart. Now he's not as fast as he used to be, but yeah. Uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see any big speeches. That's, tough, that's no. a tough job in that league. Ooh. Oh, can you imagine? Especially, tough job. especially now when all the rules are trying to get more oh, off. Yeah, you get, get more off. And, like and now tra- we can review whether you hey, it, been. It, it'd be like trying to catch a greyhound. Oh, you yeah. know what? I mean, good. Could you imagine? So, uh, so anyway, that it, I think it's uh, you know we'll we'll come back and talk a little bit about the whole presentation. You know, obviously, you know we we had seen most of the commercials. Uh, that that turned out to be pretty good. A few of them we had not seen that were pretty good. But this um, this campaign by the NFL, you know, because you can watch their attempt to try to be politically correct, and 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 some of it was kind of hard to follow. Some of it was crazy inconsistent. You, you uh, mean mixed it, messages? Yeah, a lot of <laughs> a lot of very mixed messages uh, <laughs> that were very difficult to follow. Uh, some of the emailers are already talking about yeah. that today. It's like. Uh, a lot of love for the flag. I will say mm-hmm. this: excellent national yeah. anthem. Yeah, it was. Yes, good. yeah, it was good. Yeah. She, did good. she did. She did. She did a really good job. She did. Uh, I, was, I was, thought the uh, Johnny Cash thing was pretty good. I mean, it's, it's, well, it's been done before, I knew, but it was very moving. I knew yeah. that you guys were not going to like that because I just knew it. But um, you knew you know, they like brought it. they brought in yeah I, I knew you know they brought in Jay Z or, or something to kind of change their oh, imaging thank a little bit. For that. I'm just saying, I, it, and they were saying that he was one of the driving forces behind trying to change the image, and, and I think that was part of that. But I guess when I'm Big, and we will get to those phone calls coming up a little bit later on in the program. Uh, it is an active, active week, uh, and we'll update you on that coming up a, a little bit later on in the program. So um, we have uh, our old friend, Dr. Dudney. Dr. Dudney is back. Uh, Dudney's been on the show uh, for years and years and years. We, we uh, have the famous Rick and Bubba contest, Fix Mama's Mouth. Uh, Dudney has fixed so many mama's mouths out there. It's uh, it's incredible. A couple of dad's grills. Hey, that's right. Yeah. Uh, did, did, did that. Uh, got to, got a little bit of confusion on that giveaway. Everybody, the, the, the dads actually thought they were getting a literal barbecue, gr- barbecue yeah. grill. Yeah. Uh, we thought we were being funny. Nobody got the joke. Uh, so, um, Rick, we've known Dr. Dudney since we had our wisdom teeth. You know what? I mean, I, I, I mean I'm going to tell you what. So, uh, Dudney, welcome back. And, Thanks, and Christy, good to see you, you from, from Team Dudney. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I want to say, uh, I want to just thank your wife. Uh, did you do the sausage balls or her? 
Okay, you know, I've got to be honest. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. It was not, not me because she just makes them better than I do. She does. You know? I didn't want to say anything. Yeah. But, but, I mean, <laughs> these are perfect. Yeah. yeah. She, she's these done very, very well. This is she's, the perfect mix. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this, I know. We, you've talked and about that. You are that. an yeah. expert. Yes, I, I told am. her, I said, Rick <laughs> likes them where they're not too much sausage because they're greasy and not too much biscuit because then they're too dry. Mm. Right. Then you lose the sausage. You got to get the You got to get the cheese and the sausage and the biscuit. Right. And let me say, she has done it. Yeah. You Rika. I told her, I said, if you, Rick's <laughs> got a certain thing, the way he likes it. Oh, yeah. So. By the way, I just put him in the microwave, too, for 15 oh, seconds, and so that's perfect. Better. Yeah. So much better. Good than gracious. Microwave. I love it. So thank I couldn't you. wait 15 seconds. I know. And then, <laughs> and, and then, Christy, your daughter's here, and she's brought gluten free something. Grace, um, they're sugar cookies. Yeah. Grace is in yeah. the place. Yeah, yeah. she, she many heart <laughs> cookies. Yeah, she brought those in, and I said, "Well, you are gracious. Look at you bringing, <laughs> look at you bringing cookies. That's right. So gluten free, yeah. and Bub, did you try gluten free? I cookies? have not yet. Yeah. Yeah. I have not. I, right. I sampled the sausage balls. You yeah. would have eaten um, one and not known it was gluten free. Yeah. Oh, I, I, Greg I, I, has don't, sampled don't worry. minty. Mm -hmm. There he is. Yeah, we uh, didn't. We Greg, we tried. We tried to figure out who the, who won the Daytona 500. We couldn't even get you out of the sausage balls and the cookies. <laughs> I mean, right out of the gate. <laughs> you know, so, so, so I mean, we don't even know who this person is. <laughs> I've never heard of it, but I don't follow it like you do. I tried to um, set it up for you, Greg. Right. Yeah, so, uh, so anyway, Dudney, we know uh, that uh, February is National Children's Dental Health Month. I did not know that. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. But, you know, every month is something. You well, know. that's true. So they had to uh, they yeah. had to do something. But, no, any time you can bring focus to dental health, I think is a good thing. If they want to give it a month, great. Uh, I think that, you know, dentistry, as we've talked about on the show before, it's come a long way. And uh, it's not what it was at once, one time where it was feared and – uh, it struck fear in everybody's heart, especially children, you uh -huh. know, about having to go to the dentist oh, nowadays. Yeah, kids, we told horror stories about it. Oh, oh but now it's it's not yeah. that way, but it is important, and it's important that you – it's just like anything else, uh, detection, seeing things early, catching things early, all those are important. And um, if we can bring any, you know, like, okay, we're behind our community, well – you know, make that call today. Call your dentist yeah, and, yep. and get in there. Get your children in there because everybody gets behind. Everybody gets busy. We were talking about it earlier, how we got a million things going on. But it is it is worth, you know, getting in there and getting your appointments and, and, and going to visit your dentist. Well, and, and, and you know, I, we were discussing, <laughs> Greg and I, too, you know, it's Black History Month. Right. What if you had, like, as the uh -huh. children came in, you as you were working their teeth, you discussed – Black History, <laughs> and you could combine uh, okay. Dental Health Month and Black History Month into one <laughs> one promotion. I think you're doing it right now. I, I know. There you go. You know, you'll put a few things on the wall. You know, hey. like, you know, the, you, the kid comes in and says, "Have you ever heard of George Washington Carver?" <laughs> yeah. And you start working on the teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm just. I mean, I think that would be. I, you talk about making the yeah. most of it. Yeah. Educational can, visit. I huh? think you can make it educational. There'd oh yeah. Be nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you could have with dentures. I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that would go. Yeah. That's going way. Yeah. <laughs> is that true when they talk about that? And did George Washington really have? You know, I have is that, read, is that true I've read about that. He had, I have heard stories. He had terrible teeth and was always in a lot of pain. And then he, he had, I think they were carved out of like ivory. They weren't wood. Okay. But they weren't. It was they. It they wasn't were ceramic made. like it no, is now. No, not not. <laughs> it's come no. a long oh, way. Okay. So the cartoon pretty, hadn't really pretty got interesting that, though. All yeah. of that firing and everything. Yeah, I know. Fixed by so there. the cartoon of like the termites eating George Washington's teeth. <laughs> no, that, that, that's think, just all speculation. I don't think he had to worry about termites. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lot of other problems, but not with his teeth, but not termites. Right. <laughs> uh, so so you were you you've been talking about that a lot, and uh, and I and one of the things I mean even like for instance I know that uh, we all of our family go over there and sherry just had her cleaning and she came yep. in and, and even got on me she said you missed your last cleaning you need to get that rescheduled right. and i was like well i'm going to she goes no you need to reschedule it because you realize these cleanings are crucial because especially as you're getting older right it, you know you, you, your gum health and all that they, they, they need to keep an eye on that and i and i was like well okay yeah. you know it's getting more intense and i thought i thought <laughs> this was i thought this was just a simple maybe you thought right. you know my teeth are looking yellow or something i didn't realize all that <laughs> So, you know, it's interesting because heart disease is probably the number one killer of people. Right. I mean, you know, cancer, obviously, too. But heart disease is, is a problem we have in our country. And when they list the risk factors for heart disease, they'll go down. But they never mention gum disease as a risk factor. And it is. There are, there are 
research and studies have been done and show there are definitive links between gum disease and heart disease. So, Why do you think they're overlooking that when we're, we're talking about heart disease? Do you think it's an inflammation I, thing? Yeah, I, I really, yeah, it is, Bubba. It is. It is. Yeah. Inflammation is yeah. an, an in, in, inflammatory type factors that, that get into the bloodstream and, you know, from your mouth. And so uh, I don't know, Rick. I, it's, it's a good question why it isn't brought up more. Because there are studies to back it up, so, but not just not just heart disease, other problems too. Uh, they're they're linking gum disease too. So, getting it and, and not you know, every people that well, gum disease. The only thing they thought about that it would cause you to lose your teeth, which it would. But there are other risk factors involved now too that that are pretty well uh, substantiated. So, getting in and having that checked, uh, it's easy to treat, especially if you catch it early. It's not painful. Uh, so many so many benefits to doing this. You know, uh, I know when we come back, I want to ask you about something that has come up on the show recently. And, of course, that's these celebrities and the, the, the teeth. These, these teeth they're doing. I and, think and, and, so and they that, look like jaws. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we yeah. can talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, but that, I'll, that, I'll, I don't know for, but I'll tell you what I think it is in yeah, some of them. Yeah, okay. it, it looks like, like yeah. Bubba, you were talking about, we thought, we thought that yeah. possibly Kanye's were not removable, but right. other people's are. Yeah, I, yeah. They're, they're, and, and surely. This is titanium. I yeah, mean. And, and I don't know. I, yeah. I, I want to hear your point of view on it when yeah. we come back. And I, mm-hmm. I, we, we don't have time to get into it because I want to break and come back. Yeah, but, but. I, I want to hear from, you know, a, a dentist that, okay. that, that, I mean, it seems like so many times, just like I remember, you know, there's, there, there's some doctors out there that right. like our dermatologists that are talking about the tattoo people going, I, I know this looks like a lot of fun, but, but there's, there's some real issues with having ink in your skin yeah. and, and all this kind of yeah. stuff. So I have I, a feeling that, totally this, agree. that, that this, <laughs> I'm putting things like this yeah. on my teeth probably yeah. may not be, may not have a lot of wisdom in it as well. <laughs> Instead of a cavity, do you get rust? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Dudney, veneers. Yeah, we can, yeah. we can talk added, about that. <laughs> Dudney added, uh, Dudney's adding to his examination room, WD-40. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Rust away. Right. We'll come back. We'll talk about that because right. that, that has become popular and a lot of celebrities are promoting it and you know kids want to want to be cool and here we go february yeah. national children's dental health month if you haven't scheduled uh, your child's checkup it's a whole new day uh at the dentist office and it's come a long way and it's super important we'll be right back rick and bubba rick and bubba Is what what are what's the I loved it. I mean, as as, as an American, don't mm. let me take that over here. If I just yeah. watched it right. on anything, if somebody said, "Hey, you got to see this YouTube thing," I would have mm. I would have been like, "Man, that's moving." Mm-hmm. But here's what I don't understand. So, so y'all going to tell players not to kneel, or or, or we or they can still kneel if they yes. want to? What, uh, that, I'm trying to figure out. Is this is the NFL making? But it, that, there's a story. Jay Z name. That's what, is that fake news? <laughs> is it oh, fake news? They claim they yeah. sat during it. Oh gosh! Oh, this is fake news. Yeah. Could, be. Could be fake news. Could be fake. No. But, but what I'm saying, what, what I'm saying is, though, the NFL is, is is a lot of people do now. They, w- what are you saying? Are you yeah. saying this flag should be held in a place of honor so people shouldn't kneel during the national anthem so it won't happen anymore? Uh, the, the, this is like they want to tell you they still have great respect for the country and the flag, but does that mean you're going to say that nobody can kneel during it now? I, I, I think, mean, I'm I just think confused this, about I think this was uh, the NFL celebrating their 100 years, which, by the way, the 100-year thing that was I thought really was cool. extremely good. That was too, fantastic. Yeah. Um, the, way I, the, the way the kid brought the ball and fell, that was great. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought that was a great commercial. Right. Yeah. And yeah. And you kind of could tell that what was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. you know, so was that great. was good. Yeah. Um, I, I think they were just trying to, to give everybody something. You know, they, they were trying to, to show love to every group that they could. They knew they had a flag problem. Uh, they covered that. Uh, they, you know, they they tried to cover the, uh, mm-hmm. the, the alternative lifestyle with the female coach from San Francisco. Uh, they, you know, it just seemed like they were trying well, to give everybody And then we come back, probably that. the most confusing message, whether we hold women in a place of respect or not. Because <laughs> uh, uh, I, I would say uh, the uh, halftime show probably deserves its own segment. All, all, the, sure. all they did oh, was gracious. tell us in the pregame that you know because you know we have some of these players that have treated women poorly. Uh, we only gave you the female widows who now own teams for their husbands. Used to right, own. right. Yeah. We, we had no male owners represented at all. All female. It, it was girl power and woman power. And I'm sure they're making all the about about every about every break you could you could take. 
But then the halftime show comes out and plays to every stereotype that you think we're trying to rub out. Yeah. I don't, I don't, Pitbull had it before the game, yeah. too. I, I'm just, yeah. I'm just I, confused. I have a question. So about what they're that. saying is if women degrade themselves in front of men, that's okay. Or, or just, <laughs> right. I, I, right. I'm, I'm just, I don't understand. I'm, I'm very confused by that message. Right. Well, Rick, a lot of people were screaming, we don't have enough pole dancing at the Super Bowl. You, realize, you know, I mean, there was a it, lot of it's that. It's one thing uh, to say we got some people that dance in tight outfits, but one of the images I thought we were trying to remove was pole dancing. <laughs> now that was pretty much front and center. So so uh, so we're going to we're now going to take women at, on a ma- mainly male audience and say y'all go out there and, and shake it for everybody and get up on the pole and, and let the men mm. gawk at you. After we spent I, the entire first half, <laughs> I, I, I just I, I can't follow it. I, 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 just, I have a I have a pit bull question and then we'll we'll break down half. Well, he's worldwide, Bubba. <laughs> <He's> worldwide. <laughs> worldwide. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's eight minutes now to the top of the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us today. Calvin Speedy Wilburn, the new owner of the Sport Czar Trophy, with a prediction of Kansas City 33, San Francisco 24. So we move it out of my office over to Speedy. Once we get the lights on Speedy, we can see in our offices. I'll move it in there for you uh, as we make our way back. So we're breaking down... The Super Bowl. We talked about the big moments in the game a little bit. We'll get to some of your phone calls coming up. Do y'all want to go? Uh, anything to do? We talked about pregame. We talked. Let, about- let me let me ask you this about right. the pregame, uh-huh. and, and then we'll get to halftime. Mm-hmm. I came in. I'd stepped out. I came in, and Pit Bull was performing. Yes, he was. And uh, it, it had the the <laughs> usual look of a Pit Bull performance. Uh, right. Well, it's Worldwide, the same baby. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I I didn't know the song he was doing, but I kept. I felt like I kind of knew it, and I kept getting hints of it. And at one point, I thought he was doing Black Betty by Ram Jam. That's because he was. Or Ram so Jam. Did he throw it in there? That's Not exactly the whole song, you just kind of put it in well, it there. His, it, I, it's kind of his remake. arrangement of it. Yeah, it's his I, remake. I, I yeah. hear that. Huh. It, was, it was something. Well, let me ask you all this, and I was bringing it up when we lost power earlier. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the guy that narrates Hard Knocks, and he was doing the 100-year thing last yeah, night. Yeah, man. Do y'all know ready who that is? No. You may not know who I'm talking about. Liv Schreiber's his name. He's Say Ray Donovan. Yeah, Ray yeah. Donovan on the on the series. I didn't know that. Me and Lisa were at Taylor's. And we got to argue. No idea. You'll know if I it's show called him Ray Donovan. The it's series. A series. Is Ray oh, he's I, an actor. Yeah, I don't know who that is. But I, but his real name is what? Greg Say Liv again. Schreiber. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you show him, he him does. Him, I you would know exactly who he is. It. They hey. said that he did. He does voiceover, but it doesn't sound like him at all. Oh, he I was Wolverine's the, brother. Wait a minute. I heard there, Rick. Wolverine's brother. Exactly. That's him. That's who does the voiceovers. Thirty-five minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us. Uh, we mentioned uh, talking to Doctor Dudney today. It's uh, tooth talk again. It, uh, we've been mentioning the month of February is Children's Dental Health Month as well, and the importance of that. Uh, we were talking about heart disease uh, tied to um, to inflammation uh, with with gum disease. Bubba pointed that out. Thank you, Bill. Uh, but uh, also, don't forget, Relief Factor helps uh, with the body's inflammation. ReliefFactor.com. Inflammation, uh, you know, in the body's re- reaction to inflammation is something that scientists and doctors have been studying for a long time. Uh, and they started out studying what could we do to, to help uh, the body's natural inflammatory response. The scientists said, you know, the over-the-counter stuff when it comes to pain, and aches uh, not designed to be taken every day like a supplement. That, that's not what they were ever designed to do. So if you abuse them, uh, there can be bad side effects. And, boy, we've got a, a, a society that's addicted to opioids and the lives that have been destroyed and are continuing to be destroyed by these products. So uh, Relief Factor is all natural. It's four botanicals that have always uh, shown uh, you know some uh, some progress when it comes to helping bo- the body with inflammation but when they put them all together man it really started to, to, to be something and people have been ordering relief factor like uh, like us 70 percent of the people and it's over a million now that have ordered uh, the quick start kit which is 1995 they get you three weeks of relief factor they saw such significant uh, progress they ordered more uh, and now take it all the time, like I do every day. So if you'd like to get yours, uh, go to relieffactor.com. Uh, you, you feel better or your money back guarantee is also available. Uh, so why not give it a try? You you have everything to, to gain, and the only thing you have to lose is pain. So go to relieffactor.com or call one 800 4 
relief to get your three-week supply right now for nineteen ninety-five. That link is also available at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Dr. Thomas Dudney with us. Uh, we have his website and show notes today. He and Dr. Luis Abrante, uh, uh, have, uh, they take care of our families. They do a great job, and they're just bringing awareness this month for, for dentists everywhere uh, to National Children's Dental Health Month. And we were talking about how um, how influential celebrities can be on children and young people and Sadly, sometimes it looks like even adults. Uh, but yeah. this this new thing of messing with my teeth and, and putting these, are they metal? These metal objects <laughs> on my teeth? Uh, uh, yes. Some of them permanent, most of, most of them not, we hope. Well, I, if I would jet, hope, titanium? I mean. Obviously, I don't know. I haven't seen one personally. Right. So I would assume that a lot of these are removable. Because you know they do it for movies. Uh, you know, you see these things course, like in yeah. movies. They they're not going to go ruin their teeth, so they're going to have them where they are removable. Uh, but I think some of them I I've known for a fact people have had things like little diamond bits implanted in their teeth or, or little gold ornaments, little gold tooth, yeah, yeah. And, or not Mine has like been a removed. whole gold tooth. <laughs> Mine has but, been removed and is in a snack when those snack packs. Right, that's uh, sealed. But I mean, I'm talking about people have a gold like front tooth or oh, gold yes. or gold implanted in their tooth. So sure. I, uh, it bothers me to think that anybody would destroy healthy tooth structure. That's one of the things we 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 strive to do in dentistry is preserve as much healthy mm-hmm. tooth as we can, because it's the only one you have. And now more than ever, you can keep your teeth all oh. the, all the way to yeah. your time on this earth mm-hmm. ends. Right. There's no, you know, like for for our, my grandparents and 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 beyond. Before that, they just assumed they were going to lose teeth. That was just like right. accepted. Now we don't accept that anymore. We we do everything in our power to help people prevent losing their teeth. So uh, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I see it, and it's it seems to be popular right now. Um, and I, I'm assuming that a lot of them are removable, but they wear it like jewelry. Okay, so, it's, so it's what- an ornament. So you're telling us not a lot of titanium teeth and alabaster at this point. No. <laughs> right. But, Thank I mean, you, you never know. Right. Thank God. Well, and just I, give us time. Not a lot. <laughs> give not, us time. We haven't seen it. I haven't had You'll it. You'll have to hire a good it, welder. Yeah. It's not been requested from any, anybody <laughs> in my we office. We've had calls, but we yeah. don't do that. Have you really? <laughs> yeah. So they've called and asked if you— if, cause, so They I guess, would ask for a gold tooth. Yeah. yeah. What, what what about these titanium things? No, no we not haven't not. had anybody request. Oh, no, give it time, Doc. Mm-hmm. How how long how long <laughs> right. till, till we start the waving of the not not a caution flag a red flag? All of you that are putting titanium and and sticking right. them in your teeth and wearing them for hours on end, right. you are destroying yourself and it's going to make you violently sick. Yeah, your yeah. liver and your yeah. pancreas is right. not dealing with it well. Yeah. 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 Well, that, like not that. only that, but it's very hard to keep your teeth clean. It's very it, it can cause inflammation. You know, we were talking about that and. Uh, it's hard for your to keep your gums healthy when you have that on there because you just it's not it's not natural. Seems like it would nick them and cut them and yeah. and, and, and I mean yeah. it's uh, you know usually we wear a mouthpiece in right. athletics yeah. to protect our and teeth from breaking. Right. <laughs> now, now we're and gonna you know it's hard to talk with those and it's, you know yeah. they're not comfortable and you know I just, I just don't get it. Look, I understand, but you can buy a steel cable. In here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. I mean, I can't. I, there was a time I could speak negatively about right. the mullet, but I can't now because it's back. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. The mullet, the mullet has yeah. risen from the ashes, by the way, like a phoenix. Oh, I mean, it, it, yeah. it, 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 it is back. Well, yeah. everything is cyclical, <laughs> right. you know. I mean, you, you look at that. I mean, yeah. I see pictures of myself, and I wore bell-bottom pants, and I just cringe now to think. Yeah, but at the happen, time, you know? it was yeah. At the time, you it had was, to have it. it. was cool. Yeah. But you, cramming you my mouth, out. Yeah. yeah, cramming my mouth full of metal. It's, and I guess the thing that gets me, I understand that you know when we're young and we're 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 goofy and we right. do we have stupid yeah. trends, but I don't see who was the person that said that looks good. I know I sound like an old man now. Well, I got you know, it. James but, uh, Bond movie Jaws. Right. Yeah, you know, he, he was had a villain. Those, he was a villain. Yeah. But how many it, times do you need to yeah. buy a steel cable? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. uh huh. But I mean, we've seen we've seen these for a while now. Yeah. But it's been fairly rare. Starting to really pick but up momentum it's like now. You see it in the music industry, some you know, in in some of the performers, mm-hmm. and uh, but it's it, it seems to be catching on. Jim, well, you mentioned tattoos. I mean, I oh don't think goodness. tattoos seem to be much more prevalent now than they were. 
Yeah, uh, especially in, a bunch oh, yeah. of them. You yeah. know, there, there used yeah. to be a time when, yeah, when your papa couple, had a yeah. had an yeah. anchor on yeah. his arm because yeah. he was right. in the navy. Yeah. You know, and and that kind of hung with him. An old man with an anchor on the arm didn't look bad. But some of these looks are going to be real cruel yeah. in your seventies. I mean, yeah. it's, it's yeah. kind of. Have you ever seen yeah. a droopy tribal armband? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is not impressive. Is they Pop, don't. They well, don't they more they of it below the arm than above. Yeah. We're probably yeah. not going to age well. So, it's Mom, just... what's all that dark stuff hanging off Papa's arm? That actually all was connected one time, really firm. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was a it was a sleeve. You mean like a like a like a shirt? No, it was an inch sleeve. Uh, I don't. Uh, I you know let we none of us as human beings we all struggle with moderation, and uh, I mean we do, but it's like we can't just like that. You people want to go to, people want a diamond in their tooth. Now everybody's got to have a full metal mouth. Yeah, and you know it looks like caps. You remember when they did caps? Oh, right. yeah. yeah, when we were little yeah. kids. You remember old, when your your buddy would get cap. caps, yeah. and we would all start praying. I hope that doesn't last long. <laughs> you know, and, and 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 now people are doing it on purpose. The cap well, look. Yeah, they say beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but to me, a beautiful smile is still going to be important. And you can give someone a beautiful smile. That's what we do. We want we want the natural smile to be be attractive not 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 ordain your teeth with stuff but that again it's it's what it, that's what they want but i just hope they're getting regular mm-hmm. dental care so that <laughs> the dentist is not and that something worse isn't happening yeah. yeah, you know, you might want to rethink if you go to your every 6 month and 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 they have to tell you now you need to take those out so we can get to your real teeth. Yeah. yeah. You know, could you remove your titanium, uh, yeah. please? They can't clean We'd like to begin. <laughs> yeah, leave those yeah. in the door. Yeah. Are you going to, at some point, you'll have another office where you go, now drop your your titanium teeth there. She's going to yeah. polish those. Yeah. Now go in here. We're going we're gonna to clean your real teeth. Right. It's like going to the airport security. Yeah. Throw everything in the bin yeah. out of your mouth. Oh, right. You know, right. And then let's. Yeah. Don't you know that would be a nightmare? Yeah, going is that going to show up? I guess. Well, would yeah, it? Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, depending on what kind of metal it's made out of. Sure. Well, they have those, they'll do the wand, and instead of doing your, like, Ooh. legs and arms, they'll do your mouth. You yeah, know, with now the smile wand. for us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in the future. Hey, those, those poor people at the airport got enough to check oh, already, let's yeah. be honest, okay? Are, are, do we think there's a future when little kids are like, Mommy and Daddy, tell us how y'all met. Well, your daddy, he <laughs> smiled at me with that titanium smile, <laughs> and I knew right then. <laughs> uh, I mean. <laughs> well, he bit that spoon right yes. off. I mean, that was something. It was love at first yeah. bite. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know, I don't know. To each his own. I, but we, we do want you to be healthy, though. I, I hope it's not a you know something that's not yeah, good. Yeah, I I'm unfortunately I'm not real knowledgeable in this area, so I'm yeah. I'm most of I'm saying is speculation. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing or even how they're doing it, but I don't like it. Uh, Just think about this, Rick. You make out with somebody with that, you might have to get a tetanus shot. <laughs> <laughs> You know, absolutely not. I just don't get it. I don't either. Uh, So uh, go to the website if if you're in the area. Uh, Of course, Dudney takes care of us, but no matter where you are today. Yes. Are we still saying six months, every six months? Yes. Yes. That's That's the minimum. Don't cancel, Rick. I know. I know. We see some people more often than that because, you know, they need it. They could have gum disease or something like that. And we're trying to get them well and get them healthy. But, yeah, at least go twice a year and keep, keep. Let them keep check on things, and 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 if the if they want to get X rays once a year, let them get X rays. That's how we see what's going on. We it's need X rays. Just the cleaning. Yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> right. Yeah, they, yeah. they tell you everything that's going on, and early detection is crucial. February it National is. Children's Dental Health yeah. Month, uh, and thank uh, Dr. Dudney yeah. and Team Dudney for being here today, and as always, hanging out. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for the delicious breakfast and the delicious cookies. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Our number is 866-WE-BE-BIG. We'll get into some of your phone calls after we wrote through some of the stories of the day. Uh, Thank you for being with us. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Listen, we got to argue with Taylor. Me and Lisa were at Taylor's, and he said, you know that's Ray Donovan. I said, you, because he's a threat to be wrong. I said, Taylor, there's no way. He was the Manchurian candidate. Yeah, yeah. yes. Right. And he goes, there's no way. And he goes, Dad, he started pulling it up, and Lisa got in there and started looking well, at it. Down and that, he, he voices all kinds of stuff. That makes sense to but me. But he doesn't sound like himself when he does it. That's what makes sense to me, because I heard a reference to one of the most – 
one of the most sought after voiceover guys in the business. And I was like, well, who are they talking about? Yeah, when they showed him in the, we in the stands. Arguing. They I showed him in the stands, and I was like, who are they talking about? I'm looking at the stands. I was confused too. That makes sense. Wait, now. There, yeah. We were arguing with Tyler. I said, that, you're wrong. And he goes, he was a he was a little shut up juice. Let me tell you, that 100 years thing, and for the fact yeah. Of, yeah. Of, the, of the guy was a little kid that I just loved, Mean Joe Green, yeah. for him to have the last line of it showtime. Oh, yeah. As the little boy runs past him, yeah. I thought they were going to do something to the Coca Cola commercial. Yeah, I did too. But it was uh, it was fantastic. The hundred year stuff was all yeah. great. Yeah, I thought the pregame was outstanding. Yeah, I did too. I got to go back and check out Pitbull today. And yeah, see if I that, heard that, that right. was well. That that was one of those things. First of all, I I would never if Pitbull was playing like in, in the dark <laughs> over there just out in front of Panera Bread. I wouldn't walk over there. No, really. <laughs> but you know, because there's I think artists. If I've seen him once. I've seen him. I mean, that's all you got. <laughs> what I'm saying. But now the the funny commercial. Where the, that comedian, oh, yeah, Rick, Rob Riggle, Rob Riggle. Yeah. Now that was funny. That was funny. This dude what Pitbull would do. That's funny. But the uh, that but was. but you know yeah, it's, it's like good. sometimes there's a, a, a genre of music that's not your favorite, but there's certain songs from from artists that are not in your genre. You go, but at least I know they. That's kind of a good song. Mm-hmm. You know, Pitbull. I can't think of one. I certainly can't think of anything that no. Jennifer Lopez has ever done or I Shakira that that I would even remotely remotely i mean even for a second care about and um so that uh the, the, but the whole thing i guess i'm just confused today as i sit here on things that don't matter i mean it's outside of football but mm-hmm. you know this this thing this is why the political left of our country this is why feel goodism doesn't work <laughs> because it's based on emotion and when it's based on emotion there's no consistency whatsoever and uh, because um i just i'm just confused at a time, I know they did it because they thought it had a Latin flair and they were in Miami. Mm-hmm. I guess that's what makes sense. But well, I think Pitbull could have covered it. But, 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 <laughs> why? Why? Well, but Pitbull. Because he's worldwide. <laughs> but Pitbull's still going to bring out, you know, he's going to have his dancers. Oh, and, uh, Rick, and he does did. he ever. Yeah, and he really, did. what Pitbull's wow. going to show you is here's one man with all of his clothes on, but has a bunch of women gyrating yeah. around him that don't have hardly any of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, yeah. and he's the king of the harem. I'm not sure that's the look they're looking for. But. But, you know, and, and that, that word is appropriate. If you got, you yeah. know, J-Lo and, and Shakira, I just don't, I don't understand. I, I don't understand how you spent the whole first half telling us that we are women, hear us roar, and numbers too big to ignore. Mm-hmm. And uh, with all the stereotypes of the way women have been treated by men, especially the NFL, that is over. And we, with those stereotypes should be removed and to treat women like they are just there for your pleasure, to be cast aside or abused or treated like pieces of meat. Uh, and, and but it, check this out. But at halftime, <laughs> we will give you two women who will play to every single stereotype type we tried to rule out in the whole first half. The, and, 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 while, and while everybody is dancing and acting like this, J-Lo brings out her daughter to sing. So that was I her daughter. Yeah, yeah. That, that was like, the only bright moment of the halftime show when they brought the kids. Out. Yeah, I just you know this night. is not trying to be legalistic or sanctimonious or anything. It is trying to be consistent. Yeah. Uh, and and it's I just you know I couldn't find any justification for the things that I claim to believe, and and for and for the person that I'm that I, I I'm trying to be sanctified to be how I could sit down and look at that. And I, I mean, guess I, it was I a mean, swipe I, I, at, I mean, at Trump just, because they had kids sitting in cages. Or something, uh, and, and they were saying, that. "Wow, uh, wow. yeah." Uh, you know. you, the, there was two things that I thought was impressive <clears throat> wow. about the halftime show, and that is the fact that that both of them are older than I thought they were. Ninety three years between the, <laughs> yeah, between yeah. the two of them. J Lo is up. fifty, and Shakira, which may be even more shocking, is forty three. Yeah. Uh, but the fact of the logistics of getting all those dancers on and off stage. I mean, we've seen them do the Super Bowl stage uh, live, and it, and that in itself is impressive. But to get that many people that's going to perform on and off the stage, I, the, I don't see how in the world they do it. But the, I mean, there were, I mean, there were hundreds, you yeah, know, hundreds. not a thousand yeah. out there. But the reviews of it and the still shots and the pictures are, are an indicator. And, and my wife, you know, said, well, look, I'm, uh, you know, she's in there. And I said, look, I can't, you know, man, I'm just.
It is uh, nine minutes to the top. The great William Hung brings us back. Hey. So, Bubba, you were telling us there is a William Hung update today. Yeah. Do, do we have any of the other William Hung clips, uh, oh, Andy? You're talking about the uh, ones that he did do for it. us that he's, that he's done to motivate oh, me over the years? I sure you hope You can so. do it. You can do it. I sure hope so. <laughs> those, those deliver every time. Every time. Every time. Never How many miss. of those a day do you think he does? Uh, nah. I may do it. He might be he doing probably pretty do, well. does pretty good for himself, yeah. yeah. Do it. Then we, re- we researched that one time, but what, what's going on with Hung? Well, it's been 20 years since his brutal audition Ooh. on American Idol. Wow. Do you remember how bad it was? So he did that song by Ricky Martin. Ricky oh, Martin, yeah. G-Bang! G-Bang! Yeah, wasn't that it? And that's <laughs> yeah, the first song yeah. he did? It was it was that. If I do, you, if I'll you remember, um, Simon, Simon Cowell called his audition grotesque. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and and I say, they're saying it was one of the most brutal reviews by the years. judges ever. Mm. Well, my goodness. Uh, here, well, William's got something for us here. Yeah, here's, here's, here's one, one of them. Right, He's done. Right, right, <clears throat> Hi, Greg. This is William Hong <laughs> from American <laughs> Idol. You need to persevere through the entire race. No walking or getting passed by older ladies. Here is a song for you. And just do it. <laughs> be what you want to be. Do what you want to do. Be true yourself. And just do it. Be what you want oh, to be. Good. Do what you want yeah. to do. Because it's all up to you. That is, oh, you man. can't beat that. No. <laughs> so you say delivers I, every time. Can, every time. Can I tell you? I like when this. We had do him it. on the podcast. I was really Forgot kind of blown that. away. Forgot about that. About, about the one. whole interview. Mm-hmm. Because we, yeah. you kind of think that he's just goofy and doesn't know what he's doing. But right. He really does have some things going there. Now, he may not be the best singer. Well, no. Um, but yeah. uh, he, he, he really best. is right about several things. Well, you know, I, tell you, interesting. I tell you what but, we love, and I think it may be what you're veering into, is that he, he, I think he knows he doesn't sing well, but he likes to sing anyway. Right. Yeah, it makes him happy. And yeah. So he, in this story, and this is what the headline says, which makes it even funnier. It says, uh, William <laughs> Hung has <laughs> three words for Simon Cowell. Three were, and I started thinking, oh Uh-oh. boy, these so could be. So is he still mad at These could be three. Wow. What do you think he would tell Simon Cowell today if he met him face to face? He said he's got three words for him. Just do it. <laughs> do what you're going to say. <laughs> Just do it. The three words, I made it. I made it. Okay. Oh. Maybe not as a singer, but no. he did make it. Right. Now, he did. Guys, he's got a record out, right? Didn't oh, he yeah. have a CD? Yeah, yeah. I, the Chris, don't forget this. the Christmas album. He has sold more records than Simon Cowell has. That's a fact. Right. That's a fact. <laughs> right. It may be Randy. I right. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. How, <laughs> you know it depends journey. if you count. Right. Journey or not. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, now, you know, I watch, I still like Idol, but now they they don't do any of that anymore. They don't make fun of anybody. If you're real bad, they won't let you on. <laughs> And that ruins it. But, and I think I'm catching them beefing these stories up a little bit, too. Or at least pre, he premeditating. There he goes. Because we had one another night. I mean, this woman's adopted family. So they had – and she was really good. But they had to know she was going to advance or so they surprised her with them being there. They wouldn't have had them there if they didn't know she was going to advance. You right. know, I'm just saying we got – they're getting kind of dramatic. Well, and they won't show any of the William Hung type people. Well, I, that, that's what I'm saying. Are you I'm disappointed out. as an American Idol viewer? No, yeah. 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 Oh, and, so and here, they're not mean. They, they won't. They won't be brutally honest, which you need to be sometimes. You know, they're too nice. Here I mean, Simon is, uh, Cowell. Normally, if you listen to what he said, he was right. He was. A few old. other words that Simon had for William Hung: You hmm. can't sing, you can't dance. So, what do you want me to say? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you and me talking to radio consultants. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, but he always says, "I gave my best, right. and I have no regrets at all." Well, so, you can pass a V, huh? I, I think <laughs> that the William Hungs of the world, it really it says to everybody within the sound of our voices, you you must stop making excuses on why you're not successful. But and Rick, he preaches that all the time. Yeah, because I he mean, said, "I realize I I know what I don't have," and I think too many times people focus on what you don't have. Hmm. And what he says, but I think I can find a way to have a successful career with what I do have. I got to just find my niche and find my market. And he did. Mm -hmm. So he works as a statistical analyst 
for the Sheriff's Department in Los Angeles. Okay. Continues to delight fans with his live performances and cameo videos. That's what we saw. Yep. Oh, yeah. He also has been, uh, he, he's now a public speaker who provides motivational speeches. Oh, I need to go. And to has given a TED Talk. Before. Mm-hmm. I bet yep. he has. I want to see his motivational speech. Uh, and he had consulted well, too. It's with kind po- of what he said. To poker on, tournaments. Yeah, don't stuff? he like yeah. give tips on playing <laughs> at Texas Hole? No, he does. We talked about that in RBU. <laughs> no, you're yeah. right. I forgot about that. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. He I doesn't didn't. mention that in this story. He said, but, just yeah. fold it. I want to hear his do his motivational speech. I oh, yeah. Hear. Of course yeah. you do. And Could you go sit through? Because I think here's this is a good question. And that's, that's why he's multifaceted. But could you go to a theater? And sit through an entire concert. No. To me, William Hung no. is a one or two songs. Yes. Right. And then the bits kind of run yeah. its course. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't okay. want him singing maybe one. I just do she bang and be done. So if I go into a theater, I'd like for him to sing a couple of songs, but mm-hmm. I want him to do some of his other stuff. I want mm-hmm. motivational speeches. Right. I want it to be a variety. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the if he wants to tell me about Texas Hold'em, he can do yeah. that too. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Right. I mean, I'd so like I mean, to. Is he, is he basically uh, just statistically figured all this out? I mean, I, is, I that, guess. is that his advice? I guess. Keep, I mean, he's not counting cards. That's illegal, but I right. mean, I, I guess, that, Bubba. I mean, you know, he is well, Asian, so he probably guy. knows all this stuff. Right. Smart uh, as a whip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's face it. If we were in a college co- class, I, I, we all remember it. You but, know, uh, still. Did, we didn't have many Asians at my high school, but in college, when they came into my life, I knew to sit near them. Um, mm-hmm. I think, really, to me, the strangest thing about this story is that, that it's been 20 years since he auditioned. Wow, it don't seem. Right. I mean, that years, has yeah. flown by, hasn't it? How well, long was Pants well, on the Ground? How long ago was that? I was working here then. I forgot all about that. Pants yeah. on the Ground? Yeah. yeah. Greg, I think the problem <laughs> you're finding with American Idol is is that, you know, how many storylines are there that happen naturally? So I think yeah. now they're forcing they're, them. They're doing It's, it's a lot of years there of them are. trying to find people who have an interesting storylines. I mm-hmm. mean, and some of them are interesting, but the, some of them and also there's just some going stretch, on. You know, and it was so real back then. You know what I mean? Yeah, now people try to try to make up flat. stuff to get to get on there because yeah. they've seen the past and what happened yeah, and how what worked. Does well, back back then it was raw and oh, real. It was. I mean, raw. and again, Simon being brutal was also a entertaining. But I mean, he was. He was mm. five times factual. You know they don't. Yeah, he was factual. They don't have that guy anymore. No, no. they're all too I mean, nice. It's all nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that nobody says anything. They may say, I, "I don't think you're ready" or something like that. But nobody. I knows. really think nobody goes. That may be the worst thing I've ever. You know, I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I really think those shows need a villain kind they of guy. Do. I they mean, do. they had the. You know, he was on American Idol and they had that older guy on Dancing with the no, Stars that just ate everybody. Up. Yeah, he's dead now. Mm-hmm. Um, but but. I think everybody expects that one brutal guy. I agree. And then yeah. there's the one that's too nice all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think you're right. No, you need that, that you know, bucket of it cold makes, water. It makes good TV. It really does. Well, Simon yeah. was the best part of Idol to me. Yeah. And the accent, I think, made it even better. Of course. Is he brutal on America's Got Talent? No. He's not brutal there either? Well, I don't watch it much. A few times he doesn't seem to be that. <laughs> Top of the hour, William Hung, 20 years ago today, his audition. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I'm not going to watch this. And uh, and and so we were just, I, I just, I don't get it. it. I mean, it looked like all that was missing was a DJ saying, hey, boys, look at stage number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys, look at stage number two. And I thought that was every image that was that we were trying to rightfully erase concerning women. And then, but if women decide on their own accord to play to that stereotype, what do you do with that? You probably don't pick it for the halftime show. But again, in the world of emotion, consistency will always be hard to find. Yeah. Top of the hour, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Six minutes now, past the hour. Rick and Bubba show from the broadcast plans and teleport. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Taking phone calls, Stretch Armstrong, and we'll get to your calls. Looking back over the Super Bowl yesterday, uh, we've got, talked about pregame. We've talked about the highlights of the game. We've talked about the crazy, inconsistent messages that were attempted to be sent to us, I guess. Uh, and then, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll get some of your phone calls and commercials as well. Saw some commercials that we didn't see that we thought were very funny. Uh, the Groundhog Day one with yeah. Bill Murray was very funny. 
Uh, Sam Elliott, the one that we didn't see, was actually funnier than the one we saw. Yeah. When he gets out there and they do that dance off, well, that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, uh, so it was. Um, and then uh, this happened uh, that Speedy's working on now, and that is when Hannity. I look up and Hannity is part of the pregame show and he's interviewing Trump. Now, I know Fox was trying to cover a lot of bases with right. the pregame show. Yeah, but I I thought that was completely out of the norm. I, I didn't even understand why they were doing that. Well, I've known in the past they have interviewed presidents. I saw, I remember Obama being interviewed in the pregame show, but mainly about ma- mainly about the football. Yeah. yeah. But never yeah. like this. No. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. All right. But but then it came it, it, it was funny. It was hilarious. It was classic Trump. Yeah. It was a little out of place, I thought, for the flow of what was going on in pregame. I'll tell you how out of place it was. This is no no kidding. I went to, you know, I was setting up, try, Sherry and I had gone, tried to get us some snacks or whatever to get ready to watch it. And I walk into the room and I'm like, well, what have I got this on Fox News for? And I, and <laughs> yeah. I went down. Yeah. No, I really did. I got the changer and went to where the game was and it yeah. was still up on the screen. Yeah. I'm like, hey, wait, wait a minute. A minute. Wait a minute. Are, is, it, is Hannity on the normal Fox <laughs> channel? And a little so, cross promotion, I guess. But this thing where he starts throwing out names to Trump, yeah, and Trump just starts saying the first thing. All these little is, nicknames for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's a goal, by the way. Here it is. Here it is, courtesy <laughs> of Fox. I've known you for a couple of decades. This is going to be hard for you. This is called our lightning round here. Right. Um, I'm just going to throw out a name, whatever comes to your mind. Okay. We'll start with Joe Biden. I just think of Sleepy. I, I just watch him. He's Sleepy, Sleepy Joe. Hunter. Hunter Biden. <laughs> Where's Hunter? Where is he? <laughs> He made millions of dollars. He went from having no job, no income. He had nothing. As you know, he had a very sad experience in the military. (laughs) He has nothing. To making millions and millions of dollars a year, not just from Ukraine, from China and from other countries. How can you do this? This is crooked as hell. What they did is very dishonest. (laughs) Bernie Sanders. Well, I think he's a communist. I mean, you know, look, I think of communism when I think of Bernie. Now, you could say socialist, but... Did he get married in Moscow? And that's wonderful. Moscow's wonderful. Might have been the honeymoon. You don't think necessarily, well, whatever. (laughs) But you don't necessarily think in terms of marriage, Moscow. (laughs) And it's wonderful. I'm not knocking it, but I think of Bernie sort of as a socialist, but far beyond a socialist. Elizabeth Warren. At least he's true to what he believes. That's one thing. Because you mentioned now Elizabeth Warren. She's not true to it. I call her fairy tale. (laughs) Because everything's a fairy tale. That's how Pocahontas got started. Everything's a fairy tale. This woman can't tell the truth. Michael Bloomberg. Uh, very little. <laughs> I just think of little. You know, now he wants a box for the debates to stand on. Okay, it's okay. There's nothing wrong. You could be short. Why should he get a box to stand on, okay? He wants a box for the debates. Why should he be entitled to that? I, really? Then does that mean everyone else gets a box? I guess if they want one, I left the negotiation. Well, the other thing boxes very in interesting. The Cory Booker and all these people couldn't get any of the things that Bloomberg's getting now. I think it's very unfair for the Democrats, but I would love to run against Bloomberg. I would love it. Hillary. I think of emails. I think of the email scandal. How she got away with that is a disgrace. I think it's a disgrace. Pelosi. Greg? Uh, I think she's a very confused, very nervous woman. I don't think she wanted to do this. I think she really knew what was going to happen, and it's uh, her worst nightmare has happened. I don't think she's going to be there too long either. I think that the radical left, and she's sort of radical left too, by the way, but I think the radical left is going to take over. You've got the Democrats. They're vying to go up against you in 275 days. Is there one candidate running? More than another that you t- like. I have to of? sit back and watch. I mean, I look. Doesn't I'm, matter. I'm yet. watching, and you know, I have little nicknames for all of them. But, <laughs> but uh, you just. I'm look, sure and, they and love think, your nicknames. No, but I, they're accurate. You know, I mean, they're very accurate. You look at Sleepy Joe. What's going on with him? <clears throat> He's having a hard time. Uh, you look at Bernie. I call him Crazy Bernie. <laughs> Uh, they now Bernie. they're sort of rigging the election against him again. I see what's going on. They're rigging it against him. Coronavirus is he's closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby, that's the truth. Trump. 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 Yo. And then right after that, he uh Yo. he tw- he tweeted out about Bl- Bloomberg. He called him uh Mini Mike. Yeah, that's yeah.
us all here for another hour from the Big Boy Studio. Uh, that's located in Sweet Home, Alabama, to the rest of the world on all sorts of technology, uh, featuring uh, the Rick and Bubba Radio Network, uh, the YouTube channel, the streaming app, and then archives on our podcast channel and our YouTube channel as well. Also, a, a best of hour for Blaze TV viewers. I met somebody over the weekend, Bubba, that was at the Man Church Conference and said, uh, I found you guys on Blaze TV. Didn't know anything about I was just a Blaze person, and I watched y'all show the hour we get, and I thought, well, I think I'll investigate this further. Uh, and uh, and ended up doing it at the Man Church Conference uh, in Birmingham. So that was kind of cool. Uh, speaking to that, we got a new resource uh, that is out today from themanchurch.com. If you're not familiar with us, uh, we have it's a men's discipleship strategy, and our, our main focus is resources and curriculum uh, designed for men. I will tell you, this 31-day devotional, you're going to have some examples in it uh, that are, are for men, but really this is for anybody, man, man or woman, and it's called Sin Always Matters. I remember this vividly, and you'll see this in the beginning, when we were you know, trying to raise our kids in the faith, and I can remember Sherry, it's the first time I really heard that phrase, she was talking about, and you've heard us talk about it here on the show before, that you got to understand that the God who created us, these barriers that he has set up, he didn't set them up to be a killjoy. Uh, he set them up for our own benefit. In the very beginning when he said, Look, I'm giving you free reign in this beautiful place. Everything you need is provided for you here. The only thing that I'm telling you you can't do is because you, you, you can't do it as well as I can. You don't get to decide what's right and wrong. Uh, just trust me that, that I decide what's right and wrong, God, and everything else. Just have at it. Well, of course, you know, it wouldn't take long for human beings to be convinced that we should be able to dictate what is right and wrong. God somehow is withholding something from us with all these with these yeah. barriers. Don't mm-hmm. I don't get to have fun. I don't get that. Whatever. And then yeah, what? Because what Sherry said, she said, well, based on the fact that God forbids certain things, there's a reason for that, and it's the damage that it will do. And and she said, so you you have to understand that uh, due to God's standards being what they are, sin will <laughs> always matter. Mm-hmm. Sin will always matter. And so we would say things like, now, before you go out and make these decisions, you know, before they ever made them, understand, you know, that they can't be taken lightly. And, and I, I've been guilty of it as anybody. And I was saying uh, this when I was putting this devotional together on this topic. One of the things that it really challenged me uh, is to stop seeing sin through my flawed, fallen flesh and to get into the word of God where God reveals himself and learn to look at sin through the eyes of a God who is holy, holy, holy. And, and, and if we don't do that, speaking about me first, if we don't do that, we will always, 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 big, big offender raising his hand, my hand is up, will always cheapen grace. We always will. Because we'll think, well, is God's grace that big thing? And, and we stop forgetting how much we need to be redeemed. You know, that's one of the biggest things, and Bubba and I have tried to talk about this, this for years. If you really understand the Christian faith, the first, the first thing we have to admit is that we got to be redeemed. Yep, yep. We're that, in trouble. That we're, that, that we're wretched and we we got a problem that yep. we can't resolve. Mm-hmm. And so what's happened, though, is, is our society has, has taken sin and said, well, uh, it, is it really that big a deal? Mm-hmm. And, and, and now, you know, God, may, you know, whatever, let's come up with our own version of this. So what, what the, the devotional... It's not opinion. What the devotional does is goes through often ignored scriptures and says, here's what God says about sin. Here's how he sees sin. And, uh, and, and I think what we have to understand is to truly understand the cross. You know, we always look at the, the brutality of the cross and what the Son of God went through. And it's okay to say, look how much God loves me, because that is true. But, never, we, but we often fail to say that also shows how serious God takes sin. So that had to be done? Yes. So that's his wrath? Yes. So if we can understand that God's wrath and God's judgment is just and perfect, and it, and it sits on an equal pillar with his mercy, grace, and love, then we fully understand it. But if I don't understand his judgment and his wrath and how he sees sin, and he hates it, by the way, then I, f- I don't really understand the value of his mercy and his grace. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's what uh, this 31-day devotional takes on, and it's available today. Uh, we, we launched it at the conference this past weekend, and we'll have it in Startable, too, coming up March 8th and 9th, but it's now available. Anybody 
uh, at themanchurch.com or burgessministries.com, and we have a link uh, in our show notes today there at rickandbubba.com as well. And um, so I, mean, I will tell you, start well, the next Man Church uh, conference coming up, there's just a few tickets that remain for that. If you haven't grabbed those, you need to, because uh, it looks like that will sell out. It's a much smaller room than what we had uh, in in Birmingham, so just FYI. And you can get that at themanchurch.com too. So, Bubba, uh, somewhere, uh, of course, your mother is already in the presence of the God we just talked about. About that. But she is smiling today because uh, she gets an I told you so. Uh, <laughs> please, please revisit. You love that story. That was one of my favorites because my it's grandmother was the same way, okay? They, they remind me of each other. So, you know, there, there became this deal where doctors would tell people that a little red wine before you go to bed every night is is good for your health. Yeah, and I think the theory behind that was that your digestive system, uh, alcohol is very hard to break down. It's very complicated from a, a molecule standpoint. So your body had to really ramp up to break it down in your system, you know, your liver and everything. And when it ramped up, it also got rid of the cholesterol and plaque and everything else in your system too. So, but um, this is funny. Um, it says why red wine really isn't good for your heart. Experts now trash 30 years of research on benefits saying it's hugely flawed. Look at that quote, <clears throat> hugely flawed. Yeah. 30 years so, we, we've been hearing this, and, and now we're finding out, nah, that's not true. Mm-hmm. So yeah. when we had, and it, really, this was a long time ago, but probably Funny when we story. first started in Birmingham, Funny it had to story. be, gosh, it had to be back 20 plus years ago. And it's the first time I started having, you know, some high blood pressure, some cholesterol issues. You know, you start moving into, you know, your middle age, you're going to have that. Right. And uh, the doctor had said, well, said, you know, there's several ways we can go about this. Uh, do you do you drink wine? I said, well, no, I really don't. And he said, well, could you could you learn to drink a, a glass of red wine every night before bed? And I was like, I don't know. So I uh-huh. we, I, you know, later that day I was talking to my mom. <laughs> And she won't know how the doctor's visit went. And I said, well, you know, my cholesterol's up a little bit. But he suggested uh, drinking a glass of red wine before dinner every night. And there was a pause on the phone. She said, I think I'd get a new doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, uh, Doris, you are, you are correct. <laughs> They're saying red wine is linked to high blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, and cancer. Uh, and uh, says compounds in wine believed to be beneficial have never been studied in humans, only mice. Uh, and uh, and they said this uh, this is science from the 80s, to your point, Bubba. Uh, but it says uh, that really all alcohol causes DNA damage, which can lead to tumors. Uh, and, uh, and as I said, it, it actually causes high blood pressure and irregular heartbeat. And I think a lot of the things, because I, I've done this too and then did some studies when you see the Apostle Paul Apparently, Timothy had some gastrointestinal problems, <laughs> yeah, and he yeah. was telling Timothy to have a glass of wine. It would be good for his stomach. But you got to go back. When they were talking about wine in those days, no doubt it had an alcohol content. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. It was not grape juice, but but it was highly diluted. They were using the alcohol in wine to make water drinkable because the water was very dangerous. So it was it was and, and a lot it, of water. Yeah, it mixed, stayed it mixed, pure yeah. when, when water wouldn't right. you know, because yeah. of that. And so what we do is we, we think that even the stuff in the Bible, that they're drinking the high alcohol content that's out there in the liquor store today or over in the wine section, that just didn't drink. Now, uh, part so, of this, Rick, is, is what they call the French paradox. Okay, yeah, This right. is where a lot of this came from. Right. The French people, as a whole, eat rich, fatty foods and drink red wine, right. but they have relatively low rates of heart disease compared to other nations, which would be counterintuitive to this whole discussion, right? Right. right. Uh, but now experts have refuted proposed be- uh, supposed benefits, claiming evidence to back them up is flimsy and has only been documented in observational studies, meaning other factors could be at play. And uh, one of the doctors they quote here is Dr. Cho. You think that's Henry's dad? I thought about that. Oh. It may be. And you mentioned him earlier. Yeah. So anyway, it uh, looks like and it goes back to this other thing. Let's take the <laughs> wine out of it. This other thing that we've been documenting. They tell you something 30 years ago, and then the yeah. 30 years later they say, oh, by mm-hmm. the way, we were wrong about this. Listen, mm-hmm. one of the other things in the study I thought was funny, they found that people who drink red wine happen to be more athletic and energetic or out moving around a whole lot more energetic than, than the normal population anyway, which I don't know why that would be. I guess you have to get up and move around to go out and have a glass of red wine. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. But, yeah. 
So he said, so the bottom line, your test group, red wine drinkers tend to be healthier to begin with before right. they ever had the red wine. Right, right, yeah. So there you go. Uh, we'll be back. Your phone calls are next. Let's go 866-WE-BE-BIG. All 10 lines are available, and we'd love to chat with you. The real Greg Burgess taking the phones right now. We'll talk to you, America, right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Um, I think little. I, I think, I think small. Little, little. He needs it's, a okay. Box. it's okay to be short. <laughs> but he, I mean, that's okay. You can be short. But he I mean, wants a box instead. <laughs> I, I said Crazy that. Bernie. <laughs> Golly, yo. Yo, that is just good. Yo, that was yeah. on. That was on during during Super Bowl coverage. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, yeah, that wasn't a podcast. Right? How many people yeah, yeah. you think were spitting at the TV? Oh, my goodness. Uh-huh. And then I saw the commercials run. You know, Bloom, It was basically Bloomberg versus Trump in the commercial. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're the only two that can afford the uh-huh. for the Super Bowl. 5.6 mil for 30 seconds. Right. Did you see on the first Super Bowl that a ticket to the game was 15 bucks? Oh, yeah. And you could buy a commercial hey, for like two grand? Well, it was, no, it was seven. I think they said 78,000 in the first one, but still, that's a big jump to oh, 5 million. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you talk about it. What, oh, that, I mean, that was unbelievable. How about the $15 ticket? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good oh, luck now. Oh. Yeah, that, that was that was it. All right, so we'll come back. Uh, we'll talk about that. We see we hit commercials. Uh, we've hit pregame. We've oh, hit- speaking of commercials, yeah. Tom Brady. So he puts one out about that Hulu, good. yeah, that was or good. whatever, and then he says, "I'm not going anywhere." At the end, he uh, does. Yeah, I know. He, he, and so that's confusing because then Adam Scheffner he put out that the Raiders are close and they want him and all this kind of stuff. I just – it was a mixed message, but was he saying – He said he's not going to leave. He's, he's, he's saying he's not going to retire. I took the way I took it. Yeah. Yeah. That means he's going to stay with the Patriots. It okay. was it, it, it could confuse you, though. It was. Yeah. If you're leaving somewhere, right. no, you're right. the, the wording he used yeah. made you think he was staying with the Patriots. Right. But he, here's the thing for Belichick, and, you know, statistically the greatest pro coach ever. Okay, I know we had legends to begin, but yeah, to sure. do what he's done in yeah. this time is incredible. You let Brady get away, okay, either him, front office, whatever, and they, like you said, they'll let people go who's been successful. <clears throat> if the next quarterback is not successful, could it be the end of him there, even with his great history? Well, you know, the, the NFL stands for not for long. All right. And, you know, so the, you, you can be you can go from a hero to zero in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very quick. So – so I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. I I look. I saw that commercial as he's not leaving the NFL. But you're right. You could see that he's saying I'm not going anywhere. Many I'm gonna stay at the team. Up. But but when the way the commercial was done, I thought he meant I'm not retired. Okay. All right. Because I know that, that, that there was reports he was in Nashville looking at schools right. and all this guy. And the, and and to, but then you heard that and it's like okay when he, he's saying he's not going anywhere, does it mean he's staying in? in with the yeah. Patriots, or is he just not? I retiring? felt the same way Rick did. Is he would he was not retiring? Mm-hmm. But I can see where people would yeah. say yeah. the yeah. other. Well, he used a, a photo of that say, yeah. thing when he was thanking everybody exactly. when he was walking yeah. in the stadium. So he's he's helping to play to this yeah. image. Of, yeah, we don't know what's going on. Phone calls are next. Our first phone troll of the day and of the week. So uh, you want to talk about uh, Super Bowl and things over the weekend? You certainly can. Uh, whatever is on your mind, you can come in here or you can bring up any topic you'd like to. Uh, lines are available, so you'll get in right now. We'll move them quickly, too, because we'll go troll format. Rick and Bubba phone troll coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And uh, so we have some big things. We had the vote on whether or not to continue this process and, and bring witnesses in. Uh, bringing witnesses in was denied. It lost. Some interesting votes for it, including Mitt Romney, who who uh, who went with the Democrats. He and somebody else who's um, not up for re-election. What was it? Um, um, no, that went with the Democrats. Yeah, went with the Democrats. Uh, was uh, oh, it was Maine. the Senator Collins, wasn't it from Maine? Yeah, they, and yeah. all and all they were voting yeah. for, they wanted to continue with witnesses. Right. Now, now right. we'll see where they land on Wednesday when it comes down to to the big vote, and that is. Whether whether they to acquit to to acquit. Well, if you're not going to have witnesses, I mean, they're, they're, everybody had their say. You know, they have the transcripts from the 17 witnesses that were called in the house, and you know they got to go on that. So I, I I think it's a pretty well thought out conclusion here that they will vote to acquit at this point, which is what everybody thought it would be to begin with. Well, it's an illegitimate yeah. acquittal, though. right? And right. Because well, it was an illegitimate impeachment right. too, and yeah. partisan well, remember and all that. that. But if you, yeah, it's it's partisan all the way. But what you think Romney is bold enough to vote to for for him against the acquittal? Um, I I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I don't know what he's thinking. He's. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to be elected again. I, I don't. I don't know. It's. Uh, well, I think he he has a certain disdain for Trump because he wanted to be Secretary oh, of State, that's didn't fine. he? Yeah. But then Trump turned around and campaigned for him when he was running for Senate from Utah. I, I doubt you'll see that again. Well, um, well, I would just have to ask, you know, Romney. So you think the country would be better under Democratic? Leadership? I, I don't know. What he said. I, I think he's just trying to position himself to be in a position of power in the Republican side. Right. Everybody else is going to line up, but I'm a swing, mm-hmm. you know, vote. Twenty-two minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show. We're working our way back. Our phone calls are coming in now. The real Greg Bird just taking those at eight six six. We be big. Denise will get us started, but there's room for you. Denise, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. How are you today? I'm doing great, Green Acres. Thank you for the call, Denise. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, a longtime listener, over 20 years. Thank you. I've called in multiple times. It's Denise from Lexington. Uh, when y'all announced y'all were leaving, I had so many friends and coworkers, former coworkers, texting me, "Are you going to be okay?" <laughs> so, um, yeah, just going to miss, going to miss you guys. And I just want to say you. before I make my comment, what a blessing you've been, and just the the spiritual uh, growth thank has you. just uh, that's what's been a blessing to me. And I just want to thank y'all for that. Yeah, that's all that's going to matter when it's all said and done, anyway. Thank you're, you. You're so kind to say all of that. <laughs> Um, the comment about the red wine, I, I'm a Baptist, so, you know, I'm not a drinker. But um, I, when I had COVID, my cholesterol just went sky high. And but anyway, I have been drinking like half a glass of red wine and uh, taking red yeast rice, and it ha- has lowered my bad cholesterol. My doctor said, whatever you're doing. Mm, I didn't touch it. Keep doing it. I think that's what he... What What did she say she was doing? I lost that. Two things I, that was weird in that, and I, let me see if I can... Maybe, is there any something I can... Let me try it. No? I, I don't know what happened, guys. Mm. I really you don't. You just dropped out. Or I something. didn't touch anything. Just do it. Yeah. Just do just it. Just do it. I think... I, I really wanted to hear two things. How does COVID raise your cholesterol? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the second is, she said I have a, a half a glass of red wine, and I take... Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that supplement. Because you, you can't ignore that. Right, uh, right. I take, so, but yeah. I, did, I didn't get what it was. Eight six six, we be big. Uh, if uh, if you want to be part of the show, and we got plenty of lines lines available. Greg's taking calls. Uh, News Talk one zero three nine Dutch in Dothan, Alabama. Dutch. Dutch, go ahead. Well, I just wanted to say that uh, that it's not age. It's it's uh, of course you got to have the good Lord's willing to. He's blessed me. I take cholesterol, high blood pressure, and I don't even want to take that. My mother died at 97, and in her mind, she could have she could have run the United States, but unless her health was bad, but she never did take no medicine. And it's not it's not your age and all. It's how you, it's how you live and how you do, and it's just think. Well, the reason I'm one way, the reason I'm still active, my wife's five years younger than I am, and she's in real bad health, but her mind's good. She can run the she can run the country, but she ain't health wise. She can't. But anyway, it's just. Uh, Point that people keep talking about age, age, age. It's not age. Like I said, I'll be 92 in July. Born July the 30th of 1932. Way to go, Dutch. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and, and well, genetics. And you play have a, a cool role. name yeah. to live in Dothan. Yeah. Genetics play a bigger role too, Dutch. But you're right. Lifestyle has a lot to do with uh, your quality of life, no uh, doubt. It, mm-hmm. it really, and I joke about this a lot, but I think it's true. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not the years, it's the mileage. Oh, boy. And, uh, you know, in cars, that's very important. Probably. And I think probably in our bodies too. <laughs> well, yeah. That's the problem. I've been ridden like a taxi. Right. And uh, <laughs> so it's, uh, you know. Mm. Uh, Alan in Florida. Alan, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. How are you? Hey, doing great, guys. How are you? Fantastic. Hey, uh, I just wanted to tell y'all, man, I, uh, so I joined the military about 24 years ago. Well, longer than that, 30 years ago. Um, and uh, my sister-in-law is from the Birmingham area. So I enlisted in 94, and then I came back after training and everything, and she said, hey, you got to listen to these guys, Rick and Bubba. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I started listening when I was in that local area, but then I'd go overseas or um, just station around the the United States, and I'd come back into town and listen to you. 
Well, I retired back in 90 or 2018 and I uh, got a job down in Florida and got y'all on a local radio station. And I was like, man, here I am. Now I get to listen to Rick and Bubba and enjoy it. And, you know, you can't have nothing. I mean, you so, can't even have Rick and Bubba on. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, guys, I really, you know, I, I'm looking forward to what y'all are going to do next. Um, tell you, I can tell you right now. So, living in Navarre, Florida, you're probably familiar with the Gulf Coast oh, area. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course. I mean, I live 30 minutes from work, and I drive an hour in the mornings and an hour in the afternoons. And so I listen to y'all, and, you know, I'm not going to have that now. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you can't – you know what that means? Every single moment of Rick and Bubba that's still on the vine. Soak it up. You got, I mean, you got to take it, and you got to savor it. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for your Absolutely. service. Thank you for your service to our country, yeah. and thank you for your yeah. kind words. Very nice. Uh, Nick Rainsville. Nick, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Hey, guys, uh, I, uh, Shane said this is going to break y'all's heart, but I can tell you how to get your cholesterol down. Okay. Who's, Give up peanut who, butter. Uh, who's Shane? I thought the call screener said his name was Shane. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh-uh, that's good. You're, you're that's right. good. Ah, that's what that's I was so hoping good. you were saying. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, give, Shane. Give up peanut butter. Well, I think I'd rather have high what? cholesterol. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, listen, I always had high cholesterol. I can never get my bad cholesterol down. My overall was good, but I came across an article that said there's a chemical, and I think it has something to do with the hydrogenated oil. Uh, natural peanut butter may be okay, but, of course, y'all know it's not as tasty. Sure, <laughs> sure. But I gave it up. I gave it up for like a month, went back to the doctor, and my cholesterol had plummeted. Well, so how it's, about it's that? It's real well, Nick, it's real. I'm I'm glad that worked out for you, man. That that's that's awesome. Ask doctor about peanut butter. Well, ask doctor right. about peanut butter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mine has. I, I like I said I don't know. Maybe it was peanut butter, and I should have known all along. But... I don't eat just a ton of peanut butter that I can think mm-hmm. of. I mean, I have a pack of crackers every now and then. But on one side of our family, genetically, we all have high cholesterol, and even when. Uh, I did all the changing of my habits on eating and exercise. It didn't move. It didn't move at all. Uh, so finally, my cousin, who is a cardiologist, he goes, look, I know you don't want the side effects of statin drugs. You're old now. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the time the side effects get you, it won't matter. <laughs> yeah, what's going to get you first is high cholesterol. So <laughs> I said, okay. So I, really, the statins have worked for me. They've lowered mine to, uh, yeah. substantially, yeah. the lowest I've ever had. So I think you just got to figure it out. Uh, Shirley in Nashville. Shirley, go ahead. Hey, guys. I just wanted to say um, appreciate you, first of all. Thank you, Shirley. Been, uh, oh, well, thank you. I've been uh, listening to you guys when you were on the radio in Birmingham. That's when I first started listening to you guys, long before you went national or anything like that. So I can't even imagine what next year is going to be like. I know. <laughs> but, but we'll get through it. Everything changes. So appreciate you after all this time. Thank you, Shirley. You're, You're very kind. kind. Very kind. And, uh, boy, that's all the way back when we were on in Birmingham. That is. That's yeah. way on back. Uh, we'll be back. Bottom of the hour. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Check the website, Rick and Bubba. Spell out the word and.com. Check upcoming events, show notes, and also all the different ways you can get the show. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. So I need to be catered to, I need to have, you know, <clears throat> things that I want done, promised to me, that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, well, we'll see. He's uh, he, he, he's, he can be a little, uh, little uh, you know, he's one of those on that list that I kind of, you know, there, and there's a long list, even people who I support. <clears throat> right. But, but there comes a time, even if I would, would support you, that I still think it's time for you to go. Right. I mean, you've, yeah. you've, you've held on, you've been up there, you've, you've been there long enough. And there's enough. several, we've pointed yeah. that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. So anyway, so now we get down to what should be a lot of fun, and that is the State of the Union tomorrow night. You know, yeah. the, I don't know why. The, I, I really think it's a mistake that the Republicans didn't go ahead and just call for an acquittal vote and get that done. Right. Because you leave this open, and, you know, the way these things go, we're, we're going to have some more bombshell witnesses come oh, forward. Yes. Mm-hmm. The New York Times is working mm-hmm. overtime right now trying <laughs> to turn out another leaked yes. uh, something that's going to make a big difference. So. You know, I think you just play into their hands with this. I know they're trying to look like they're not railroading it through, I guess, but nobody you're you're not gonna you're not gonna appease anybody with that. There's nobody out there going, Well, the fact that they didn't railroad it through, I think they're right. I mean you, this is pretty much a cut and dried thing, just like a lot of politics in our country now. What do you think the State of the Union is gonna be like tomorrow night? 
Wow. You got Trump, hot mic. Yeah. Um, everybody there who's had a part in this, mm-hmm. but still has to vote. So yes. yeah, can't go too far. But you know who you're talking about, right? Yeah, I know. Did I you know see the bulldozer? That? Did you hear the Hannity re- uh, interview yeah. we just played mm-hmm. about 40 minutes ago? I think he, mm-hmm. I think he will stand up there and say exactly what he feels about everything. Correct. And it will be highly offensive to a lot of people. Well, I saw. But there's a lot of us will be cheering, going, "Give him another barrel." Yes. Me. In that interview with Trump, he he made it pretty clear to Hannity. Hannity even said, "Are you going to delay the State of the Union?" He said, "Oh no, no. <laughs> why would no, I do that? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I am, I, I'm going to lean right into this baby, and it's yeah, going to be a party. I don't that's think not Trump style to back yeah, off. Uh, I I saw some of the talking heads on some of the Sunday programs, and of course, it's all over the road, and you really don't know what he's going to do. Um, I don't know if he does, but they said because the official vote hasn't come through. That instead of just really trying to make everybody mad, that's, you know, I, I think Bubba said what, what is true, and that is because of the acquittal vote or the witness vote, they kind of know what everybody's going to be voting anyway. But they'll, he'll just get up there and talk about his accomplishments and not really bring up the impeachment. And well, yeah, just, and for, just talk about nothing yeah. but about what they've done over the last three years. If you're just going political strategy, and, and I'm not talking about anything that's not true, I mean, it is true. He really needs, and his commercials seem to be doing that. Uh, but again, this is remember Trump. The best analogy. I wish I knew who to credit this with because I brought it up the other day in a group, and they said that is spot on. Who said that? And I said I can't remember. <laughs> Greg, you might remember because I think you may have told me uh, the person who said Trump is the kind of guy that on the way to the ring for the real fight fights with everybody in the crowd yeah, on the way. Oh yeah, yeah, who yeah. was who said it. <laughs> right? Yeah. He's a battler, man. But but I, but what I may have been Huckabee. Was a Huckabee might have been, but anyway, and that's so spot on. Uh, but what, with, and since that is the case, I think if he would go and, and look, some of these comparisons to Ronald Reagan are mm-hmm. are, are a little bit of a stretch. But he's nowhere near the communicator that Ronald Reagan was. Not not many people are, but in his own style, in his own version of it, if he would just do what Bubba just said, and and and, and he would get up and just say. Here is the state of our country when I took over. Here is the state of our country now, because he's really running for re-election tomorrow night. Yeah, as yeah. much as as much mm-hmm. as he's trying to, you know, get through this acquittal, not acquittal deal, this impeachment uh, circus. But if he'll, if somebody could get him focused on, you're, you're going to get acquitted. So now let's get into getting re-elected. You really need to do the Ronald Reagan. Are you better off now than when I took over? And if the answer is yes. Then, then I need to be reelected, and it's just going to get better. And yeah. it would probably appeal to some people in the middle if he said, look, and he took more of a we have accomplished this instead of I've accomplished this. Mm-hmm. And if he would say that I'm willing, that, you know, all of this is behind us now, okay? We've got to get back to the business of the people, and I'm willing to work with the Democrats in common areas. Let's work together and quit all these shenanigans. And I think he would get rave reviews for that, but I don't think he'll do that. Well, he made the point to Hannity, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, that was yesterday. Yesterday, when he asked him, "Do you think you can work with them?" He tried to pivot that and say, "Well, I just don't think they want to work with me." Right? Yeah. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, meaning I would work with them, but I, I don't think they have any desire for that to happen. But in that speech mm-hmm. at that place he at that say, time, he should just act no, like it. No, you're right. No, I agree. <laughs> he do do like everybody else. Just say what they want to hear and go on. Can he? Can he? Because they, I've noticed whoever's writing his speeches now, they're now saying it the way he would say it. Yeah, they yeah. figured out how he wants to say things, and they're trying to get it a little bit organized. If he ever looks away from that screen, yeah, <laughs> that telephone, and, and he starts riffing. <laughs> We're back. Thank you for being with us today. Rick and Bubba show as we inch our way along. MyPillow.com slash Bubba. MyPillow.com slash Bubba. Great American company. And I know if you're like me, you're like, hey, they they keep the products coming uh, at great prices. Uh, They stand for the things that so many of us stand for, and we're tired of sending our money to companies that don't. Uh, And right now, MyPillow flannel sheets, $39.98. Men's and women's moccasin style or slip-on style my slippers. We love them, $59.98. Six-piece My Towel sets are $29.98. Women's two-piece uh, kimono set are just uh, $49.99. Pet blankets, $13.99. Uh, compression socks, $16.50. Men's textured T-shirts, $16.99. Women's pajama gift sets, $29.99. 
I mean, the list just goes on and on. They're celebrating uh, uh, right now with us our 30th anniversary of the Rick and Bubba Show, and they've been here with us uh, for most of it. MyPillow.com slash Bubba. Have you been there yet? Uh, go and get great savings and great quality. Also, there's a link at RickandBubba.com under the Sponsors button. So, Bubba, we had the caller that was talking about after the uh, we had the update that red wine and all the health benefits are being disputed now 30 years later. Uh, and then we had a woman call up saying she lowered her cholesterol by drinking a half a glass and something else. Yeah, and I, we, we couldn't hear what it. she said. Well, I got an email here, Rick, from Caroline. She says she's a pharmacist and said Denise said she was drinking red wine and taking red yeast rice. Taking red yeast rice? Red yeast rice has the same active molecule as the statin drug Lovastatin. Okay. Which uh, I think I'm saying that right. Yeah. Well, uh, it's hmm. not as potent as the marketing statin, but for those who have slightly elevated levels, we see very good results. Hmm. So good benefits. So if that drug lowers cholesterol and this rice does the same thing the drug does, could it be that that's what's lowering her cholesterol, not the half a glass of red wine? Well, I, I don't know, but uh, that that is correct. Yeah, I think the only way you know that the, is the drink- emails are pouring in on red yeast rice. But if you, if you, if you yeah. drank a half a glass of wine, and did not take the red yeast rice. I'd like to see how the cholesterol does there. Right. You know? Maybe it makes the yed, red yeast rice go down better. <laughs> I think yeah. the glass of wine something her husband talked her into. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I really think uh, red, red wine probably helps marriages as much as it does cholesterol. Might not do much yeah. for cholesterol. Right. Uh, red all right. yeast rice. So we continue uh, this, uh, this bizarre... <laughs> We have become so goofy that we can't even reason out the biological differences between a male and a woman, regardless of how someone might identify. We, we just can't do it. We, we just can't seem to wrap our minds around it. Uh, when someone says they want to be a woman when they're biologically a man, we say, well, then we should, uh, that they should be able to do anything they want to just as a woman, including athletic competition against biological women. Right. Uh, and all of us who have walking around sense and can chew gum see that, well, that, that might be problematic. As Greg has pointed out, even the most famous transgendered woman, uh, Caitlyn Jenner, says this is insane insane to do this. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. crazy. To, to, to have a... Uh, <laughs> is, is that how... Yeah, it's like... Uh, uh, it, yeah, uh, is, is to have... Uh, hey, keep it to yourself, Sean. Uh, but anyway, so... How'd that guy think your name was Sean? You know, I, I, again, I never answer the phone go, this is Greg, I don't say my name. I know, name. You, apparently you say this what? is Sean. But I don't say anything. He didn't say Sean, what did he say? I thought he said Shane. Shane, Shane. You Sean. loved it, I saw you. You oh. said, who are you calling Shane? Oh, I loved it. I, 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 loved, I loved it. Shane. Hey, Shane, settle. Yeah, settle, Shane. <laughs> shouldn't, you your, shouldn't you bid your barbecue place? Shane. All right, so here here is a story, Bubba. We, we've let a biological male compete against biological females. Guess what? It keeps going poorly. Mm. Uh, this is uh, a male player for Kip Academy, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and he is going to injure three girls before halftime, and the opposing team finally just forfeits. Yeah, and this is one of them. You know, in the paint, it gets rough in there. Yeah. But if you're if you're a dude, you, you could probably throw around some folks if you're in a, a women's basketball oh, game. Oh, yeah, and you this could. Is, this is what happens. <laughs> and he just makes the, makes the shot, and, and, and this one here hurt her back. Right. Right. And I think this was the third and last one, and finally the coach said, that's it. All right, so we, we have this biological male, and he's, so t- he's the, tiring over everybody. Look at, look how big he is. Look, They, yeah. they, look. Tie, they tie up on a rebound, and he basically just pulls the ball away from her but slings her around his body onto the ground. Yep. And uh, so I, I still can't wrap my mind oh, around uh, how this male thinks he's accomplishing anything. Yeah. By going out and dominating biological females, and so what? What do we do when the opposing teams? Look at him. I mean, does he want a ribbon that bad? I, I mean, yeah, really? really? <laughs> what, what do you do night. when opposing teams say, "Look, I'm not. We're not doing this. We're, we're not putting our women out there against this man. <laughs> we're, we're not doing it." And the three three girls were injured before halftime. Yeah, uh, and they finally just threw in the towel by the the male center uh, who identifies as a woman that played for Kip Academy. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand this. This just seems so logical. And and again, some of you are you know like the Caitlyn Jenner view of this. You know, I mean, 
you know, the view from this transgendered woman is, is, is at least common sense. Mm-hmm. Look, I want to identify as a woman and everybody's allowed me to identify as a woman, but just because we want to identify as the opposite gender that we are biologically, mm-hmm. doesn't mean we can just do anything. No. Yeah. And, and, and athletics would be something that we must continue to compete in our own yeah. biological right. Right. gender. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I think we're just seeing more and more of the whole chaos of society break That's down. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, you know the, the female athletes uh, that came out, and it's been probably maybe a half a year, and they had complained about, you know, a transgender uh, being in their locker room and changing. Yeah. Well, when they went and complained about it, instead of going, you know what, common sense says you're right. Let, let's we probably don't need it. They they were put in sensitivity training, yeah, <laughs> because they complained about it. Yeah. Well, who's going to handle? I the, mean, who, yeah, yeah. Who's going to handle the counseling for the biological women that are trying to be in their dressing room and their bathroom when a biological man keeps being in there with them? We're, we're going to counsel them too. <laughs> so only our current society would not counsel the women that right. are being traumatized. Right. Yeah. We yeah. would counsel the person who thinks it's not appropriate. The one yeah. who's really yeah. gone off the range we can't talk to. Everybody else that has to deal with it needs counsel. Right. Yeah. It's just, I, I, we have lost our ever-loving minds. <laughs> I mean, we, I mean, it's just, and and the thing that's concerning is this isn't even a this is, isn't even a difficult one. Yeah, there no, you go. this no. this I mean, one this doesn't even is, require a whole lot of thought. Nah. No, all of us can see why this would be <laughs> a potentially bad situation. Yeah. And and again, you can say to people that want to live their private lives as long as they're not hurting anybody else, you may disagree with it morally, and I, and and not, that that's a different deal. But you, you can't say everybody must embrace me as a woman, even though I'm a man, because that's how I feel. That's how I identify. Well, yeah, it, in certain situations, you may be right, but there's going to be limits to that, like dressing rooms, bathrooms, and athletics. Mm-hmm. And that's not even a complex topic. Yeah, it, it doesn't. I, mean, I don't even know how you discuss it anymore. It's just no, so no, just. I mean, it's it, like us talking about gravity. You know. Don't you think on that point, Bubba, that if someone can't follow the logic of that, you just go, "I we just can't even." Yeah, I, I don't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's I go save my breath. breath. Well, yeah. like I said, and, and it's coming with age. I I have already, and even emails and everything, I have made the declaration that I just will no longer attempt to reason with unreasonable people. Yeah, well, I think mm-hmm. the I think the book. No good book addresses that. Right. Trick. Well, there was a time when you thought, man, I just want to be sure they understand all the information, and they, maybe they don't have this right. And if they, if I just got them one more piece of information, hmm. then that would change their view. And you know, and we've all been in this situation where someone says something, and you correct it and say, oh, well, you know that that point's not correct. So now that you know that wasn't correct, have you changed your mind? Nope, still feel the same way. <laughs> oh, wow. So, so this is a waste of my time. I, I shouldn't yeah, even I be. I made a great point. Okay, yeah. oh, wow. So you've got a, a, you've got a foregone conclusion, and there's nothing I can do to change mm-hmm. it. Thank you for letting me know that, because I, I, I want to enjoy the rest of my life here on Earth. <laughs> I'd rather you not suck some of it out of me. Uh, we'll be back. Fifteen minutes to the top. Bubba, you mentioned the Trump story yesterday about his sneakers. Yeah. Wow. The Never Surrender Hot Top. The Never Surrender Hot Top. We Going have an, for about 4000 We got an update on that today. We'll, we'll cover that when we come back. Uh, don't forget, uh, the Rick and Bubba Show, available for you every day, live and archive. Find all the different options at Rick and Bubba. Spell out the word and.com. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. On the Democrats, or, or, or try and on to the, add a little bit to and on, and on yeah. this process. It's right. uh, and if he repeats something, watch out. Been, been <laughs> fantastic. It really just so fantastic, so so wonderful. And if he, <laughs> yeah. does, and if yeah. he does that, yeah. and he looks away, <laughs> and, he, and 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 all of a sudden he, he starts talking about this. <laughs> Do you think you're going to nicknames? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I I know we saw it a bunch of times. It really was funny when they did that Alexa commercial when the little boy says. He says, hey, uh, Alex, what's the news? It doesn't matter. It's all fake anyway. <laughs> right. That was, yeah, that was I know funny. they're trying to make fun of that statement, but it yeah. really was pretty funny. It yeah. is funny. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you can get that answer from Alexa sometimes. That's what it's like. <laughs> yeah. It's all fake news anyway. <laughs> so uh, can, can Trump do the State of the Union and just talk about the accomplishments and that the country is in better shape now than it was when he took over and list all the places where it is better and leave the whole y'all have tried to destroy me and I'm still here, and I and 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 America loves me, and they they don't like y'all. Can he stay out of that? Yeah, right. I, I don't think he has to cave on anything. No. I think if he could take one half step, at least in word, to I want to work together for the people. I think it would play well with a bunch of people in the middle, because you know they're very word sensitive. They really are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
As opposed to, I've got you, and here's some more salt. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I, that may be what you get, though. <laughs> yeah. I think you just told the, an NFL team not to spike the ball. Right, right. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 866, we be big. At the end of 30 seconds, the buzzer sounds. Your time on the program comes to an end. We then move to the next caller. Uh, and if you are in line, uh, the calls will move quickly because uh, we will troll, which means after 30 seconds, unless Bubba or Helms calls uh, the, their timeout and they only have one apiece, uh, then we'll roll through that line quickly. So we got a bigger sample, easier to get in. And then once you get in and you get on hold, we'll also get to you quicker uh, because the phone troll format will be underway. So if you'll dial right now, you will get in. As you are dialing uh, to get in on the phone troll, uh, you know, Joe Biden continues uh, to just – just. What, what was that this weekend? That was kind of yeah, bizarre. He, he just gets more, 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 more bizarre picture. by the day. And uh, before we go to phones, you can get in now. I want you to see this picture of Joe Biden kissing his 19-year-old granddaughter. Um, right on the lips. And she's she, and, and she's wearing. Uh, it looks just, like she performed at the Super Bowl she, halftime. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> looks like she and Jayla are going to talk minute. about the plight of children in cages <laughs> while wearing. Uh, yeah, it, it's just weird. Uh, that's that's y'all. Uh, well, why why does some, Joe Biden continue to do I know some do families her? do that a little more than others, uh, but. That just looks strange. If it, if, it, if it was up to me. We don't we'll do that in our family. Yeah, if it was up to me, and I think you're with me, if it was up to me, I would just make kind of a rule that if you are, you know, first, if you're kin to somebody, if this is your daughter, granddaughter, uh, let's not kiss each other on the lips. I don't want to kiss my sons Especially on the lips. Especially they freeze the picture, so in your yeah, mind, it yeah. lasts for five I mean, minutes. He's kissing her on right. the lips. It, it looks... I, I got to I mean, I gotta hear from families, 866-WE-BE-BIG. If you kiss your family members on the lips, I want to hear from you right yeah. now. And, and there's a few that's that, out that there. Are, it do is. do that more. It is. Mm. But, uh, just you know, turn I, your head. Kinda, yeah. Well, just, what's wrong with her cheek? It just doesn't look – yeah, it would be a sweet picture if he was yeah. kissing her on the forehead. cheek. Forehead. Forehead would be yes. great. Yeah, forehead. Yep. yep. So right about on the, that creepy grin, too, I know. as he's doing it. Uh, well, there's yeah. another picture. He, yeah. He's kissing her neck. And what uh, she's wearing. Okay. That doesn't help. It, this is not good. Uh, no, you're right. It's kind of a grin kiss. It, yeah, I mean, it's like not, he's grinning just a little. It's not Y'all, good. Y'all, again, the other day when that guy said like two words and he screamed out to vote for somebody else and grabbed his shirt. <laughs> he's I coming think Joe's coming apart. He's coming apart. Yeah. I mean, the guy wasn't even being combative at all. <laughs> we continue. You need to vote somebody. You else. know what it is? He's he's been asked stuff like that so much. He's getting right. very defensive, and he's it. he's lost his mind. <laughs> well, maybe a touch of that too. Hmm. Lance is in Corner, Alabama. Lance trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep them phones a trolling. Here we come, phone trolling, phone, phone trolling. Troll. All right, Lance, go ahead. Hey guys, I was just calling to uh, thank y'all for all y'all do for the community um, and the Valentine special. My parents met 24 years ago this year on the Valentine's special, wow. and they've been married for 23 years now. How about that? So a lot of people say if it wasn't for y'all, I really wouldn't be here. How about Lance, that? Well, that's an As argument to bring it back right Boy, there. Boy, it is. Huh? The personal ad show produced Lance. <laughs> well, we, we've got <laughs> it's a crazy story. Lance, don't be something we all regret. <laughs> yeah, Lance, right. shoot yeah. us an email with that story so yeah. we can yeah. look at it. Well, we can add that to our list because our yeah. list has been a little bit negative, you know, mm-hmm. with the things that have well, happened. Well, we've had several good ones. We're back. Uh, all right, so Rick and Bubba's show Trump Update. Trump Update. Trump Update. Let's go with it. Everybody say, it. listen. Trump. 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 I mean, she got her hook, doesn't she? She does. <laughs> so, uh, Adler, are you are you ready to start with B here first? Is that what for B? So, Bubba, yesterday you brought up the new Donald Trump. Victory shoes? Is that it right? is never surrender. Never high surrender. Tops. I'm sorry. It was victory per, uh, cologne. Yeah, right. uh, yeah victory, victory forty seven. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So never <laughs> surrender gold shoes. Yep. Roman that. Sharp is an American veteran, uh, and he had he had the audacity to buy some of them, and is being slandered and defamed simply because he bought the <laughs> shoes, and has been labeled as something that he isn't. So here he is talking about that. So, 
bought a pair of sneakers, these sneakers, and apparently they made me a Russian oligarch overnight. Here's how. <laughs> Guys, I'm a sneakerhead. I'm also a U.S. Army veteran, and yes, I am a Republican. The title of the article read, a Russian oligarch spends $9,000 on sneakers to support Trump. Sounds sketchy, but I actually came from Ukraine. At the time, it was part of the Soviet Union. I came here at the age of 13 as a refugee, but my dad had $4 in his pocket. I busted my ass working every dirty job under the sun to get where I am today in order to be able to afford to buy these $9,000 pair of collectible sneakers. <laughs> but I guess the headline of Russian refugee, Ukrainian refugee, or perhaps maybe just a man, that would not get as many clicks as a Russian oligarch. I even saw a tweet from a Ukrainian patriot that said, a Russian shady watch dealer uh, bought $9,000 pair of sneakers as a way to move money to Russia somehow. Of course, I kindly asked the author to uh, check the fact that um, my own charity raised over a quarter million dollars of aid to Ukraine since that war has started before putting out accusations of stupid tweets, if you will. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, brother, I've seen it myself. People won't bother to get the facts. They'll just fire off any kind of... But I, I've come to the conclusion that most people on social media and chat rooms are mentally ill. <laughs> yeah. I, re I really have come to that conclusion. Because that, there's no reasoning. There's just bizarre accusations <laughs> and goes. things said. I've come to the conclusion that most of them are mentally ill. Because if you don't... if you, Most people who are clear thinking don't have time for that. Mm -hmm. uh, have you got time to sit in the chat room today? Uh, probably not. Probably no, not. no offense to, to the tubers. I mean, no, the, I, Rick's I've not talking about y'all. No, mm -hmm. I've seen some in the tubers. They're, 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 <laughs> I, it would apply to some of y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> in the misinformation that some of y'all are churning out. But anyway, uh, so th th this guy said says that this is just totally fabricated and mainly by social media. You know, he sounds like the American dream came mm -hmm. here as a refugee. Yeah, exactly. Became part of the, the mixing bowl of America. Right. Didn't try to hang on to and, and continue being a Ukrainian Soviet s citizen, but mixed into the U.S. Didn't forget where he's from. That's right. But mixed into the American way. Worked hard, was successful, has worked his way up, learned the language, speaks it very well, better than us, I might add. Correct. And, veteran, uh, a veteran. And, 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 yeah, and, and joined the Army to give back and, uh, you know, has been very successful. I mean, to me, that is that is an American success story, friends. But, and mm -hmm. how, but it's just totally made up. And, or and, a Russian oligarch. Or, or oligarch. <laughs> uh, all right, so ah! the, the next one, can we go up to 4A? 4A, here is, we talked about this yesterday, but we didn't yeah. play this clip. Yeah, let's hear him say it. Yeah, Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. You mean Mr. Wonderful? Mr. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, he is on uh, with, uh, is this Neil Cabuto? Yes. Okay, and he is Fox talking business. about this ruling that we just talked about that has been the ruling against Donald Trump uh, in his real estate dealings. Here's Kevin O'Leary condemning uh, the attorney general. Here we go. Um, I mean, just leaving the whole Trump thing out of it and, and seeing what occurred here, and, and I'm, I'm no different than any other investor. I'm shocked at this. I, I can't even understand or fathom uh, the, the decision at all. It, there's no rationale for it. And so let me give you a real-time uh, experience I'm having regarding this, and I'm not the only one. It doesn't matter what the governor says. New York was already a loser state. Like California is a loser state. There are many loser states because of policy, high taxes, uncompetitive regulation. It was already on the top of the list of being a loser state. I would never invest in New York now. And I'm not the only person saying that. And here's a real time situation. In development in real estate right now, the hottest asset class is very high end data centers. They cost anywhere from two and a half to three and a half billion each. They're very expensive. They require low power. You need permits. But most of the major institutions in the world need more data centers, and that's why developers like me are doing this. Now, you need power. So New York has Niagara Falls. Normally, you'd consider that to put in one of these facilities, create 400 jobs, five more jobs for each of one of those for auxiliary services. I can't go to New York. So I'm going to Oklahoma, North Dakota, West Virginia. 
Governor Stitt, Kevin Stitt, my staff have met with him. Governor Bergen, the same thing. Governor Justice, those are winner states. They don't do things like this. I have to syndicate that debt and all that equity. We're talking billions of dollars here. Do you think any foreign institution or any private equity firm or any pension fund would touch New York? <laughs> they, they're just... It's so corrupt, everybody's fleeing from there, yeah. taking their money and running. Oh, yeah. yep. sure. Well, again, we've had the prosecution of an individual, forget the politics of it, that there was no victim. Mm -hmm. The banks did their own evaluations, loaned the money, was paid back, made interest on it, but somehow the attorney general has inserted herself into this system where nobody's complaining. Right. To tell everybody he did you wrong when they don't think you, they did him wrong. Right. Uh, it just It's just so bizarre. You talk about the government being overreaching. Oh, That's, my goodness. Now, look, if, if you had a bunch of investors come up and say we were defrauded. That's right. Banks say, say yep. you look, we got ripped off in their paperwork. I mean, you got a whole different topic there. No one complained. There was no victim in this crime. That's right. And as, as O'Leary points out, uh, those of you that are trying to live in New York, you don't want to be labeled by investors a loser state. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of winners, Bubba, you know, because uh, Trump said we'd be tired of it, uh, 4C. CNN is talking about, I didn't even know true social was still a thing. Did you? Speaking of social media. Mm -hmm. No, I, I guess I knew it was still out there. I just, I don't, I, I'm, I'm probably the oddball here in the group. I don't, I don't sit on social media every day and, yeah. you know, look at stuff and right. yeah. put out stuff. I just, I just don't have time for it. Right. I mean, it's entertaining. I, I understand. Sure. And, and a good promotional platform as, as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't know about it. So here is, here's uh, them talking about if Trump were to take it public, which I thought, I didn't even know it was still going. So here, here we go. Category. Is there any good financial news for Trump? Yeah, so very interesting. And Audie, in fact, was the one who pointed this out to me. Trump's true social share worth. So back in 2022, it was about 700 million. Last year, it was less than 100 million. But there's this idea, essentially, that Truth Social will, in fact, be able to go public. And how much would Trump's shares be worth if it does, in fact, go public? It could be upwards of $4 billion. That's billion with a B, not million with an M. Now, of course, keep in mind that Trump can't sell these stocks for another six months. But the fact is, we've had all this bad news for Trump. This could be good financial news for Donald Trump. I, I had no idea. Hmm. I, I, did you think <laughs> they had that kind of value? Mm -hmm. Well, I think any of these social medias right. that have, you know, millions of people have, uh, you know, a value. I mean, just based on what we saw with that, yeah. you have, I mean, you have to base it on that and, yeah. and Facebook and some of these others. I mean, you know, if you had 20 of them, it'd be different. But I mean, there's only three or four that really, well, I just you know, thought, ring the bell. I thought when, when Musk got X that True Social now would lose its value because Trump can be on Anything he wants to now, right? I, yeah, I understand. But it's that. still an operational plan. Yeah, see, I didn't know. Yeah. I had no idea. I like I said, I've never tried it and, and never been on it. What was that other one too? Parlor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Parlor. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened there. Well, yeah, I don't know either. So. Anyway, so there you go. Top of the hour. It might still be around. Right? Uh, Parlay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Parlay. Like I say, I'm I'm very much a novice with it, but um, it looks like Parlor is closed. Okay. Uh, the parlor. The parlor is closed. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah, funny. <laughs> Top of the hour. If you leave us, have a great day. If you got more Rick and Bubba, uh, then top of the hour, and we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And the, mm -hmm. the bad ones always stick out, you know. When, but you like you to mix them in. Up and yeah. stuff, Don't you know. think that would dilute the subpoenas yeah, I think and so. all that? But, but that... Rick, that shows you. I mean, you know, we played a role in the yeah. space-time continuum here. I mean, it, that's that's important. <laughs> Gulf Shores, Sunny 105. Will is standing by. Will, 30 seconds. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Buddy. Um, <clears throat> hey, man, it, kissing that granddaughter on the lips. Now, I'm going to tell you, they, they must be some moonshining and steels around there somewhere. Maybe mm -hmm. banjos playing, too, you know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, just... you know, I, I, I just... When I got it started school, I didn't let my uh, I wouldn't even let my mama kiss me on the lips, you know, no more. Uh uh, you sir, you kiss I, me uh, on the cheek. He's me, hey, if you. Yeah, I heard the word no more. <laughs> 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 My mother hey, never. When I was eighteen, that's it. <laughs> that's it. My mother never kissed me on the lips. No, never. I don't remember that? Not, never, never. <laughs> no, I, I heard the ever... term no more. I know. If you did, it was accidental. <laughs> Mama, I'm driving now. Stop kissing me on the lips. Yeah. I, I just. <laughs>
This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. the two sexiest fat men alive and get the whole team on the field. Most of you know him better as the silver tongue one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the king's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! How about you, Bubba? How about you, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, and associates. Somebody come out there. Uh, Will of Meat could spend today, just FYI. A lot, um, lot, 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 lot out there on the table, Rick. Mm-hmm. Busy day today. Thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba show. Um, you know, we're all still on the edge of our seat waiting on the uh, caucus reser- uh, results from Iowa. And, uh, you know... In case you haven't, did they heard, have a power outage it, there as well? It's it's totally screwed up. They don't know who won, so they're all claiming they won. And by the you way, might as well today tell different. How do you win a caucus anyway? I mean, what is that? I, you go stand in the mm-hmm. corner somewhere. I is mean, that, what what? Why do they do that? What what is Bubba, a ca- I don't even like that word caucus. You know how we have these sounds thing- like something you see dead on the highway. You know how we have these <laughs> things that come around every year. We can't remember. Uh, the did or- you see that caucus? Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about. Every, yeah, yeah. every every year these things come around. We can't remember what the origin of St. Patrick's Day is, uh, and all this. I've never fully understood the caucus. Uh, it it is a mess. I, even when the people trying to cover it last night tell me it's a mess, I saw I saw a couple of anchors. You could tell they were going to try to explain it to me, and it's like they took a breath and they had. It's like they were questioning whether they wanted to try to take it on or not. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, um, y- y- they're not the only one. Yeah. Uh, the Democratic Party does not know who won today. Um, Rick, apparently, uh, well, we'll get into the story. You talking about the cactus? Uh, but I- I- in a strange tie, they had uh, app trouble. Um, and what's funny, Mayor Pete's declaring he won. Bernie Sanders is declaring he won. But nobody can print out anything at this point. So yeah, um, feel and- really bad for all the uh, the news uh, organizations last night because they kept telling us in just a few minutes they were going to tell us. Yeah, yeah, and, and, uh, and they never got to. Now on the Republican side, uh, Donald Trump won with ninety seven point one percent of the vote. Correct. He wasn't even opposed <laughs> in Iowa. And I don't know where, the, where this other two and a half percent. What are they doing? Yeah. Oh man! He said, so, it was great. "You know what he said? It was a beautiful caucus. It really it was. was. It, really, really <laughs> beautiful. it was almost caucus. perfect. It was beautiful. Uh, it was perfect. That was a perfect caucus. It, he won uh, bigly. In one <laughs> of the, <laughs> I won bigly. That's so good. In, in one of the more strange political happenings, I think of our time, and maybe in the history of our country. I, I, I obviously easy. Wow, history easy. of our country. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a president deliver a State of the Union oh, address yeah. tonight. Yeah." yeah. Who's hopefully going to be cleared uh, of impeachment charges the day after? Uh, Rick, that's just that, really that weird. Odd. Hey, and really let me tell weird. you, to not stay the union should be a dandy. I know everybody who's who, who's in the Trump camp that it wants that wants him to, to be more civilized. They're trying to get him just to talk about the good things that are going on in America tonight and not go there. Right. Mm-hmm. I just don't know that he's capable. Yeah, he might. Maybe either. he can. I mean, I, I don't know, but I I'll be surprised. Yeah. Now. You know, if he really wants to pile burning piles of coal upon their head, uh, he could come out and sound, you know, that he's wanting to, everybody to come together. But I don't think he could do about that. To say, what, what, are you just having fun think, right now? I don't think is, he is this you that. just playing riffs? Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, almost, you. you almost used the H word, humility. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, but the, uh, yeah. It's, uh, right. I, I doubt you'll see that. So, yeah, right. But it'll it'll be interesting nevertheless. Right. Uh, we also have the big Rush Limbaugh story. He, oh, uh, man. Told yeah, uh, the man. country mm-hmm. yesterday he has advanced lung cancer. How about that? Uh, and uh, that's, that's – I know we, we need to talk about that. We too, will talk so. about that because –
Yeah, uh, here we go from the Big Boy Studio out on the bleeding edge of technology from Sweet Home, Alabama to the world on various platforms, live and archived. We thank you for being here. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler. All in the mix and say hello to Bill Bubba Buster. Rick, glad to be here. Thank all of you for joining us. It is the little party we call Rick and Bubba the Last Lunch. The Last Lunch uh, serving now. Big, big, big week. If you want to go to a man church, uh, coming up this Saturday, Lee Moore, Prattville, Alabama, I-92, Boone's Chapel Baptist. On the 25th, uh, count them, four of them, four of them. Webster, Florida. Uh, down near Tampa, Blake Prime at First Baptist Church, Webster. Uh, Twickenham Church in Huntsville, Alabama on Sunday, Brian Gunn. Uh, First Baptist Church, Tallahassee, Alabama, Tony Cooper. Uh, and then a man church in Tuscaloosa at First Baptist Church, Tuscaloosa, Scott Dawson. That's all the 24th and the 25th. And for you men who email us all the time, that is an indicator these churches are doing the strategy so you can also plug in to the curriculum. Uh, Bubba, when, when we come back... Um, you know, New York, I, I hate to beat up on New York today. You know, Kevin yeah, O'Leary's yeah. already been on them and talking about their loser state and <laughs> the ruling gets Trump and the, the crime going through the roof. And, of course, you know, the mayor there, anytime that any, anybody remotely critiques the mayor, he screams, you're a racist and you hate me because I'm a black mayor. You know, those kind of things. And you remember this. The, the One thing that I think we all want in our cities is is we want the, the law enforcement to do their job and do it well, and we don't demonize law enforcement. We celebrate law enforcement. We love you, law enforcement. <laughs> we love you. Um, I don't know if the way to make New Yorkers feel safe with crime going through the roof is to announce the New York PD dance team. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, if, if you know, uh, I've heard of defunding the police, but I, I, I haven't heard of how about a dance team. Uh, Go ahead and defund that, Adler. What can we, can what, we what see is this? this? What what are you what are you talking and about? What are they? I, I, mean? I feel safer now. Yeah. Is all I know. I feel so safe and mm. good okay. knowing that the New York Police Department has a dance team and they're dancing on Pix Eleven TV here. Yeah, Bubba, uh, exactly. Bill, Bubba, Bussin. I can't watch. Speedy, you you're out. Cop. You're out, Greg. You're terrible. What do you mean by that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, so club even, can't handle me right now. That's what's playing. You right look now. at six. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not say numbers. Let's not say jersey numbers. Get a look at six. Get a look at six. Let's be factual on this. Oh six. Oh six. Oh six. Yeah. yeah. Why, why are we doing this, y'all? Yeah. Why are we doing this? And we had to put in a lot of time. Oh wow. A oh, lot of time. Oh wow. two bringing it. Oh two bringing it. Was oh six really? Why, hey, look, though? you can give oh six a hard time. She's got rhythm. <laughs> she, she does. does. You know, uh, them dancing like this reminds me of when we were supposedly in a terrible, devastating pandemic that was overwhelming hospitals, right. and yet nurses and doctors were finding time to do tons and tons of TikTok dancing videos. Yes, it's the same situation, I believe. Yeah, it just feels like. I mean, I thought NYPD you were going to take us to the, to the streets of New York, where they were out, you know, in the community trying to build relationships and show a different side of them that might, you know, bring folks right. in. Right, right. But no, they're in a TV studio. Yeah. And little outfits here. Yeah. Well, the Listen, club can't handle them, Speedy. a lot of practice time in on this, too. Uh, yes, oh a lot God. of practice time. By the way, I think 24 time. just did a freelance kick. I think so, too. But, yeah, <laughs> I the, thought she the, the club can't handle them, just so you know. 27 says she's okay. not going to the 27 club. 27 at 08 said, I can't <laughs> okay. do that move. I'll <laughs> stay standing. Yeah, 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 I she, will stand to the side. Well, they've been down from a waste That's why we told you to come to practice. Maybe you didn't lose your, use your legs when you've been. I had brunch. But, right. This is uh, this is the police. Wow. All right. I feel so safe and yeah. protected. Yes. Don't you feel like Sleep they ought to, tight they, they ought to have NYC. moves? They ought to have moves like they're putting their hands, your hands behind your back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 At least like read your eyes. At least like they're know, yeah, like they're arresting vessel. people. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh wow! Sleep tight, yeah. Gotham City. <laughs> <laughs> So there you this go. This isn't the hero you need. It's the hero you deserve. I don't know. I forget the oh, okay. line. I forget Man, the if you could have nailed that up. right there, okay. Adler. With uh, great power comes great responsibility. What do you think, Shane? <laughs> look, he, look, he don't know. He's so locked in. He's so locked into 08. He don't know. <laughs> Greg, stop looking at this it. Turn around. Turn around. 
This is horrible. Hey, uh, hey, I'm cutting hip too. I'm sure. Two seven, <laughs> two seven in the house. Greg, just seven. when it, Greg, just, certain moves. Greg, just when you thought it couldn't get more uncomfortable, we'll do a seductive dance here. Yeah, in just we a minute. do. A couple of moves. <laughs> couple Don't of think moves. You, <laughs> these hips are made for walking. Hey, look at him. Oh, wow. uh, there you go, traffic cop. Uh, all that's right. funny. Why though? Why? Just to continue why, to make How speedy. many of those are meter made? Oh, know? that's good. <laughs> uh, I'm just asking. To I don't continue, think they're chasing down criminals no, running with a gun. No, I don't. Well, like let that. me tell you though. Remember, we've talked about this before. I uh, think they doing a lot of nice. running. Uh, here we go to to video nine. Let's get Speedy really in a bind. Uh, so video nine, and Greg, you've been calling this on sixty five year old Madonna. Uh, we it, look. It, we it we, looks we, sad. we can all age gracefully. Uh, if you were at one time considered yourself some sort of seductress, yeah. at 65, you might want to go down to the, let me present myself. You know, I'm not saying you have to dress old, but no, you, you right. need to dress appropriately. Yeah, maybe a little better than that. Yeah, so you that, don't need to have thigh highs. So like. she's singing and someone's pulling a chair across stage? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, are you ready? There's a man. No. There's a man pulling her backwards a in a chair. You sure about that? He's got high heels. But on. the man is wearing high heels. Well, yeah, there you if, go. if you're gonna, mm-hmm. might be one of her dancers. Oh, skinny heels too. Yeah. Real thin. Yes, yeah, sti- I think and that's she's a stiletto. Kicked back mm-hmm. in the chair and yeah. he's dragging her. Okay. And she, she's, she's dragging. And down. Oh, he <laughs> fell. Oh, he, he fell. Oh, he rolled his ankle. That's why I get you. I can't look now. What What are we doing? And she's on the ground. What are we doing? And she has to get up. And now she's got to get up. Tell me what happened. Six. Oh. Okay, I, th- I think the guy in the heels lost. Watch, he loses his step. Hey, yeah, that heel got him. That's what I'm saying, yeah, his right does. ankle gave. Yeah. Yeah. If he'd have had on tennis shoes, that oh, would have oh, happened. Wow, wow, wow. 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 That's mm. where you cross dress and they'll get you. Yeah, yeah. guys are just That's not used to the heels. Yeah. Yeah. I know the adrenaline is. You can't is, pull is, heels off, don't wear them. Uh-uh. I know the adrenaline is rushing right now, so he doesn't feel his right ankle. But after the dance, he's going to go, oh, man, my ankle's all. Jacked you up. okay with <laughs> her falling and dressed like she is at sixty five? I didn't. That's I didn't ridiculous. look. I was looking. Do you see the reflection from the the yeah, window? I do. I'm kind of looking through there to kind of get an idea, but I won't look at this. The TV. That way, you get you get the basics, but you don't get details. Correct. I, I don't want to see your face. I actually and all understand that. that. Check what that is going out. on? Check what are they out. doing? This is just a this is just a strip show. All right. Yeah. That's all it is. Right. And then, and, boom, and down goes Madonna. You know this is Madonna, right? And she's safe on this, second. This is Amy Grant. Anybody chair hip? You got to give her credit. credit. You, you, you went with Amy Grant. Right well, I, I tried to come up with something that would be as far from the, uh, on the other end of the spectrum as I could get. So there you go. Club can't handle me. No. Right now. I'll tell you what. Dude can't, can't handle those heels. Dude no, can't handle no, heels. He's in uh, trouble. He's got a different job. I know that. I, I realize. She looks at him mad. I'm sorry, Rick. Go ahead. At, he, her, at her age, a wheelchair sending the wrong message, but it would have worked better. Oh, it would have worked oh, a lot better. Rick would have been guy, a lot safer. That guy's in so much trouble, he won't be able to get on the stage with Celine Dion. No, <laughs> he will not. Bubba. Bubba, that's not <laughs> he's out. <laughs> we'll come back. Phone calls are next. 866 We Be Big. Calvin Speedy Wilburn. Ooh, Fresh oh. Shane. Him or Shane will be in there. Yeah. <laughs> Shane's out this time. <laughs> Speedy goes in, face still red from uncomfortable videos. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. We'll chat with you uh, and find out what's on your mind when the Rick and Bubba show continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Sometimes there's phrases that and look. We're in we're in the times of hyperbole and exaggeration, and we'll over we'll oversell something. Uh, but in this particular case, we'll use some phrases as far as our industry. It doesn't. It, this is not about whether you like what Rush Limbaugh says and what he believes politically. It is not about that. Uh, you, we'll talk about that. But he, when you're somebody that truth, you know, there's a lot of you, you hear a lot of talk about Hall of Fames of of different sports and industries. I don't know that anybody has earned his place in radio history uh, any more than Limbaugh has. I'm talking about just he 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 literally created a form of of radio that did not exist. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know it was a game changer. Yeah, it really was yeah. uh, the way he's done it. Uh, I still remember the first time I heard him. I yeah. still remember the oh, first I time I heard too. him. I do too. So we'll talk and, about that. And uh, it it plays into you know even what we're doing today. So. Uh, transcendent, uh, for sure. Mm-hmm. So, Ooh, anyway. Well, you, you not only used that well, you said it well. Well, uh, I, I, 
And then I thought, did I say that right? You I know, like, the, you know what I like? Early here is hard, oh. especially hard on the mouth, oh. you know, to mm-hmm. talk. Yeah. It, it's oh, a yeah. devil of words. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. But, but but what I'm saying is you said it, and then, did I, Speedy, you were in the middle of show prep, and Greg, all everybody's doing he literally looked off after you said it, as if as if it even had a transcendent thought. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. It, it it really looked good. Yes. Yeah. Thank I, you. If I could have taken a picture of you right then, it'd be your new your new picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could use one. <laughs> That's good. We had such a good time. Hey. So we'll talk about that. Do you want to jump into rush here? Do you? Do you want to? Come yeah, out? we'll come back and figure it out. Get the order here. Uh, also, did you hear any of the Kobe Bryant nine one one calls yesterday from I the did. helicopter crash? Yeah. Very eerie. Very uh, eerie. Those, those hurt. Yeah. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Twenty one minutes now past the hour. The Rick and Bubba show. All right, as we make our way back, uh, let's just go ahead and jump in it uh, because Rush Limbaugh. Uh, has been uh, such an influence on so many that uh, do what we do for a living. And as we mentioned, uh, so do you want to start first with the the impact that he's had on the industry and work our way? Uh, we do have his actual. Let's hear it first. All right, let, we'll, we'll, we'll start with Rush Limbaugh, courtesy of the EIB Network. This is Limbaugh uh, telling his listeners, I think at the very last segment of the show uh, yesterday, about his condition. Here it is. I have been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Diagnosis confirmed by two medical institutions back on January 20th. Uh, First realized something was wrong on my birthday weekend, January 12th. And I wish I didn't have to tell you this. And I thought about not telling anybody. I thought about trying to do this without anybody knowing because I don't like making things about me, but there are going to be days that I'm not going to be able to be here because I'm undergoing treatment or I'm reacting to treatment. And I know that that would inspire all kinds of curiosity with people wondering what's going on. And the worst thing that can happen is when there is something going on and you try to hide it and cover it up, it's eventually going to leak, and then people are going to, why didn't you just say it? Why just did it? Why, why do you try to fool everybody? And it's not that I want to fool anybody. It's just that I, I don't want to burden anybody with it, and I haven't wanted to. Um, but it is what it is. And you know me, I'm the mayor of Realville. So this has happened, and my intention is to come here every day I can. And to do this program as normally and as competently and as expertly as I do each and every day, because that is the source of my greatest satisfaction professionally, uh, personally. I've had so much support from uh, family and, and friends during this that it's, it's, just, it's, it's been tremendous. And I told the staff today that I have a deeply personal relationship with God that I do not proselytize about. But I do, and I have been working that relationship <laughs> tremendously, um, which I do regularly anyway, but I've, I've been focused on it intensely for the past couple of weeks. I know there are many of you in this audience who have experienced this, who are going through it yourselves. Twenty minutes now past the hour. Rick and Bubba show phone calls coming in at 866 We Be Big. Calvin Speedy Wilburn is on the phones. He'll take your phone calls at 866 We Be Big. Uh, Bubba will we'll start right out of the gate uh, with Leah, who wants a baby prediction. Leah, Leah wants a baby prediction. Leah, welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you today? I'm good. How are y'all? Well, I understand you're having a baby, what, next week? Somewhere around that time? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, so you, you do you know how the baby prediction works now? Because... Do you already know the gender yes. of the baby? Don't tell us. Do you think you know? We do not know. Okay. No, we do not no know. No idea. Okay. Well, you're about to know. You all right with that? <laughs> yep. Are you okay with that? Yeah. All well, right. 
Well, you've already answered that you're clearly far enough along, but we start asking questions about your husband because we know that the uh, the male uh, will dictate uh, the gender of the baby. Or so, the one that identifies as a male. Well, that's true. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> I mean, no. In this case, it's straight up. I was about to say whether you identified it or not. If you're if you're still if you're still a man biologically, you're still going to to be in play. Now, is this a first child with dad? This will actually be our fourth. Fourth. Oh, fourth. Oh, what okay. are the other yeah. three? So I, we have a son and then twin daughters. Wow. Mm, okay. So he's he's done both, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, what does he do for a living, man? He is an executive director at church at our church. So uh, a lot of desk time. Uh huh. Does uh? Does yes. He, does he, he does a lot of busy work there too. Helps the. Uh, maintenance guy do a lot of stuff too. Oh, okay, now that's important. Does he? I mean, you talking about manual labor? A little bit of yeah. I mean, it's not no. a lot, but he does do it some. Okay. No, we're not. Help, no, sure. we're not talking about moving a music stand. We mean like sweating in the attic, moving around duck work and stuff. <laughs> mm, probably not as much as he used to when he first started the job. Okay. I'd say it's more desk work at this point. All right. Has yeah. he ever done any weed eating in the summer? Oh, yeah. We used to have a lawn business. This is the first year we didn't have it. Okay. Mm. All, right. All right. Got that. All right. So, so other hobbies away mm-hmm. from work uh, other than the obvious? He likes to fish. Um, he likes uh, running. Mm-hmm. Um, Does he hunt ever? Does he ever hunt? Good. Chop wood? He's never hunted. Okay. No. No. Not oh. chopped wood. Okay, no. All right. So uh, let, let's talk about you now, Okay. Oh, what kind of underwear does he wear? Uh, uh, boxer briefs, loose boxers, briefs, or commando? Uh, mostly boxer briefs, I would say. I was so hoping you were going to say commando because he would have to hear about it down at the church. <laughs> oh, gosh. Me too. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. Right, here we go. All right. So let's talk about you a little bit. So from about six months on. Some bareback Baptist. Right. What do you, what do you yeah. think you're crazy? <laughs> Your cravings have been like more salty or sweet? Uh, I would say probably more salty. I still really enjoy sweet, but I think that's just sugar addiction, you know. Okay, <laughs> but your craving but is I, more salty. I crave, yes, I what, would say so. What about the hair on your legs growing more or less or about the same? I think it's a little less. Okay. Yeah, this, yeah, this is becoming very yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah. uh, Bubba, go ahead and tell her. Well, you're going to have another little girl yeah, to go no, with the twins. Another little girl to go with the twins. Hey! All right. Congratulations, Leah, and thank you for letting us get involved uh, with the prediction of the yes, baby. Yes, thank you. Uh, there you go. I appreciate it. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks for listening. So there we go, Bubba. That'll be another one added to the list. That was easy. Yeah, yeah. let us know how it comes out, literally. John in Birmingham. John, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, men. Uh, this one's for Adler, buddy. You're doing a good job with the YouTube experience. But it's kind of like that dad that lets his kids and his kids' buddies come over, and you walk away for like five seconds, and you come back, and the room is just completely destroyed. Yes, <laughs> yes. That chat is something else, man. <laughs> well, you know, chats, are they can be a lot of fun, and, and, and I love uh, the, the loyalty to people that, uh, that love this show. But I'm talking about even on the Wednesday Bible study, some of the most bizarre people find their way into the chats in there with the people that are using it correctly. And, uh, and it's just, you know, anytime it was one of the things dad, when he was living, you know, dad never would go on any sports talk shows. Interesting that we went into radio. Yeah. And when I asked him why he said, cause I don't want to be in a position where somebody can just say anything they want to about me or to me. And I don't know who they are and I have no way to, mm-hmm. you know, refute them. I, they don't, nobody knows where they have any credibility and that's kind of social media and chat rooms. I mean, people can make accusations, say bizarre things, and really nothing you can do about it. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, but uh, the, the the tubers are wonderful human beings, but I'm going to tell you what, there's some odd folks that get in that chat room. Mm-hmm. I mean odd. And uh, we're thankful mm-hmm. for the ones that, that are level-headed. But you're right. But there's also a certain, like I had some friends of mine, they always send me screenshots and stuff. I've never seen the chat room live because we're doing the show. Uh, but yeah. uh, he'll send me screenshots, and they say it's almost like they use the mouth ulcer analogy we've used. <laughs> they said, like you were talking about, watching it, and you and you find yourself thinking this is unbelievable and outrageous, but you can't stop watching it. Yeah. And uh, it, as it gets it's more, like watching Jerry Springer. It, as it gets more and more outrageous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you remember how you couldn't tune out of yeah. some of those shows? Cause you thought, what, what, what in the world right. do I have next? Yeah, so they were sending me some of the screenshots today. But you know what? I hope they have fun. I hope they have fun.
Uh, John, thank you, buddy. I got to get there and chime in. What's going on? I, I don't know. I, like I, said, I get screenshots. Uh, my favorite was the time somebody sent me a screenshot that I I left the show too early on the big year ender when they were all here. And I seemed like I was in a rush. I guess they forgot I was going to bury my father. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't get to yeah. stick around. Yeah. And Rick, just, Rick just came out here and said, hey, to us and got in his truck and left. Yeah, because I was going to bury my dad. I, I guess you got to know left that. Left that part out? Probably a lot of people wouldn't have come to work at all, but Greg and I came in because we were so loyal to the audience and to y'all that we thought it would be bad for us to miss the year ender if it was possible. Uh, and so I Plus, apo- dad would have told us to go to work. Yeah, quit whining. I, yeah. I apologize if I got in the truck too quick to go bury dad. Yeah, uh, but I didn't uh, give you so much. I apologize for that. Uh, we continue. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Al in Florida. Al, go ahead. Hey, I want to talk to Bub. He's on the line. The first one to have that bare back back this book. <laughs> I like it, buddy. I, I think I, I won't put it on. I, I won't put it on this log truck right here. So let me know when y'all get them printed off. I, want one of them. <laughs> I bet we'd move them. <laughs> oh yeah, Robert oh, in North man. Carolina. Robert, there he. Oh, it's Robert, the 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 man who owns the wonderful Will of Meat. He's oh, a, Robert, Robert, everybody's favorite prize pig. Robert, how you doing, buddy? Well, I'm so glad to talk to you again this morning. Yeah, I want to know if y'all had uh, seen where Rick Patino, basically, he's at St. John's now. He just threw his whole team under the bus. Talking about they were all slow, they couldn't move laterally, they couldn't guard anybody. I didn't see that. Did you see that? Uh, I did not. Uh, yeah, I know. Did you see that? I, I, I don't really follow college basketball, so it's not odd that I didn't see it. You know, if it's not trick shots or something, I, I don't do yeah. it a lot. Well, you know, sometimes I don't know anything about Rick Bettino, but I know sometimes when a, a team is, is just frustrating the coach, they'll just lay it out there. <laughs> you know, and, and well, yeah, it's been coach, some of our favorite speeches you know of all time. I, I hate to say this. Coaches are people, too, yep. and sometimes they've just had enough. Well, there's the I'm disgusted – and and we've all seen that. And then there's the I don't want anybody to blame me. Right. You know, but my team's not any good. I've uh, got it if you want it or we can not. Oh uh, yeah, sure. If I'd you like got to it, it, yeah. I'd like to hear it. Yeah. And he doesn't cuss or anything, does he? I, uh, I mean, I I, so. it's during a press conference. Normally does. Don't, don't ask. He normally does. Yeah. Don't ask Shane. He, I mean, he, he don't, don't go. go. He's got blonde. I don't think they move well laterally. I don't think they're going to pick it up in the next week. Um, I think they're slow laterally. I mean, Sean Conway gives you everything he can. He's slow laterally. About five guys are slow laterally. Even even the Celtics when we lost, I've enjoyed every minute being a Boston Celtic coach. Didn't like the fact that we lost in that following year, but this has been the most unenjoyable experience I've had since I've been coaching. <laughs> you have any Denied. second thoughts of taking this job? No, not at all. It's, it's not St. John's. It's my team. I think they're very respectful. They hear, but they don't listen. It, it's taken me a month to get them to throw bounce passes. Actually, two months to throw bounce passes. <laughs> I was thinking of getting ready for Georgetown because Georgetown could definitely beat us. <laughs> I love that. It's the most move well laterally. I'll tell you, that. It's the most miserable you know what? You know, we coaches we get blamed for coach speak a lot, where they don't yeah. really give you anything. Right. I, think, I think he's actually <laughs> telling you what he thinks. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're we right. should salute that. Yep, absolutely. Bottom of the hour, an Elon Musk update. Like Bubba said, we have one of those just about every day now. So we'll come back and find out what's going on with Musk when the Rick and Bubba show continues. Uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG. You'll get other opportunities, Lord willing, later in the program to be part of the show. Thank you for being with us. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. At the same time, I am at the moment experiencing zero symptoms other than I don't, look I don't want to get too detailed in this what what led to the shortness of breath that I thought might have been asthma or um you know I'm 69 could have been my heart my heart's in great shape ticking away fine squeezing and pumping great it was not that it was uh a pulmonary problem involving malignancy so I'm going to be gone the next couple of days as we figure out the treatment uh, course of action and have further testing done. But as I said, I'm going to I'm going to be here as often as I can. And as is the case with everybody who finds themselves in this circumstance, you just want to you want to push ahead and try to keep everything as normal 
as you can, which is something that I'm going to try to do. And he goes on a little bit further, but yep. that's that was his announcement yesterday. So there you go. Uh, that is the situation, and uh, you certainly uh, were very pleased to hear the, the spiritual component of that. And I know his brother has been very vocal, uh, David Limbaugh, about his faith, has written some incredible books, by the way, if you've never read them, about uh, the, the body of evidence concerning the resurrection and, and Christ. And uh, so, you know, and he says, uh, if, if you noticed, he made, which goes back to First Peter 1, 6, and 7, he said, uh, over the last couple of weeks, it's really gotten intense with me working on my relationship uh, with God, uh, which pain and suffering, suffering tends to do that, which is why sometimes God loves us enough to allow it to happen. So, um, so anyway, so, so there you are. Uh, it's, um, it is, um, you know, like he said, he's the mayor of Realville. Certainly uh, he could recover, but advanced and lung cancer, sometimes those two words are very daunting. But we'll see. But but the bottom line is he's uh, he's very sick. Yeah, we we don't really know more about what he has, what type. You know, I've been reading the yeah. stories on it. We we don't know, but he uh, he has meant a lot to our industry and to what we do and the way we do it now. And we've never had the the fortune to get to meet him. And yeah, that that is a big regret. Bubba and I have talked yeah. about this. We've all of you out there in the audience. You've afforded us so many opportunities to meet people that um, that we've always wanted to meet. And we've, I mean, we've met two presidents and one president twice, and we can't meet Rush Limbaugh. And we, we actually did a show when he at one time was based out of New York City. Uh, we did a show from his studio and, and met uh, a lot of the, the folks that worked with him uh, and, and tried very hard through Handy, through everybody, to, yeah. meet, oh, yeah. to meet Limbaugh, and we've just never been able to do it. I had a dream after I heard this last night that I was in a restaurant and he was sitting at the back corner table and I saw him and I was telling Sherry, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get over there and shake his hand, at least tell him nothing more than just thanks for what you did for the industry. And people kept coming up and I never could get up to him. And I I guess I was thinking about the fact that we can't meet him. (laughs) And uh, so uh, I remember the first time I had heard about him, but the first time I actually listened to his show, I was in the parking lot at Madison square mall in Huntsville, Alabama, and I tuned over and I heard him and I was like, well, wow. And I never, and, and from there on, you know, just, he changed the yeah. industry and, and it was after he had gotten started. It wasn't in the beginning, but yeah, I, I remember where I was when the first time I heard him, I was rolling <laughs> down Quintard Avenue <laughs> and I was in that downtown Greg Aniston area that has all the trees and everything right oh, there yeah. and the monuments. <laughs> and, um, and I, I turned over and caught this show and I was like, well, this is fantastic. Yeah, this, exactly. This, this guy's taking on <laughs> politics in, in, in a way that I've never heard before. Yeah, and have yeah. a little fun with it. Yeah. Well, and up to that point, the only thing you ever heard on the radio was either something that had no bias, you didn't think, uh, at all, or it all came from the left. Well, the uh, most colorful commentator I think we had to that point was Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And that was you know, in news and commentary. And, uh, but this was different because it was hard-hitting – politics mi- mixed with humor and a person who declared there is no need for anything on this show but me <laughs> and 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 the tongue-in-cheek that he was the, the greatest yeah. thing that had ever happened on the on the face of the earth you know very muhammad ali like yeah and it yeah. was it was very very funny when when he when he said that he he has uh is uh, one hand tied behind his back with his brain just to make yeah. it fair? Yeah, and, uh, and 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 no one I, I don't think ever understood him saying talent on loan from God. Well, we, all of our talent is on. Yeah, loan. I started to say yeah. he's he, it's a joke, but it's it's very true. There's really yeah. some deep deep understanding yeah. to that. Right. Um, Half my brain tied I, behind my back just to make it fair. I had uh, I had that, a that. I had a friend of mine <laughs> I had a friend of mine that was commuting. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we're back. Thank you for being with us today. We'll get to more of your phone calls coming up at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Field of Greens, yes, you're welcome. For those of you that have listened and started doing it, uh, you can uh, you can eat healthier 
uh, simply by using fieldofgreens.com because better nutrition is the key to health and longevity, uh, and they can help your, your diet, uh, make your diet healthier so you'll feel better, even avoid health risks that may run in your family. Field of Greens is a, a healthy super fruit and vegetable habit. Do it every single day, and I will tell you what, the improvements. If, if you don't think there's improvements, I, I couldn't believe when they said this, but they actually are saying if your doctor does not see the improvements, uh, then they will refund your money. Uh, so, I mean, that's uh, – if, if you don't get it uh, and they don't tell you that it improved your health, they give your money back. And I don't know of any other product can make a claim, a claim like that. So uh, no, I don't think your I think your vitamins or your green drinks promise better health. Unlikely they put that kind of guarantee on it, but Field of Greens does. Uh, and they handpick uh, the fruits and vegetables that support your heart, lungs, and kidneys, your metabolism, healthy energy. Uh, also, don't forget about your immune system. Uh, really makes a difference there. Uh, so go to fieldofgreens.com and use uh, our promo code Bubba. That, that'll save 15% fieldofgreens.com, the promo code Bubba. Also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. You'll even see your skin look better, your, your hair, the nails, all that, because your body is getting what's supposed to get. Rick, all right. Rick, I've got to share this with okay. you. Based on our story a minute ago about the New York Police Department dance team. Oh, my gosh. Babylon B has a post, <laughs> and it says, Terrified mugger flees as NYPD dance squad arrives. And it has a guy in a mask who is turning and digging down a Manhattan street <laughs> and the dance team is in the crosswalk behind it. <laughs> that is good. I don't I care that, who you are. That, that dance team's on tour. Criminals are on the move. Here comes the dance team. Here they come. And another group not to be outdone, uh, says in response to members of, uh, of, uh, Altifa have adopted an updated slogan. It's defund the police cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's and all. it shows oh six. <laughs> that is y'all see the picture of that one. Mm. <laughs> well, you probably shouldn't read that one. Uh, uh, you probably shouldn't. I'm read just that. telling you, it's funny. Okay, especially uh, when you look at the picture. Oh uh, yes, uh, Al Tiffany's about gone. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Wait, it. I just I, 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 so I forgot how to say it. I was going to let it go. <laughs> I was waiting on Speedy and Greg. Yeah, yeah. Altifa. Well, a lot of people don't know about Altifa, but they're, they're pretty bad. You know what? This, this picture was so funny, I had no hope of getting through it. Um, oh, my God. Oh, good oh, Lord. Oh, my God. So much worse than I thought it was going to be. That's not even. I, I said, no wonder you were looking. No wonder you were looking. Man. Oh, oh my that's goodness. funny. So, there we go. <laughs> By the way, speaking of Thousand Pound Sisters, Greg, I finally watched a couple episodes. Uh, is it funny? I, 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 it's haunting my dreams. But Why? how funny is oh, it? I, I can't. I, can't, I think about them like just at random times during my day. I'm like, she had so much trouble getting into that van. And then she just Poor laid Tammy. on the floor of the van. Like, a, like, a, like a, 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 a load of good news. Of later, dirty episodes, laundry. later episodes, she, gets, she loses enough weight she can ride shotgun. Okay. So, Adam, well, did good. you show the picture of the dance squad, the mugger fleeing? I, I didn't know if you, you put we it got cafeteria, but I think we got that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was flying right so fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Golly. 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 Cafeteria. I was Googling Altifa. <laughs> well, that, that That's is, the southern version. It is. That's yeah, a, yeah a, lot of, a lot of people don't know well, about Well, right. those are the people that have marked uh, Big Al at Alabama, mm -hmm. and uh, they're after him. Right. Altifa. Uh, the, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> well, you'll see it later today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We will. Uh, Elon Musk update. Here comes the money. Uh -huh. hey! Hey! Say it. So what's, uh, Musk doing now? Uh, you know, Ping. Musk has several companies. You oh, know, sure. we, we know about Tesla. We know about SpaceX. Yep. Neuralink is another uh, company Good that he's night. been working with to try to interface with the human brain. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, and no. This, this has a lot of uh, possibilities for people that cannot, you know, function normally. Right, yeah. That they can actually do things now that they couldn't do before if this works out. Okay. But Musk's firm put a chip inside a person's brain for the first no. time last mm. month. No. Hmm. The entrepreneur says the patient seems to have made a full recovery and can now move a mouse just by thinking about it. 
How about that? On a screen. Bubba, they put a chip in his brain. Chip in his brain. So I think about it, and it goes to where I'm thinking. Yes. Oh, boy. He said, progress is good, and the patient seems to have made a full recovery with a neural, uh, is that, I don't think that's right, neural effects. Hmm? I think you're right. Oh, neural effects, what yeah. we are aware of, he hmm. said. A uh, patient is able to move around a mouse around the screen just by thinking about oh, it. Oh boy! Um, he said they're trying to get as many mouse button clicks as possible from the patient. Neuralink successfully implanted the tele. I can't say it now. Y'all got me paranoid. Uh, to pow- I can't say it. We now. won't know if it's wrong. Yeah, uh, chip last month <laughs> after receiving approval for human trial recruitment in September. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, when you get hung up wow. like that, there ain't nobody in this room going to help you. No, I, Everybody I, just loves well, to watch, I, I they love to watch us flop around like a fish back, on the deck and sit you know, back and watch. Yeah, that last one's still spooking me a little bit. So I'm <laughs> now, right. now I'm running scared. Look at that thing. Uh, uh-uh. Now, they actually use, know they that, actually use a computer right. to implant uh, the, the new device in the brain. Uh, they place it in the area of the brain that controls intention to move. The system consists of a computer chip attached to a tiny flexible uh, threads stitched into the brain uh, by uh, a sewing machine like robot. Mm. Mm. How about that? So, but you, you think about a lot of the it's uh, in his brain. a lot of the people wow, who brains. maybe cannot function. Uh, we, we, like you have the uh, uh, the cochlear ear implant. Yeah. It's kind of the same yeah, yeah. setup. Yeah. Um, but if that works, that may open up the world for a lot of people who do not have the ability to do that. A lot of them now, this is a step further from the, this. The, it's activated by their eyes. You, you've seen that yeah. for some of these ALS patients, and they mm-hmm. can look at the screen and it'll move. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, this 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 may take it a step further. Yeah. This sentence that the patient is able to move a mouse it. around the screen just by thinking. So you certainly don't want to put something like this in the brain of somebody like Bill Clinton. No, no, no. no, 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 no. All kinds of, whatever you're thinking, you Why just are you searching do? that, Danny? Oh. <laughs> right. How'd you find that? Well, I'm a, I, I can't even control my hand. <laughs> I just think about it. And uh, and so I, I, I don't know. I mean, that could be bad. So, uh, but I mean, this is, I don't know. We start putting chips on people's nah, I don't know, Chip. I mean, well, you will if you can't move something. Yeah. Well, oh, no, yeah, yeah, that situation. You give it a try. Roger that. You give it a try. Uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think there's a lot of hope for people that yeah. You yeah. Know, have no hope at all in this area. So, mm-hmm. do, do do people, though, who want to be hopeful, if you're on the left, do you now have to hate it because Elon Musk is researching it? Yeah, yes. I, I don't well, know. You know, that's a, that's a strange relationship with Elon and the, and the left. Elon he actually, and the left, they He's don't actually know what... moving forward a lot of their agenda points, but they don't like him because he will not come out and be – anti-republican or anti-conservative yeah it's like electric cars are saving the planet except for his you're right, right. <laughs> yeah that makes sense well you got to check all the boxes when you're a leftist rick you gotta, i know you they, gotta, won't, I they mean, won't let you leave one blank yeah they? i mean he didn't have the union box check you know that would jack right. the price of the car up so, right sure uh, they're against that while screaming that people can't afford cars that's right very strange yeah so so you uh, you have to check all the boxes on on the left they won't just yeah. let you check somebody. not just a few you got to run the you got to run the whole table now, of course, I'll be watching this and he person. Let, you know, he let Trump back on X, so that was, Uh-oh. You know, that was well, a major it's over now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, you, he, if he lets Trump speak freely, you really got a <laughs> dun, problem. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we'll come back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. So there's uh, Musk, the first chip in someone's brain, and they're moving a mouse around just by thinking about it. Mm. Interesting. We'll be back 15 minutes to the top of the hour. 866 We Be Big. More of the Rick and Bubba show is coming up after we come back. Also, don't forget, check rickandbubba.com and shop for your Rick and Bubba swag. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Every day, and he told me about him, said, You got to check this guy out. And I'd never heard of him. So I happened to be on the road. Uh, coming to Birmingham, and I flipped over, and the first thing I heard was a Barney Frank update. <laughs> and he, he had me there, you know, so. Uh. <laughs> so it, uh, we've never been able to pull off meeting him. I, I don't, I just, it just won't happen. Uh, so. You know, we, we made a, I mean, we didn't make a strong pitch to Kit Carson. We did. You know, who's passed away He's now. passed away. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll come back. More, more Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Bubba Show, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Thank you for being with us as uh, we work our way back. 
So uh, we'll finish up uh, and get into different aspects of this. The big announcement yesterday, Rush Limbaugh with advanced lung cancer. I remember the first time we started hearing him on the air. Remember Bubba talking about that his voice sounded different when he went deaf and had to get the cochlear implants. And um, so he's uh, he's had some some mountains to climb uh, in the past. And, of course, uh, Bubba said it today, and I, I knew it. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm not surprised. And now Helms, he's said it always uh, and of course we've been in the in the in the crosshairs as a team and and personally of the the all loving all caring uh man everybody should have a right to be who they want to be left of course none of what i just said is the way they actually live it's just something they say if you really chip away at it they want you to believe everything they believe and do things the way they want them done and if you don't then they'll go after you and, and hope that you die a horrible death that's the truth of it all uh, and and some of the things they're saying about Limbaugh uh, right now will tell you everything that you need to know. And Bubba and I were talking about this in the office. There's certainly people that I think are bad for this country. There's certainly people that I would oppose politically. There's people I oppose spiritually, um, and there's people that I certainly uh, don't don't care for. Uh, but if they were in a situation like this, um, I, I just don't know how anyone thinks. Well, it just shows you that there's a true hatred there versus a, a dislike or I don't agree with you. There's a hatred. Mm-hmm. And, oh, uh, yeah. Some it, of the vile things they're saying is unbelievable. Well, but just, but, but th- yeah. it's important for some of you out there, especially younger people that are trying to kind of figure out and find your way and what you believe and what, you know, trying to figure out what truth is and all this. Remember, in these situations, people usually reveal who they really are. So, so, so take a moment to see some of the things that these people who claim – I mean, like we've said before, they claim that they want a world that anybody can be anything they want to be, uh, as long as it's what they want you to be, I guess. <laughs> so so just, uh, you know, uh, as Bubba said, and he's right, you can do anything in the whole wide world except disagree with them. Right. Uh, and then if that happens, they don't just disagree with you. They want you to die. Oh, yeah. And uh, so yeah. you'll, you'll see some of that out there as they, they reveal that. But um, we were talking about. You know, one of the things that, that Rush Limbaugh in this industry that he, he is to be credited with is, uh, you know, AM radio was all but dead. All music radio had moved to the FM dial, and AM was left with a dire need of programming. And uh, and Limbaugh came up with the idea and, and realized this, and he started getting his team to go out to these AM stations and say, look, just give me a chance. Put me on in the middle of the day for three hours and, uh, and let me show you that I think I can garner an audience to a lot of these AM radio stations that had, I mean, some of them had gone from having a 40 share of the market oh, yeah, to yeah. down to being, you know, a, a, like fractions, a, a fractions yeah, yeah. of the audience because people had left AM radio and, and they'd gone to the FM frequency. And, uh, and he did what, I, pardon, you know, our analogy here, but it is a good one. He did the drug dealer. Yeah. Um, strategy yeah. hmm. where you give somebody something for free and then when they love it you come back and say if you still want that you have to pay and he built his radio empire uh, it certainly expanded but he built it on uh, on am radio yeah yeah he did and and and, and, and saved that uh, the am radio world and and am had to have a on-demand type programming yeah. they had to have a reason to go there because yeah. because of the quality issues uh, the music had moved to other things so but uh, you had that. You had the the uh, you know the ending of what was called the fairness doctrine, which was anything but fair. Right. Um, and it it gave uh, uh, you know a platform for for what he did to to rise up and and really there's so it, it has affected so many folks uh, the the way that he plowed that ground so that we could do what we do today. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're know, part we're of forever it. Forever thankful. Yeah. This yep. the type of opinion uh radio that we do it was unheard of uh, and he was the first one to come in and say this is opinion radio uh i'm not trying to be you know in the middle and let you decide i'm telling you the way things should be i'm telling you the truth of the matter i'm doubling down on on uh, you know what i think is best for this country uh this is who i am and that had been unheard At 10 minutes to the top of the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us today. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. 
I uh, mentioned earlier, brand new devotional available today for themanchurch.com. Sin always matters. The new 31-day devotional. Get it at themanchurch.com. Uh, it's a brand new resource. And I did get an uh, email a minute ago with some of you coming to Startville uh, because you don't want to pay shipping. And you're like, can I get it in person in Startville at the Man Church Conference? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. We'll have it there as well uh, coming up on March 8th and 9th. All right, so Greg, I want to ask you something because I'm always kind of studying uh, just where you are uh, uh, and how much impact your grandkids have had. Because, Bubba, I think you documented, just like the Grinch, that Greg's heart grew three sizes. Oh, yeah. yeah. With grandkids. Yeah. I mean, you can't even get it on the monitor right. anymore. <laughs> then we had this. Then that's, we had Things this. all or- up under his chin. Yeah, yeah, well, then we had this Joking ordeal me. with the puppies and all that. Good Did night. you get any growth out of that? You think maybe a half? Do you think his heart grew any during the puppy thing, or was it no, too frustrating? I don't think I was too tired. And it, yeah. it may shrunk back one. They're, they're stray dogs love Greg. Little children love Greg. Uh, and there's been a softening. So Bubba and I have openly talked. It's a commercial that runs on the network breaks a lot, and it's Henry Winkler. Oh, yeah. And he's talking about his father-in-law who's passed about his eye issue, something called GA or something. Yeah. And and it always I makes mean, Bubba. I, foggy vision. Oh, see, he's asked my question. What? I was wondering because Henry Winkler gets to us, and it and Bubba and I yeah, He's it. a great pitch, Bub, man. Bubba and I, I don't even know what it is, and I'm for it. Yeah. Bubba and I agree that he's making us care about his father-in-law who passed, and he's he making. Is, he's he's making. Is hard. that working with you? Does Does Henry Henry Winkler? His approach works. Does, do his those tone, kind of things get to you but, at all? And again, I, I can't. I, 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 you're gonna get me in trouble. No, I'm just I'm asking just a being, question. I, I mean, I hear him setting it up, and then I'm waiting to hear this horrible diagnosis. And it's. I mean, it's probably. You don't think that's? Am I missing what it is? I thought you just had foggy vision. No, it, that's not a big deal. I, it, well, it is. He was losing but his I'm just vision. Saying, yeah, but Henry was really, you know, Rick. I think yeah. him and the him and the visually impaired. You, they no, don't get it's along. not that. Yeah. At all. Your dad gives them fast. I know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why y'all make how this is up. That? How yeah. does Speedy y'all make da- How does Speedy Because he knows y'all Greg. make this stuff up. Know. He's an intelligent man. He sees what y'all are doing. Okay, that's how. So, Greg, you're saying Henry Winkler? No, I'm just you, kidding. Is, I'm just so his father-in-law had foggy vision. I will say Henry. He convinces you that he really loved his father-in-law. No question. He says he does, and I believe it. And I, need, I find I just myself need to pay more attention. And to I what find myself about. caring about GA. What and, and I probably I need to pay more attention to what Henry's talking. I just keep thinking, hey, it's fun. Does yeah. Henry Winkler affect you? That's my question. Uh, yeah. yeah, he he could. Not like the other examples you gave, but I mean to that point. Has he made you care about? Put his, it this way: if his father-in-law's plot. I, it makes me. I feel sad for him because what he felt for his father-in-law. Okay, but see now I'm I, I'm not gonna say anything. We, why do you keep saying that after you said something? No, he, he, you always right. say I'm not going to say anything. Y'all gonna take it and turn it into something else? We're just one. Doesn't I just, hold just, me as long as it may be. The commercial seems a little long. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's that's what I, that's where I was. So it should have been a thirty, not a sixty. Yeah, it seems a little long. So you'd like to see the thirty second commercial? Let's yeah. get on to it. Yeah, okay. get to the point. Let's get to the foggy vision. You know. Greg, it's, it's more he ain't got to give us so much of a background him and his of his father in law. Wow, I'll that's what pulls me in. Wow, yeah, I mean, yeah. Somebody get a picture. Well, yeah, too many <laughs> quick, too many details. Yeah. Okay, you know, yeah, like when I'm riding down the street and and me and my mom are trying to describe the somebody the, 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 the sunset to my dad, that's, and that's he says, not, you know, I remember what, what that looked what like long ago. I can feel the heat off the windshield. Thank you but, all for describing that. I guess we're go, are we going into them. too much detail to describe that to him? Wow, no, speedy. that's not wow. Huh? That's wow, not what speedy. I was talking right. about. Is that what it is when he says, I wish I could see you? No, no, but I'm talking about, <laughs> let's get to the disease. He spends too much time talking about how much he loves his Which is what you just said. I know. Get to the disease. Greg, and, and that's the a yes. I know. That I know. That's what no. I'm saying. What he's saying, if you did a commercial about your dad's plight, he would say, I'd like you to go through the sunshine part. Right, right, right. Even though that's the part that pulls me in. Right. Well, he should have threw it, but he hangs there a little longer. Okay. So your mind starts drifting. Right. Got to get Burgess. to the point. I'm going to lose See, I'm just the opposite. If he doesn't do that, I won't I pay attention. I know. Man. That, that's I'm kind of He needs to do it, but he needs to shorten it. Minds are drifting shorten it just a little bit, Rick. Let's get to the foggy vision. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I do agree with Henry Winkler's philosophy on tattoos, though. You know, what no, mama, what mama right. don't know won't hurt. That Roy Orbison, <laughs> what he wants. <laughs> yeah. so, that was so unexpected there and, you so, are. and so oh, funny. There you are. Right, so, Greg, tell us about William Byron. We, you know, now that we have you on the floor. Uh, now, look, we, I'm we don't, admit, we don't know about admit. the day home, Daytona 500 winner. Let me admit, the last hmm. few years, he's in that group of young drivers that came in on all these huge teams, and I'm not that up on it. But I know who. He, was, he, he drives for Rick Hendrick. He's in the 24, but then the guy, I mean, I thought he, he took over for Gordon, but evidently he didn't. They swapped numbers around, but whatever. Oh, okay. He's still a Hendrick. Okay. He, so okay. he's driving for a tie. He, he ain't like some fluke. He won six races last year. 
I did not know that. Yeah. Did you know that? I had no idea. And he was in the hunt for the championship. And if you watch that behind the scenes thing on Netflix, he's actually part of it. Mm-hmm. And he's dating Ryan Blaney's sister. He is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See who? Ryan Blaney. He's another driver. Another oh. awesome driver. Wow. Yeah, he's good. He's also on the Dave the, Blaney's son. So do they yeah. get along or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's funny too. Right till he gets wrecked by him. Did you see? And when it, was it Talladega? He won that last year. It was one of the tracks, and and he pushed. Uh, Correct. Uh, Blaney. And Blaney told his sister, said, tell him, I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, so really? that's an interesting dynamic because so they're friends. Did you find that out in the documentary? It's yes. on Netflix? Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. a must watch for those of you. a brother in law deal, but that's it. Uh, <laughs> name of it? Uh, NASCAR Full Speed. Okay. Yeah. So right. Netflix. It's got language, but, you know. Right. Well, you'll have that if you drive People a car 200 yeah. miles an hour. They get to punching each other. I would so. know who William, by, or if you're in the restroom when Speedy and Adler are having a conversation. Uh, the, uh, he, he's yeah, one sorry about that. He's one of the Hendrick drivers. Right. I mean, under, under that team. So he's in, he's in good equipment. His story's phenomenal. Okay. So he, he, he started now, listen, driving uh, uh, believe it. on a simulator when he was real young. And he told his parents, I think I could do this. And they said, well, let's try to get you in a, some type of car let you work He was playing up. essentially a video game. Yeah. So That's it's like that movie. Started. It's about that Formula, like that formula yeah. One movie. Kind of like that. But not, he, he did he actually He eventually drive. got in a car, but that's how they the, recognized he had a talent. Yeah. So the, the the kid that actually was good at video games, it became a driver. That was a Formula, formula One, one. Yeah. yeah, correct. That's Grand, Grand Turismo or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, never watched that movie. I just couldn't quite I mean, How many kids it. have come from video games that are driving? Now, I'm mm-hmm. getting them all confused. I know. Now, oh, this this is there's a bunch of young ones all in there, I'm sure. They they do all train in simulators now. Of course, they have these big time ones. And it yeah. seems like it sounds like he's doing great. I, 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 oh yeah, he is. This yeah. is how I the loop on NASCAR. Yeah. I am. I've never even heard of him. Y'all told me he won six races. I think he won six. <laughs> yeah, he, he won a lot. It's crazy. And was in the hunt for the, for the championship. You know, they, they break it down to the end. Sixteen guys compete for he, it. He didn't like this. It's twice. No, he's had a negative. It's hard to follow. That's it's hard to follow. It is okay. hard to follow. Yeah. I, I I was watching the documentary yeah. when I thought they were explaining it well, and it was hard to follow. Same oh, here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I okay. couldn't figure it out. I'm all in on this documentary because yeah. I'm mad right now. It's fantastic. But if I had watched the documentary when y'all told me to, I would have been fired up about this kid winning the race. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe see, the, maybe it, this kid's dad had foggy vision. He'd care. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Count on that. Or yeah. if he walked around in a kilt. That's another story. There. See, they got yeah, the, yeah. and Denny Hamlin in the. Uh-huh. And he's like Earnhardt. He owns a team, but drives for someone else. Okay, and he draw. He owns Bubba Wallace and Ty, Ty Reddick. Reddick. Uh, this is and, and, like and his co-owner is, is Michael Jordan. To hear him and Gibbs talk through all that. Like, yeah. of course, you know, when it comes down, one. when it comes down to it, or are are you helping one of our team drivers or yeah. one of your personal drivers that you own? One of my favorite <laughs> Dale Earnhardt quotes, and there were many, and there were many, is when they got him talking to the crew on the headset, and he he was upset about Junior not working with him on the track, and he said, "Hey, somebody let number eight know who he works for, because <laughs> he ain't working with me out here." Yeah. You know it, and uh, so the, you can the, tell the, though yeah. Denny Hamlin is still such a competitor. Like if he loses even to his own teammate, I mean the the people that he owns the cars, Bubba Wallace, Tyrett, he doesn't like it at all. He's like, I'll I'll be happy for them tomorrow. Right now, I'm pretty frustrated that I didn't win the race. Rick, yeah. you you mentioned number three. What a great memory on the show when we were talking to him on the phone driving down the, the interstate, and he threw the phone out the window. Oh, mm-hmm. What a great day! Yeah, was, wasn't that great? <laughs> well, we told him he's been too nice to us and ruining the whole experience. Well, he took care of that. Didn't <laughs> he? Yeah. He uh, that'll, that'll end it. <laughs> 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 so uh, so uh, so back to this. This is not a surprise then that William Byron wins. No, no, not at he, all. He drives not for like, one of the top teams, okay. maybe the top and a team. top driver because yes. they they had the two top spots. Him and the other guy were they were first and second. They're both Henry. Bowman and got into it, Bubba, by being very good on the simulator. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Well, look, the simulators are pretty good now. I'll yeah. give you that. It, yeah. it gets you, you know, gets you started. And he favors Lee Hubbard a little bit. Mm-hmm. He, well, he does. Little Lee yeah, he does. Yeah. That's funny. Do you know, deep down, back when we we used to go all the time, and and our our parents would take us, our dads would take us. There was a time when I thought to myself, I'd kind of like to be a NASCAR driver. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. We went yeah. twice a year. I mean, we were we were a NASCAR family, no doubt. But it, but those summer races are real hot in there. And see, that's the days no. before they all got so big time. They would stay in the hotels in Oxford. So you you'd be in Huddle House and Richard Petty being there eating a waffle. I know that was, was cool. Awesome. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, top of the hour. If you leave us, have a good day. If you got more Rick and Bubba, Lord willing, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Well, we saw the, the same thing that happened to the top lane with the bottom lane. They got broke up, and now we've got William Byron leading the bottom lane with Austin Sendrick behind him, Ross Chastain leading the outside lane. 
One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One He's Bank, and away Pinder. they go. That is Cindric into Chastain and up into traffic. Yeah. You know, not only had there not been a lot of opinion radio, there had not been opinion radio conservative. Yeah. And uh, and he changed. I mean, there, there would be no Sean Hannity. There would be no Mark Levins. There would be no... Uh, fill Glenn in the blank, Glenn yeah, Beck, whoever, yeah, um, and uh, the, the you know to a degree. You and know, the and, way and we what did. was important about that? Because, like I say, with the fairness doctrine, you could not be opinionated. But the problem was, it was opinionated. Of course, it was. The liberals and the left owned that market, and they had complete control of it. And some of them wanted to come across as journalists, but they were still leading you to the left. And it gave folks with conservative values a voice, and uh, it 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 was it was gold. I mean, it was just absolute gold. And the fact too, uh, it, even with some of the people who who do kind of what Rush does today, he had a sense of humor about it that I that really appealed to me. Um, some of my favorite days is when he's not talking politics. He gets off on sports or computers or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. I'll, I, I've always wished he'd do a little more of that, yeah. honestly, sometimes. But yeah. um, he did it and, and did it with such flair and, I think, great insight to what's really going on. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed – we did meet his brother, David, and he was he was a lot of fun to talk to. And uh, I can only imagine uh, – you know what that what that family's like when they're together. Yeah. You know? Well, and and the left wants the Rush Limbaugh's of the world. The good thing is, no matter what happens now with this advanced lung cancer, it's like his seeds are have now sprouted into a whole industry of conservative news and conservative talk radio. That even if he passes, the damage is done. You know, his passing does not mean that's the end of that voice. Now it's the end of the the person who, as of right now, does it better than anybody. Right. Else. Right. But 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 he's already got his proteges that that are, are making because there was a time you didn't hear this point of view right and right. and and the media would just you know I remember the, some of the great statements he came up with he said people keep asking for equal time I am equal time uh, right I remember right. the first time he said yeah, that, yeah. that what I'm saying that I'm giving the conservatives equal time what are you talking about I am equal time because <laughs> uh, there wasn't equal yeah, time before that as lo- when it came to syndication as long as I'm here it doesn't matter where here is yep. Yep. That, that's a Limbaugh classic. And remember, yep. prior to that, of course, the technology came along to help that out. If uh, nobody was doing that, mm-hmm. you had a couple of people. Uh, you, you remember, uh, uh, what was his name? He just retired, did the fly thing where he went from Dallas to Chicago. Uh, Tom Joyner. Tom Joyner. Uh, you know, that was that was revolutionary at the time. But yeah. now you could do it electronically. Don't and have do to it travel. To, to many places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and then, of course, as many uh, have, have pointed out, is that um, you know the the way that he you know approached uh, his show you know people it, he didn't he 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 rarely ever if ever has a guest right and he always thought that guests took away because if the guests are in there then he's not getting to do his monologues and he's not right. getting to communicate these points the way he needs them to be communicated so and he is a great communicator yeah, he, i think that that he, rises even above he all also of that. he also is unique saying i will have no guest <laughs> and, then, and then, then then over time he finally would have a president on yeah. or someone who but it's rare yeah. it's yep. still very still very, very rare, rare. Yeah. yeah and <laughs> um, and of course he did a lot of uh, good charity work as well and and used his platform to to help others also so it's a it's a tough day for the radio industry, and certainly you want to keep him and his family uh, in in your prayers, and and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see. Just like you know, everybody said he was done when he went deaf, and he overcame that. Yeah. Uh, and this is just another big mountain to climb. But no matter what the end result is, I was glad to hear that spiritually he yes. is, he is aggressively you know making sure that his relationship is, is what it should be and reconciled to. To a holy God, and um, I know his brothers played a big role. His brother in that. was on fire when yep. we met him. Oh, yeah. It was so I enjoyed talking to him so yeah. much. So, uh, so we'll see how it goes. But, but what he did for the industry, you know, the, like I said, he he transformed the industry and created a a product that did not exist prior to him. And he, and it's by the way been a very successful product, showing that the audience of these conservative talk shows is a audience to be uh, that is sought after by advertisers because when it comes to talk radio the conservative shows are so far ahead of any attempt of of the left i mean they've tried it they've even tried to get the government to 
to prop, subsidize it, to sub- yeah. subsidize and prop them up, and they can't make it work from a capitalistic standpoint. Yeah, I, one of my favorite uh, days on Russia's shows when he had his brother on. His brother had just come out with a new book, and yeah. he was growing in the faith, and it was yeah. uh, it, it was really good hearing their conversation about it. Yeah, yeah. So. So there it is, and uh, that was the bit, one of the big stories yesterday. We come back. Does anybody know who the Democratic winner of the caucus was? <laughs> and what is a caucus? Yeah, a caucus. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that. Will of Meat could Get spend the day. Get that caucus off the road. Your uh-huh. phone calls coming up. More stories that are out there. You got the Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. From the Big Boy Studio, a brand new hour. Thank you for being with us today. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, the gang all here. And say hello to Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here. Thank all of you for joining us. We only ask for five hours each and every day, and boom, here we are. Five, that's all we need. Five, 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 five. Uh, All right, so we have a couple of things that are a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to, uh, what you're seeing more and more with this upcoming election, no matter how you feel about Donald Trump and his tennis shoes or, or, or whatever, huh. uh, is everybody keeps looking back, and it's kind of an odd concept, and they're looking back at the economy and their livelihood when President Trump was running the country versus now. Right. Uh, right. Guys, the, the groceries are just skyrocketing. Oh yeah, I mean Eating we, out we oh yeah we right. we just we just went through. I mean we can't we can't get out of the grocery store. It's just two of us. I know. We can't get out of the grocery store for uh, under <laughs> two fifty. Oh yeah, uh, two seventy five. And you don't have a lot of stuff. Yeah, it and, ain't and, like you go with yeah. yeah look yeah. at all this. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, and, and so anyway, oh. so Elizabeth Warren will be asked first. Idiot. Why? Why does everybody seem to have? This, isn't this funny? Somebody's asking this question. Why does everybody have a fondness? Now, now we're talking about Pocahontas. Yeah. yeah. Why does everybody have such a fondness of Trump's economy? I mean, th- th- why is that even a question? First of all, look, uh-huh. I want everybody right. to keep in mind during this interview. She is one one hundred and twenty-eight Indian. <laughs> That's right. So Dan, don't ever forget that. Hey, and, and just and, and just on average, any of us walking around could be one sixty four. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so that's how much Indian she is. Ah, <laughs> she, but she went through school with Indian preferences. Mm-hmm. And this look she's got, she's stuck with how, it for how do you, years. How do you even show your face I w- out in public? No, I'd be so embarrassed. Not without a headdress on, I wouldn't. Man. How do you show your face? Uh, here she we says go. She's opening the casino. Okay, here we. <laughs> here we go. Why do you think that people? I, all these polls show like a lot of voters look back on the Trump years and they think they didn't like a lot about it, but they think the economy was good in the Trump years. <laughs> and I know that like we weren't. I know, well, at the end, clearly. And then at the end, when COVID happened and, you know, they, they figure, oh, well, COVID happened all around the world. And so, of course, the economy yeah, went south. But, you know, before that, Donald Trump was uh, he was presiding over an OK economy. You know, again, mm. I don't know. I, I can't explain. I can't explain polling. No, I mean I, I yeah, can't. Yeah, no, I don't. I I can't, and I can't explain how the narratives come to be. I also can't explain how sensitive are they. I'm going to now sound like the professor I used to be. 
how sensitive are they to the exact questions that get asked because you do get real differences in this. All I can do is do the look ahead. Mm -hmm. And the look ahead is going to be draw this contrast. Hmm. Yeah, we see the contrast. Did somebody, yeah, we, we somebody help it. us with that? I mean, those two having a conversation. This is what I don't understand. Nothing enjoyable about that. This, this yes. is what I don't understand. Let's say you're sitting there and you're on the the Biden advisory team. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you look and go, okay. When we were, we had these pipelines going in, and we had this. Right. Energy cost was down, so energy cost affects everything because mm -hmm. transportation has to happen. Right. Raw material to the factory, factories to warehouses, wholesalers, wholesalers to retailers, retailers to the public. All those products move quite a bit. Transportation costs are in every one of them. Yep. Mm -hmm. And really, if you, if you just melted it all down, that is the biggest driving factor to the inflation we've got. Mm -hmm. yep. So what if somebody on the Biden team just said that and said, Joe, listen, let's get the cost down. Tell them we're going to open a pipeline. Tell them we're going to open this. It's going to be years before you get it, but the excitement of doing it will push the prices down. You're going to see inflation go down. Inflation being down shouldn't be a Republican or Democrat idea. It should be an American idea. Right. It should be a consumer idea. Right. Yeah. So why don't we come together and do that? As opposed to, I'm going to do opposite what Trump did no matter what. I, know. Uh, I don't understand that. No I don't understand results, The results don't matter. I, I, I really no. don't either. Elizabeth Warren went on to say that she needed to ask her spirit animal, maybe the spirit animal. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're getting scalped by these prices. <laughs> All right. Okay, Adler, rickandbubba.com. Well, I called? understand, too, hey. she's also got some new moccasins coming out. She the does. The they're they're yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be online. They're called the Never Surrender Moccasins. <laughs> uh, hey, so now you're in it. Uh, Adler, what's going on with you? I've noticed you've been a real chatty here the last drinking. few days i've been drinking is that uh, it? on I the had, job at, at the show yeah no it's that uh I, I today i actually had that uh green powder whatever rick gave me i don't know what it, what oh, it was really? yesterday green probably should have checked on that i just took it <laughs> and it seems to be working okay. take it twice a day. did you uh, take it before you work out in your underwear yesterday i did i took it before i worked out in my underwear yesterday and i actually i seriously did feel more musk muscular uh musky Good stuff going on. Not, no, not I, musty, not I, musty or musky, anything like that. I, Just, I like when you chime in, but you seem uh, really hyper chimey hyper. Hyper chime here lately. I've been uh, quiet today. I've said like four things today, maybe. maybe it's just the rap. It's so rapid, Bub. I mean, when he talks in the tempo. I just think it's what you're saying. Yeah. Is it, uh, is it a cup of coffee? I, How I you're know. saying I think it. You, I think you've chimed in more than you think today. Yeah. I think I've chimed in less than you think today. But that's just what I think. Right. As you chime in to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> what we think is reality, right? Hey, green powder. You just yeah. pipe down Take your there. green powder and go away. All right, oh. CNN's Jake Tapper <laughs> is going to hear some you of these same... brick on here. Yeah, these, <laughs> these, these, these same facts from Senator Tim Scott, and he is... Watch yeah. his face. It, it is a Debbie Downer mm. face. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's say this, that having four more years of President Donald Trump means that we'll have low inflation, low crime, we'll have record low unemployment. We saw that happen for the first time. African-Americans seeing unemployment under 6%. Hispanics for the first time under 5%. Asians under 3%. The majority population a 50-year low. Women a 70-year low. What I'm actually more interested in is not my future, the future of America. I want poor kids today growing up like I did mm -hmm. in impoverished neighborhoods in single parent households to look to America's future and say, there's a place for me at the top. You work hard, get a good education. All things are possible for every single American. That's what, what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's time in a little <laughs> nah, nah, he's really going to turn it up. <laughs> Jake Tapper's, it looked like somebody broke large wind. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, beside, right beside him. Oh, it's like he was in the in production. An elevator, yeah. and he couldn't get away. Or if you're in the production room with Greg. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he was in an elevator with John Morgan. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, he said, man, I was a joke he did on, that, on the show. Oh, that's right. I thought you meant right. because of his language. No. I thought you meant he was pinned in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Ten Bubba. minutes 
to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, and uh, so trying to uh, trying to figure out the Iowa caucus. And, uh, and How about you, caucus? The reason why it was a pretty big deal, I saw some of the stuff coming up on the screen last night. They were saying that just about every time, whichever Democrat wins the, the caucus in Iowa usually ends up being the nominee. You remember, you remember last time Bernie got beat by Hillary by like less than a, a one point, mm-hmm. less than one. It was like forty nine point six to forty nine point nine, and you remember that was always mysterious because they were like, hmm, that, that you know. And, and well, then, and then of course they railroaded Bernie and, mm-hmm. and and ran him out of town. Well, they and Bernie knew going in. Right. I mean, the super delegate thing you could you can't beat that. But Rick, uh, apparently this uh, the holdup on this is because of a mobile app. Uh, that was paid for by the Democratic Party uh, to the tune of about $63,000, um, according to payments that were uh, shown for November and December. It's uh, built by a company called Shadow, um, mm. Shadow Inc. Uh, it is the tech arm connected to a nonprofit progressive digital strategy firm. Um, according to people familiar with the matter, and and apparently several old campaign staffers and people tied to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama started this company. So say that again. Well, there's a tie to the Clintons and the Obamas in this. I mean, you know, it's all big demos, so you would expect that. Uh, but uh, Rick, apparently, it didn't work. So we don't know who won. <laughs> no, it, and it's... and and Mayor Pete's claiming he won. Crap Bernie out. says uh, yeah. he won. And the printout they they have, if you pull it up and look at the at the numbers, it says zero percent. So, yeah. so you, you know. uh, now this happened on CNN um, last night, <laughs> and I have secondhand embarrassment about this. So you have these managers of these precincts are supposed to be using this app to send it in, and then when that's not working, they're saying call the hotline and we'll take care of it. But then they're getting put on hold for like ninety minutes oh my and God. whatever. And Wolf uh, Blitzer is talking to Sean um, Sebastian, who is one of the uh, in, representing one of the precincts. And this is how it As played they out. They tried to, I think, promote an app uh, to res- report the results. The app, by all accounts, just like doesn't work. So we've been recommended to call into the hotline, and the hotline has not been responsive. I, I have, I can sh- have you gotten any explanation, Sean? Right Sean, now. have you gotten any explanation at all of, uh, as to what's going on? No, I have not. No. Please let it I'm just it's waiting on hold the... and uh, doing my best to report the results from what, my precinct. What are you hearing? I know you're listening to a conversation uh, from the Iowa uh, Democratic Party. Um, this, this, party. Uh, so, can I help you? This is a real coincidence, Wolf. I just got off hold just now, <laughs> so I've got to get off the phone to report the results. All right, uh, go ahead and report your results. Can we listen in as you report them, Sean? Yep. All cool. right, let's listen. All right. Okay. Hi. Hello. They hung up on me. <laughs> they hung up on me. Okay, I've got to get back in line on hold. Oh. Um, they just hung up. <laughs> Smooth operation. That's the way it played out and, all and, night. And what company put this together? Uh, they, they're called Shadow Inc. And who's behind it? Uh, there is a, according to this story, uh, former members of the Hillary Clinton campaign right. and the Barack, Barack Obama administration. Who would have thought that the pe- Democrats would try to put together an app that wouldn't work? And the fact I can't wait. It, to, I can't wait till they put health care together. Of course, now um, all the Bernie Sanders um, conspiracy theorists, because it was of rigged, course, it yeah. was rigged last time. Well, they don't want Bernie. Getting, they're rigging it again. Oh, yeah. Now, the, <laughs> while they know the company it come from, uh, the Iowa Democratic Party has put out a statement saying there's no evidence of a hack of the app. The party hasn't publicly disclosed the identity of the app's creator a decision that previously prompted alarm from cyber security experts. Well, well guys, can I interpret this? Hillary's not officially in the race yet, <laughs> and her team, they they know how to get this stuff done. They, these other rookies can't do it. <laughs> they, they tried to hack it and get their candidate in there, and they can't do it like the Clintons can. You know what? So, uh, so anyway, so we don't know it's, uh, what Democrat won the Iowa caucus. We have no idea. You've never heard of so many companies and shell companies and things, how all this is strung together. It. Yeah. But it, it will be uh, it, w- it will be very interesting the next few days. All right, so so Joe Biden continues to get mad. The caucuses, Rick. You got to have the caucus. Hey, Biden.
We're back. 20 minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba, our 30th anniversary in the final year of the Rick and Bubba show, celebrating all the way to the tape. Okay, so Lenny Kravitz, Bubba, you have correctly uh, said that there is no cooler person on the planet. And um, you were asking yesterday, we never got to. I mean, he was even cool as a hairdresser in a loop. You know, I mean, <laughs> right. that, you got yeah, to was. pull that off. Cool. Was that one of those Kill Everybody Before Time Runs Out movies? Uh, uh, yeah, The Mockingbird. Mm-hmm. And oh, okay. Yeah. Was it? So he's a hairdresser in those? In the first one. What yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What was the name of that? Uh, Hunger, Games. Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Games. Yeah. yeah. Or, like or as say. I call it, Kill Everybody Before the Time yeah. Runs yeah. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Same the, thing. They're where I got that from. Um so, uh, and you said he was honored on yeah, the People's... Yeah, he, he was on the People's Choice Awards night before last. He got an Icon Award, and uh, I never did see the performance. I'd ask Adler if he had video. We talked about it yesterday. We never did look at it, though. I don't know if we can. Are we good to look at this? He went through a 12-minute montage of hits. 12 minutes? Of hits and hipness. He's got his dreads <laughs> he back. Is, he is about as good you know, as it comes. I'm going to try to click through back. just to give us four seconds yeah. here and there, but yeah, here's... Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so. There you are, Bubba. I'm getting uh-huh. rather having these awards at. Storage building? Yeah. Uh-huh. Why? They don't have anything negative to say about Lenny Kravitz's uh, Lifetime Achievement Award or whatever it is. What are they having that? A lot of people. But to me, it means you've made an indelible mark by being who God created you to be. And daring to be different. Why well, he looks small there, hmm. okay. Greg? That's not he, the first uh, thing you have to say. A little reflective yeah. of the great Rick James. I, I will, I will say this, Bob, and I, I know, I know look, the look answer because I can't yeah, think of any, any documentation. Like Huge head. Can anybody <laughs> document? And Greg, I disagree with. If he does have a, but that's his right. hips look very small compared yeah, to his some, head. Something well, happened. I don't remember. Well, he it's like he's a miniature. It's like a, he's a bobblehead. No, I think when you realize the things we've already seen today, but now that we're seeing small hips, we can, we, we have nothing. We're, okay, we're, it's such a, it's like a fast, New York City. That's a great we, we've jumped a chasm, and we're just like, okay, that looks awful small now. <laughs> Maybe it's the dreads. The dreads yeah. may make his head look better. Well, if, you know, that's the thing look, that when you get into the... But Please no negative Lenny Kravitz. I was about to say, <laughs> about to say, this is who <laughs> Bubba wants to be. I'm just asking. That, Bubba, I, mean, you, I just think he's the coolest. Well, I was going to ask you this. I think I've probably passed that window. You know what? <laughs> Let me tell you what's Have you ever he's, seen that Rick, moment? he's the same age as me. He's 59. Are you serious? Yes. Really? Well, that hurt. <laughs> Have you ever seen any image of Lenny Kravitz that was not cool? No, any. Yeah. no. You, you said the best shot we had was him being a hairdresser in Hunger Games, and he was still cool. <laughs> he there? still pulled that mm-hmm. off. Yeah, I, I mean, think his Jeep commercial may have been the best. Is though. it possible yeah. that he's so cool he can't even be uncool? I think so. Yeah, he's like he's the cool. Fonz, you know, he just <laughs> yeah. can't do it. Yeah. Just cannot happen. That's uh, <laughs> and and when you went through that time where you were trying to be him, that what a run. Well, I, no, Bubba I just Kravitz I just said it would be nice. To, right, <laughs> I, I couldn't pull it off. Yeah, them leather pants. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere by, above. By the way, leather pants. I mean, it's one of those things you look at and you go, eh, "That one just closed." Yeah, I've never I've never been a leather pants guy. Never put a no. pair of leathers on. No, no. I'm even, glad even, to have on the ones I got. Even when <laughs> age wise, I wear shorts most mm-hmm. of the time. Yeah, most fifty nine year olds. Leather pants are just out. Yeah. Rick, Rick, little dickies don't make leather pants. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't. If they did, though, they would have a thing for a hammer on the side. That's yeah. right. Dude. Greg, walk, walk into the new Carhartt store over at the summit. Hey, y'all got any leather? Leather little dickies? <laughs> any leather pants in With here? the hammer holder? <laughs> right. Y'all want to hear the very end of his performance? Yeah, let's okay. hear it. He's rocking hard. Rocking. Oh, is that Eddie Murphy? Is that Eddie Murphy in the hat? It looks like it. That's Go JB back. Smooth. Go back. I thought that was Eddie Murphy. I like that Eddie stage. Murphy. I think it was. No. Really should. Wow. Cool. <laughs> I think that was Eddie Dripping Murphy. cool. So, so, I don't think that was Eddie Murphy. We agree on that, right? That was. Hey, it was not did. Eddie Murphy. That's JB Smooth. That I'm was telling what? you. That was J- it was J.B. Smooth. Okay. Not, it, it does it, look it like looks, Eddie Murphy. I'll thank give you, you that. Not all playing not a character. It looks like Eddie Murphy. Is that not J.B. Smooth? It looks like him playing a character. 
Right, yeah. I know you're from Eddie Mississippi. Murphy. I know I think you're from Eddie Murphy playing J.B. Smooth. Maybe, mm, maybe that's it. All right, I have, I have a question. Go I'm on. gonna. This is bad. Who is J.B. Smooth? I don't know. Comedian. You know if you see him, okay. you know if you see comedian him. guy. He, he's on the Curb Your Enthusiasm with the. You know, I ne- I've never watched that show. Oh, yeah. is it, is it kind of that's young? not him. It is, but it is funny. I think the language. What's her name right there too? Yeah. Look to the left, Eddie Murphy. That's not Eddie Murphy. Look, we gotta know. Go back to the. Go back to the. Uh, what's her name? I can't he's, think of. He's it. been in movies. Elaine and that's, uh, that's not Elaine either, Christmas. guys. That's not Elaine. See, there's that's Elaine. Not, that's not <laughs> Elaine. Elaine's there too. Not Ricky Martin. Eddie or Murphy is there with Elaine. By the way, that's Eddie Murphy. Or is that Courtney? It's not Eddie Murphy. That's Clearly not Eddie Murphy. Smooth. Straight up, buddy. Selma Hayek. All right, is JB Smooth the one in the Peyton commercials where the the Peyton Peyton Manning and mm, Eli and he's know. down there with gold no, all over? That's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no, I don't know. Let's see, Lenny. It, it's something about gambling. Google, Lenny. Yes, he's yes, been Rick, in, yes. Uh, He's in this Christmas. Eddie yes, Murphy. Yes, Rick. There he is. Look, Greg. J.B. Smooth right? and yep, Gold. Yep, yep. J.B. Smooth. Eddie Man. Murphy. <laughs> or, as some people don't know, his alias is Eddie Murphy. <laughs> or J.B. Smooth. By the way, speaking of Eddie Murphy, has that Beverly Hills Cop came out yet? The, no. The, oh, oh, no it was teasing it. Yeah. Okay, so it still got. No way it's going to be any good. This will be Beverly Hills Cop. Four? four? Yeah. Yeah, no way it'll be any good. Love that movie. <laughs> what is more upsetting? Movies. Is it Beverly, a reboot? The first Beverly one. Hills Cop awesome. reboot awesome. or Roadhouse reboot? Which one's more alarming? Uh, mm-hmm. I, I've, I've seen highlights of the Roadhouse, but I don't, it I'm doesn't look very that. good, guys. Yeah. Well, the I'm fact that, that. In Ed, the Eddie the Eddie Murphy's in this one, so it's so not like helps. yeah, that helps it's that not, you're not having to recreate the, something. Yes, it's not just yeah. I think Taggart's even in there. So what you're saying? I think you're right. I think so. So what you're saying is, if they put tried, a banana in my tailpipe, <laughs> if they tried to reboot Beverly Hills Cop without Eddie Murphy, then we got bigger problems. Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, and that's what they're doing with Roadhouse. Yeah, well they yeah, have to. Exactly. They have well, to. Right. Yeah, they but just, apparently Eddie likes Lenny. That's good. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, All right. So uh, Beverly Hills Cop one. Was when eighty four awesome great movie. movie and then yeah. well, another reason the eighties was the greatest decade mankind has yes. ever seen and then eight, uh, Beverly Hills Cop two was eighty seven <laughs> Beverly it wasn't Hills any good. it was okay it was good it's not me it was okay Greg it give it an okay, okay. Uh, and then Beverly Hills Cop three was I didn't in even know there was a three ninety four I didn't either that's well, a ninety four good it was <laughs> and then Beverly Hills Cop <laughs> Axel F is an upcoming film yeah, that's right okay it's Axel right. Foley. That's okay. right, Greg Powder. Right, so left. There we go. Okay. Starring J.B. Smooth. Okay. <laughs> you know, Green Powder would be a, a great action hero. You know? I just, for a moment, I don't, well, uh, for a moment I became a listener. I don't think I have any idea what's going on. Right no, now. it's out of control. You know, I mean, <laughs> God, uh, we got off. We got J- we ended up JB Smooth all the way to Beverly Hills Cop. But in December they're gonna wish they had it. That's right. Bam, 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 bam. All over the place. I just completely left being part of the show, and all of a sudden I was riding in my truck, and I was like, "What's going on? <laughs> Who's JB Smooth? What are these idiots talking about?" Uh, the, uh, but it's what happens when that green powder spark well, and a yeah. few soft it's drinks all, right. all mixed together? Yeah. No, we were laughing yesterday because it was another thing that's coming up, and with it, and so was here, and I literally was telling the guys and you see now i was right with adler i said i'm afraid to take any more supplements <laughs> i said I, I said if i take anything else i don't know what'll happen I, I might become some sort of creature or something I, i'm afraid to um, i appreciate somebody want me to try a new product i don't think it, my body be like you don't put anything else in here no you can't do it <laughs> we're, we're doing the best we can old man to keep you going do not try anything else uh so uh, so anyway the um uh i don't know that we can find anything that's cooler than Lenny Kravitz, so I'm glad we found it from there. I found a story, Spitty. It says, Eddie Murphy reunites with Kravitz and uh, Dreyfus. There you go. <laughs> that that is funny. Funny. And Thank you, Helmsy. And funny. then to look at the screen after you say it. <laughs> <laughs> the look up that says, "How about that?" Did, How a, little, about that? did a little research. Yeah, found an article. They found an article. Uh, the um, um, <laughs> we come back. We'll hit phone calls at eight six six. We be big. We'll try to find out what is on your mind, and we'll look and we'll see if there's anything else that we we didn't hit uh, either today or yesterday that we need to get in. Most of it looks like we've we've hit most of it. But we'll come back and we'll hear from you. Eight six six. We be big. Coach Hams goes to the phones. We'll chat with you, America. Uh, when we come back. The um, and then we'll hear more from Speedy's pursuit of cameo appearances by Eddie Murphy. <laughs> he appears to be everywhere. I like that hat he had on. That's not. Was, that was not him. Not him. Well, who called? Who? 
Well, how do you know you're right? <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> okay. Somebody get the green powder from Adler. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. What Democrat won the caucus? <laughs> yeah. There's uh, so, 1,700 caucus sites in Iowa. Um, so, so, he, so now Biden continues to get angry with the people, and this time, if you really want to see him get confused, is when he thinks he's with friends. Yeah, you're and, right. And, and, this, and this is NBC. Yeah, now. NBC's not supposed to ask him these kind of questions, but no. they did. Yeah, and and he 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 he's not happy because I think even NBC is saying, you know, some of this we really need an answer on. Yeah, yeah. can yeah. you can you put this to bed? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here, courtesy of NBC, like you said. Has it occurred to you that there's a certain irony here that here the president is accused of and has acknowledged wanting to. Uh, get information about your son hunter and his dealings with ukraine and this process of impeachment has ensured that everyone knows about hunter's dealings with ukraine that's a good thing and no one's found anything wrong with his dealings with ukraine except they say it sets a bad image well do you agree that it sets a bad image and my son said that do you think it was wrong for him to take that position no Knowing that it was really because but, that but he, company he, wanted access to you. Well, that's not true. You're saying things you do not know what you're talking about. No one said that. Who said that? Well, don't Who you said think that? that? Don't you think that it's just one of those things where people think, well, that seems kind of sleazy. Why would he have that job if not for his who his father was? Because he's a very bright guy. I guess the question I'm kind of asking is, appearance. was it right? His appearance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he said he regretted having done it. Yeah. Speaks for himself. The grown man. You're going to predict a win tomorrow night? That it? I don't predict wins because I'm superstitious, but I predict we'll do very well. <laughs> okay, buddy. Again, so now he, even that the, was a very uncomfortable stare that, off that, there. Now, look, <clears throat> NBC is one of his running buddies. I know. And I, I commend Savannah Guthrie for at least asking the question. You could tell it got real uncomfortable there for a minute. Yeah. Like, look, I'm sorry. At this- least he didn't try to kiss her. Right. right. Well, I thought I the mean, way I, he's been pushing people. I right. thought it was growth on his part. Granddaughter, he was. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing about this, and look, every this this happens all the time in in various political parties, and it's happened in in education, it's happened in companies. I mean, it happens all the time. But this guy had no skill in energy issues, right. and he is given a job making millions of dollars on this energy company. Because his dad was vice president of the United States, that plain and simple, and they they look they got caught with it. I don't know how they thought they wouldn't get caught with it, and they don't have an answer for it. You you, you know Joe's answer is you don't know what you're talking about. Right. Well, well then tell us. He was on that board. Okay, tell we us, know that. Yeah, tell us why we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Yeah, <laughs> and and then get, don't forget we have Joe also letting us know all braga, braggadocious that by golly. I got that prosecutor that was looking into it yeah, done away yeah, with. You want you want this money? You yeah. better get rid of this guy. And he says it's because and and Gosh, that maybe like a maybe the guy point. was <laughs> that he was a, a corrupt uh, you know prosecutor. And maybe maybe he was, but the fact he was looking into your son and you mm-hmm. are on camera bragging, you got rid of him again, Joe. It doesn't look good. I mean, that's what Savannah's trying to say. Do you? Do you not get that? Right. You, I mean, you're, you've been in the Senate. You've been in public service your whole life. <laughs> Couldn't hold down a regular job. Right. W- w- what about that don't you get? It's not difficult. That we're, look, we're well, average difficult. intelligence. Yeah. What about that do you not get that that looks wrong? Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah. Especially when you're saying some of the things you're trying to say against the opponent. I, you know, I'm starting to wonder with this kind of – Questioning? Do, do they not? They don't think Biden can win, Ooh. right? Are they trying to destroy him? I think they're trying to get yeah. rid of him now. It does I think he's a way. liability, but I don't know who 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 they gonna put in there. Crazy well, Bernie. That's, Hillary's coming back. Well, yeah, Rick and I know. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It is 10 minutes to the top of the hour.
intro music. Helmsy on the phones, 866-WE-BE-BIG-AMERICA. It's your time to talk. We want to chat with you. But we'll put it in 30-second uh, segments. The old buzzer, speaking of boundaries, uh, will solve the problem of standing in line and going, boy, this person's a chatty Kathy. Uh, not with our friend the buzzer. Uh, chatty Kathy will be cold. So uh, no meaningless shout-outs, no shameless plugs. Uh, this is all for us to bring content to the show, questions and comments. If you move right now, you will get in. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about HomeTitleLock.com, a new sponsor to the program. We love the term home sweet home. Many of us cherish this, but can you imagine you're sitting there brewing your morning coffee only to discover that your hard-earned home isn't yours anymore? No, this is not uh, This is not a joke. It's a scenario uh, the reality of home title theft. Now, you may have seen recent Fox News stories about this on house stealing, and, and it made us wonder how many of you tuned in have actually checked on your home's title. I hate to put this on you today. Uh, probably very few. I, I, I had to do it after seeing this. Do you even know if it's still in your name? Think about that. What if you found out your home title right now is not even in your name? So it... Uh, it is important. Uh, the report on Fox focused on the growing devastating crime called house stealing. Uh, protect your home's title from scammers and identity thieves who will take over your home's title and harm you financially. Uh, the reason you need home title lock is the titles to our homes are easily found online. A criminal or a renter, even a family member, can simply forge your signature on a home cell form and, and refiles as the new owner. Bam! Your home's not yours anymore. Uh, then the thieves take out loans on your home, drain your equity, disappear, leaving you in debt. So then you got to do what? Prove that this was all a scam and prove that it really was yours and, you, and fraud was committed against you. Uh, and nobody wants to go down that road, okay? So if you think your homeowner's insurance is going to help you on that one, they're not. Uh, identity theft programs, they're not. Uh, home Title Lock is the premier detection technology that protects your home's title in uh, the instant they detect activity or something suspicious. They move immediately to shut it down. Has some criminal taken over your home title? Find out for free with the code Bubba at HomeTitleLock.com. That's code Bubba at HomeTitleLock.com to find out if you're still the person on your home's title. You'll get a comprehensive scan of your home's title for free plus 30 days of protection. You'll find the direct link right now by going to rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. I hate even talking about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is a – but you know what? Get home title lock, be, be, be done with it. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's start with the phones. 30 seconds a pop. Uh, we'll start with Emily on Pike Road. Emily, you got 30 seconds and go. Hey, so, hey, Bubba, I love Lenny Kravitz, too. Uh, I, I think he is just cooler than the other side of the pillow. Um, I wanted to point out, so he one. was married to Lisa Bonet, yes. you know, the, the oldest cause kid, right? Mm -hmm. Understood. And apparently they split, only, um, he, he, they split up. Well, then she, he, she was married to, um, Jason Momoa, like Aquaman. Yeah. I didn't know that. And, and, and that, okay, they split up. Mm. Can, can, can you see it? Um, oh. oh boy, that was your area. I didn't know. Uh, uh, I didn't. It, it was. <clears throat> it was tough. She was yeah, taking was us tough. down down yeah. memory lane. I would like to have heard more about it, but it, there was something right. about the tough. sharpness of it was tough. was hurting. It wow. was. Yeah, there was a shrillness there. Oh, Not boy. on her. I think it was just on the phone. Here's all three of them. There they are. There they are. I yeah. don't. Interesting. Didn't, mm. didn't know that. Almost <laughs> uncomfortably interesting. Yeah, well, <laughs> tell guess. me here. Mm -hmm. mm. Brings new meaning to. Are you going to go my way? Oh, okay. Hey, no there more, he is no, again. No more green powder. Yeah. There he is Josh. again. Josh. Rick, I'm begging you to cut him off okay, well. or, or else give him a, a beginning mm -hmm. dose. So what I did don't, yesterday. Don't get yeah, what I did yesterday. I don't think he can handle full strength. <laughs> apparently was recklessly kind. <laughs> uh, let's go to Josh. Josh, go ahead. 30 seconds. Good morning, big ones. Hi, buddy. Um, just real quick, got a funny for you and an apology. Uh, there is a new budget car sales commercial that is playing during y'all show in the morning time the last two or three days. Okay. And it sounds just like Adler in the garage band. Mm. Uh, did, what station? Y'all should check it out. What? what? Um, that's 92.3 out of Montgomery. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Adler, are you part so of that? So it sounds uh -huh. really good then. Yeah. So it's pretty <laughs> sharp. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> You're not part of that that you know of? 
Not that I know of, no. Landon in <laughs> Jasper, Alabama. Have they found the tower yet in Jasper? No, <laughs> I don't oh. think so. Landon, go ahead, 30 seconds. Hey, guys, I had a question about that old Neuralink deal. I was just wondering how things get in power. Are you going to have to plug your head in at night or flip a switch and change some batteries back there? How's, how's that working? Uh-huh. How's your no, power? I don't know. Yeah, I really don't really know. How, how, did they, uh, somehow. how did they... Uh, how do they use like the uh, cochlear implant? How does it get power? I, 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 I would assume the wires and I'll go in and all the electronics might be on the outside or mm-hmm. something. I'm mm-hmm. not sure. Uh, Beth in Birmingham, ZZK. Mm-hmm. Beth, go ahead. Hey, Rick and Bubba. Hey. I'm a big fan. Thank hey, you. I'm a big fan and listen to you for 23 years. Thank you very much. Yes, I love y'all. Anyway, so this morning I'm cleaning, but I'm listening to y'all. I watch you on YouTube, but I listen to you. Thank you. And y'all said police officers dance, dancing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I thought, hmm. So I run in here, I get my glasses, I sit at the end of the couch waiting for those police officers to dance. And nothing comes on but some women doing some Richard Simmons moves. That's it. What? That was it. That was it. Yeah. Oh, that, she thought it was dudes. Yeah. yeah, you thought it was gonna be dudes, didn't you? Oh, I did. Yeah. I, I did. I, I'm I mean, disappointed. I had my coffee. <laughs> I I mean, sure I what did you What do you think this was a bachelorette party? <laughs> <All right. laughs> were, you, were you trying to get a ticket on the dance floor? <laughs> <laughs> so get <laughs> yeah I, yeah you can never get back that moment best sorry about that yeah. uh and there goes the timeout only one remains with the indecisive speedy oh boy uh we continue uh let's go to Good chester night. and Gurley. chester go ahead 30 seconds hey i th- i heard somebody in there chiming in a little bit more than normal i thought y'all had scrappy do in the studio <laughs> Scrappy dude. That's so good. That is good. Uh, Let's go to Josh in Springville. Josh, go ahead. Hey, guys. I'm with Greg on the Henry Winkler thing. My father-in-law went for cataract surgery. One went fantastic. The second one, he went blind, and instead of sending him a get-well card, we sent him a pirate's costume. Oh, that's terrible. That's see. awful. See, you see what you're doing, Greg? That's on you. Right, right, that's that's at your feet. What is wrong with you? But that's, I don't you agree? Say it. Well, don't you like it? Ain't like I said. It. Well, Greg, but it's like you're throwing <laughs> license around that don't exist. You thought oh. it. Yeah. Uh, we mm. continue. Let's go to Speed Kyle out of Birmingham. <laughs> Listen to ZZK. Kyle, go ahead. Hey guys, going hey. back to William Byron. Uh, I actually still race with him every week oh, on the film rig. And, uh, the, but anyway, uh, when, he had, when he was sir, 13 years old, I, what, what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> say that first part again. The simulator. They, they all, they have these big simulators. I still, I still race with William Byron every week on the sim rig. Sim rig. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. familiar Time with out. that terminology. So he's still running on that. <laughs> is that yeah, the, he still, co- he still races. Is, is that, is that the I'm cool? Sorry. Is that the cool way to say simulator? Or say yes. sim rig? Is it? <laughs> yes. Pretty much. That's the way everybody says. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. See, you. I'm just not up. Uh, on we're not hip to that groove. <laughs> I understand. But yeah, I race with him every week, and he he will get in there and and give you pointers. But he still gets in there and helps out the the new guys still trying to learn. But um, he had a famous line when he was 13 racing on I racing. And uh, he told the kid that uh, you're going to be watching me win NASCAR one day, and uh, you're going to be sitting on your mom's couch. So oh, we're that's what he got, really got famous for. Uh, oh, that's good. Okay. That's good. All right. So you still race with him on Sam Rick? Yeah. I kind of like to have him Sam Rick. I bet you nice. Is that what that was? But you know, like I've heard Dale Jr. on his show, they all, a lot of them still do that. You can get out there and race them. Get you one, Greg. Yeah, I bet them's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Bubba, you could get one of those or talk to Doug this afternoon. Uh, Todd, yeah, it, Todd, <laughs> welcome to Ricky Bubba. Go ahead. Maybe we can work it into the bushes. <laughs> Todd, go ahead. <laughs> how, y'all, how y'all guys doing? Not We're as good. good as you, but go ahead, Todd. <laughs> hey, uh, that theme song for the New York Police Department women is called uh, No Parking on the Dance Floor. <laughs> he thought he had he thought he had on left, the it, left the radio blaring just so he could hear it you know his face was doing that yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, so man. get with it 
We'll be back. <laughs> 15 minutes to the top. <laughs> no fucking, baby. No fucking on the dance floor. Wiki, wiki. When we uh, come back, we'll look at anything that we might have missed uh, in today's edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. Bubba, what about the kid that hit four shots for ten grand? How about that? And we got an emailer that has somewhat of a clarification on the comments about uh, about Lenny Kravitz. Okay. okay. All right. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Come on back. Do you give this one an upgrade? Oh, you yes. give it uh, Yes, that's on my playlist. Oh, yeah. Bubba Super Group Tesla. <laughs> They've set, they may be my favorite from that era. And I know I'm not the only one to ever feel this way. I love you so much. Somebody say, I'm going crazy. Crazy. Out of my head, I'm going crazy. Out of my head. Can't think about nothing but that good, good love. What you get. All right, so as we come back, Andy Reid has uh, been asked, uh, Bubba, and this you know, this is a question now, very controversial. How you going to the White How you going to the White House? Hey. Hey. I thought he'd give a good answer. You going to, he, he said, yes, yes, if uh, I'll be there. I'll be there if they're inviting us. I'll be there. It's quite an honor, I think. Well, you know they will be invited. They will be now. Of course, you have to. Now we have to. Well, what players are going? Yeah. Uh, how many players will go see the racist Trump? <laughs> and uh, and from what we're gathering, we we haven't had anybody so far that says they're not going. Right. Right. It's, Some uh, of the bigger names of the team have said they're going. Well, they they should go. And as we've said before, even. Um, though there's been presidents I certainly didn't vote for and presidents that I thought were detrimental to the country, uh, if the White House invited us to come and be honored by our country, uh, then then I'm going. Well, think about this, too. It's, it's an honor for those players personally, but it's also about the team. It's about the city they represent. It's about their fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so many of them will, will say on the sideline after the game, you know, we did this for you, Kansas City. You've been great fans. We thank you. Well, it's also good for those fans to see you at the White House being honored. I mean, they, it's the same thing. They are being honored. Yeah, it, it honors the fans. So when you say you're not going to go, you take that away from your fans, too, as being recognized by the White House. It really – is above the politics of the of the situation. It should be. That's that's why we love sports. And the Trump administration always lays out all this fast food for them. Yeah, isn't that funny? Oh, the man. new habit now, uh, yeah. the new tradition is you go and you buy you buy hamburgers at the fast food joint for them because I guess it was was it Clemson that was there during the the strike or uh, one of the shutdowns when yeah, we didn't right. have the yeah. uh, the folks there to cook, Style. so they just had to go out and get them uh, fast food, and now that's the tradition. It's kind of funny, isn't it? So, Chief fans, Speedy, that includes you. Mm-hmm. Andy Reid says they're going. They're going. Yep. So. Speedy, you ought to go too. You let's let's head that way. That. Let's just go. All right. At what point have, have the Chiefs? Have they been given a pass on being called the Chiefs? Do, do they still? You don't, you don't uh, see much blowback on them at all, yeah. do you? Mm-mm. Is it because if I say Chief, everybody? Yeah, that's you really okay? don't. Yeah. Is, it, is Chief bad or good? <laughs> I mean, well, just think about this: the the <laughs> amount. Of, hey, what about it, Chief? A political hey, chief. Correctness has been thrown at the Redskins, mm-hmm. yeah. or uh, or or any of these other places. I mean, the Seminoles, of course they they cut it. They made their own deal to get everybody to be cool with it down there. So, by the way, don't forget if I can be bought not to care, I didn't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Illini, they're there. Now the Sioux, remember they made them change. Was it South Dakota? Yeah, the Fighting Sioux. Really? Yeah, they couldn't handle it. West Georgia, the, or was it was yeah, it that, that was South quick, Dakota? They're the Jackrabbits, aren't they? I may be, um, yeah. but it was one of those groups. I know oh, what you're talking about. You pulled that out of nowhere. You well, did. I, I'm very proud of yeah. you. I remember them playing Jack State in basketball. Sure, that's the only reason. <laughs> Maybe the, the Sioux was North Dakota. You got North Dakota. And you got North Dakota State. I think it was North okay. Dakota. Was yeah. Sioux. The Fighting point. Sioux. Really? I don't know. I may have made a bit of that. You're, you're all over the road. <laughs> you pointed at people. <laughs> yeah, so, so anyway. Somebody was the fighting suit. Right. I'll tell you that. And they changed it to something else. Right. That I know. i tell you what, the old Redskins have dug in, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. They, they, they have. They, and they, they probably got hit the hardest. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think <laughs> so. I think so. But as you said, the Chiefs have pretty much had a, had a walk Has anybody been there. upset with the Chiefs ever? 
I mean, they do. I the, not that I they know. They do of. the Arrowhead Stadium. Tomahawk chop. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, oh, they did do you the hear chop that? and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool during pregame. One of my favorite things out. in sports. Yeah. 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 It, it, awesome. it, listen, I, I've heard it live several times. It is very eerie. Yeah, it is. It, it yeah. is it's very eerie. Do you remember when, yeah. when you started it, Rick, when well, your constant. electrician didn't show up oh, yeah. and you, you were going to the Braves oh, I game? I love it. I love it. And from there on, now we get in every now and then those little chants. I love it. I love chant talking. I'm surprised by all the chant teams, their commitment to it. Yeah, they'll they'll stick yeah. with it for a yeah. long period of time. Yeah, so, you know, because I'm pretty much a couple of round chant guy, and then I got to mm-hmm. move on. But but I mean, it's just shocking they to keep me it how, going. how they keep it going. <laughs> I mean, it's, I tell you what, well, it's, it's, it really cuts down on the number of cheers the cheerleaders have to learn. You know, does, did, 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 did does. Florida, does Florida State like when their team's really bad? Do they still have the commitment? Oh yeah. Minutes to the top. Rick and Bubba show wrapping up another hour. All right, so uh, working our way back, updating on a few things that we missed. Now, Bubba, you said an emailer is weighing in on the caller that uh, did not get a timeout and we did not hear the well, end the, of it. Well, the caller emailed me and said the point I was trying to make. Oh, it is the caller. Okay. When you get to Lisa Bonet, she has been with Lenny Kravitz. She has been with Jason. Momoa? Momoa. Momoa. Is that right, guys? That's and right. and if, those, if those two men can't make you happy, who in the world is going to make you happy? Oh, okay, That oh, was the point oh, she was trying I to get. I got you. 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 Yeah. Can you imagine being like the first person that you know she decided to date again? You're like, well, tell me a little bit about your past. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might recognize me as the former <laughs> wife of Lenny Kravitz and girlfriend of Jason Momoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And well, then the guy just kind of looks down and says, "Wow, well, let's get through this lunch." Yeah. Do you think you just fold up everything and head on out there? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm probably not going to be able right. to run yeah. in this crowd. Yeah, because you, uh, yeah. you start thinking, yeah. you know, so they couldn't make you happy. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Unless yeah. Eddie Murphy. Wow. Well, really on that today. Uh, so. Um, <laughs> We have a uh, these these things. Anytime anybody ever been part of a hole in one attempt or make a certain shots in a certain amount of time and big money and ever seen anybody win? <laughs> have you ever have you ever been at one? And you thought I was there when I never seen it win. No, yeah. never. Bubba, where were you in all that time? Was, was it you? Who's it? Was it you? that almost hit the hole in one that time for um, a car. Yeah, I did. On mm. uh, it was a charity golf tournament we were <clears> at, <throat> and they had a hole in one and. Uh, I can't remember the yardage. It was about 170 yards, and they had the people videoing and all yeah. that. And uh, <clears throat> I hit a little seven wood, and I mean it's going right at everybody the hole. Everybody started jumping up and yeah, down. Yeah, I mean everybody really. got up and started holding their hands up, yeah. and it hits and rolls by the hole about six oh. inches. Oh. But I mean six inches, six miles, oh, you right. know, outs uh-huh. outs. Right. Mm-hmm. Speaking, but of it that, was exciting for a minute when yeah. it was headed yeah. down. There it goes. So the PGA <laughs> tour uh, had the Genesis <laughs> open this past weekend, and one of the golfers hit a hole in one, and he and his caddy won a new car. Oh, wow. You should have seen how excited the caddy was. Well, I bet he was. Bet. <clears throat> uh, so here's a kid toys. that has to I make. This kid has to make four shots in 25 seconds for ten thousand dollars. This is I've like they used this. to do at the three on three. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah and, and and it looks like he does it. So and he right. has to make like one in the paint, one from the free throw, one from yeah. the three, and one from the half. He's a little fella. Yeah, yeah. All right, ready, go. And I mean that being young. That's like a kid. Lay up, Sam. Now he's going free throw. Free throw up, Bottom. and it's in. That oh boy. He's still got 13 seconds. Three-point shot. Oh. And he's good. Three ball. Now he's got to go half court. And he's hey, from the down to go. four seconds. Three, two. Oh, my goodness. Got it. Uh, uh, he based uh, by uh, football player. He's in. That, mm-hmm. that I wasn't expecting that. that. What that arm. One, great arm. That last shot was much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I mean, crazy. it was a line drive. Especially it it went you, in sideways. From high court. Especially you know, when you throw it like that, it's much harder. Baseball yeah. throw, yeah. And but it shows you, you how small he is, too, because he and, couldn't do it the other And way. it went in as the clock literally was in the, the tenths of a second. That's now, what you got to look out for, because I've said they film it. And they break down, make sure your foot is exactly where it has to be oh, before no. they give it to you. And but apparently he did because yeah, he won it. Yeah. But they, they will. They'll run it for you in a minute. Mm-hmm. Glass. All right. So the, the key was he, he never had a second shot yeah, at any of it. He yeah. hit them all. Yeah. He got a sweet Nobody shot. Nobody at this point thinks he's going to win. No. No. And he had to retrieve his own ball, too, so he didn't have anybody oh, throwing yeah. it back. He's got to go all the way half court now after three shots. Eight. You got to get behind it. I like how he's settling he's down. He's he just settled down. 
three. Bottoms. Unbelievable. He was behind the line. He Clearly was. behind wow. the line. That's a good. That's a, a good shot. Arm. Did you see how he that's stayed awesome. calm on that yeah. last shot? Yeah. 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 He didn't rush. He stepped. His mama didn't, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. That see that would never and they hold him in, up. in a million years. They hold him up like a champion that he is. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I, I think I would miss so bad it wouldn't be close. Or 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 is it more likely I would make it and they would tell me my foot was on the line. No, yeah, that, 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 that one, yes. that one right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they would say the clock didn't start properly. Right, It'd yeah. be something on yeah. the other end. It the had nothing froze. to do with what I did. Right, right. right. <laughs> no way. So so there you go. Somebody could call me and say I want an island. And, right. I, would, oh, and, and right. I would go to it, and the EPA would be there <laughs> demanding I clean it up because it's a waste spot. Or something. Nuclear waste. Yeah. They tell me they need $3 million before I step foot on it. Yeah. All right, so video 11, I know that we had kids that were into Legos. Anybody here into Legos when you were a kid? I wasn't. No, yeah. I wasn't. Oh, absolutely. Grandson. I did a little bit. I think I was more Lincoln Logs. Than My yeah. grandson, Atlas, is currently into them. He likes okay. Yeah, I, uh, and I had a son that was uh, – one of my sons, Brody, was They're really cool, into though. Him. I like them. I, 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 I didn't want it. Well, see, that was all in that puzzle world for me. So I, I used to play with Legos. I didn't do Lincoln Logs. <laughs> I didn't do Legos, any of that, puzzles, right. nothing. I don't. I just uh, – it, it made me feel strange. I didn't want any part of that. I'm sure I, I should have been diagnosed with something. <laughs> uh, but anyway, here's an app that uh, uh, that Adler was saying he needed when he was a kid. And it's called uh, Brick It. Brick It. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just impressed. Is this with, cheating? I'm just impressed with what this uh, app can do. So the mom has all the kids' Legos, and what she's going to do, she's going <laughs> to spread the Legos out just flat, mm-hmm. lay them out flat, mm-hmm. and then this Brick It app, you just take a picture of all the Legos, and now look, it's scanning all the pieces, and it is categorizing all the pieces that you just laid out, and then it's going to tell you, you could make this, you could make this. Oh, Here are some yeah. plans. Here's some plans to make it. And not only that, here's where they're hidden in this huge pile of that Legos. That what? I'm wow. just impressed with the person that thought, that thought know. I'm going to make up this app. Like, that, that That to me is amazing. It's AI, y'all. That's right. That's That's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I was excited right to the point I realized, so I do still have to build it. You still have to build <laughs> it. It doesn't build yeah. it for you. Build it for you right no, now. sorry, Rick. But it tells you where everything is. Yeah. That's better. Categorizes. Let me tell you something, guys. When you, I know all the jokes about stepping on Lego pieces, and we all do it. But when people like me that struggle with word search and bu- puzzles and stuff, when I see a bunch of Legos just laying around, it's one of the worst feelings mm-hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just like, oh, somebody, we got to, uh-uh, yeah. now, somebody got to put those in the bucket and put a top on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's trouble. If somebody said, hey, Rick, why don't you go over there and build something with all that? I'm like, eh. mm-hmm. I had some other little bricks so. that mm-hmm. snapped together. Go ahead, pick they one were, up, buddy. <laughs> they were not Legos, but I, I don't know what type they were. Obviously, not as popular as Legos. Have no. y'all seen the panels with the magnets in them? Little clear panels when they're different, like triangles. Magnetiles, anyway. big hit hey, in my house. Magnetiles my, are a big my, hit in my house. Me and my grandkids, and how about this? I'm really good at it. I can build some unbelievable you stuff. You can. Oh, yeah, 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 me too. What are you talking? I'm I'm confused. Here we go. Magnetiles. They're like a, they're Is like it? Legos, but with magnets oh. in them. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, kids cool. love them. They stick oh. together too. Okay. And Ruby loves building it and then crashing it down. Oh and, yeah, um, that's what my my grandkids oh, do. Yeah. What you? What's the last thing you built? Great. It kind of looked like a castle. Really? Yeah. I figured out how to make all the pieces work. Mm. <laughs> Showing if you out. do it enough, yeah. then I will, they'll, they'll get them out. <laughs> you built a castle, Papa. And then they'll crush it. <laughs> and then they'll, and then they'll crush it. Yeah. That's what I love. Every time I, I love to be around Greg with his grandkids around. Because they all call him Papa. <laughs> <laughs> we want some to eat, Papa. And he'll let them have anything. <laughs> they wish he still had puppies. We're not oh, ready. Yeah. We're not ready to leave yet, Papa. <laughs> No, Papa, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love No, Papa. <laughs> no, Papa, no. Lisa claimed yesterday I played too rough with them. No, you don't. I, that, that's your role in their life. I wiped a couple of them out on trampoline. Yeah, yesterday you heard them. I can't believe we didn't talk about yeah, them. Oh, should. you did? He hurt his grandkids? I didn't mean to. Two of them. Well, well Greg, we, know, we, never mean, we never mean to. Uh, I mean, Ellis asked me, why'd you do that? I said, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> why'd you do that to me, Papa? <laughs> yeah, he did. So he said, you're so big, Papa. Yeah, his head crashed into my, my shin. <laughs> I'm just little, Papa. Because he's really not. <laughs> no, he, For his age, he is so tall. tall. He's very tall. Yeah. And you think he's older, so when he does count, you're like, oh, wow, okay, you're younger than me. I'm sorry. You, you look like you're about two years older than you are. Yeah. Uh, top of the hour. Thanks for being with us. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.